600. What's the O stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. All right, folks, enjoy the show. Stay tuned. We're going live. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Morning Mayhem starts now with David Basil. Check, check, here, here. Check, check, present, present. Live from the Oakland Racing Casino Resort Studio. Oakland, Arkansas's only casino resort. Let's go, let's go. Right away above me through train ticket right across Mississippi Queen. Not flying out of Birmingham, smoking in the New Orleans. Two things you need to know. I'm Tom McCain. And number two is... And they won't let the poor boy down. All right, it's 6.09. It's 6.09. Are you where you're supposed to be right now? Are you at that intersection? Are you getting out of bed? Are, are you, you passing your the church? church? You do. That's right. Where huh? are you? Where are, are you? Are you your drowse? Yeah, we'll get more time. Let's go. You sure you were born to bought me a silk suit and put luggage in my hand. And I woke up high over Albuquerque on the jet to the promised land. Come on! Ah, the Cardi Final went to the Golden State. When the pilot told us in 13 minutes, he was set us at the terminal gate. Here we go, Joe. Swing low, chariot, come down easy. Into the terminal zone. Cut your engines and cool your wings. Eleven, I'm getting the telephone. Los Angeles. Hey, the poor boy's on the line. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. The largest yeah. man in Central Arkansas. Yes, he or maybe is. in the state of Arkansas. He Big is. Joe. Yes. Big Joe in here, uh, in studio, on time, 6 o'clock. Hanging out with us for a couple. Hey, listen, it's March Madness. It's his time of the year. Yeah, it is. It's spring break. He's got four children at his house. Not anymore. Oh, they're not. Oh, I thought you had them. My bad. Come down, easy taxi to the terminal zone. Los Angeles. You don't get it the first time, Joe. You get it the second time. You catch up. All right, it's a uh, beautiful morning out there. The, the chill is gone, Raj. The chill is we'll gone. Bet, we'll bet. It's perfect out there this morning. Uh, it's going to be, again, we'll, we'll visit with Melinda May a little bit later, 70-something, right? Yeah. May got that yesterday. It's 70 We yesterday. did. I think we did. Got a uh, busy show as uh, March Madness. March Madness is here. You know, we've had a couple playing games, but now... Uh, Phil, Today, Phil, Phil, you got yeah. till 11 o'clock Central to get, to your, get brackets your brackets in, good, right? Good point. In your That's perspective right. Perspective office. Uh, great to have Joe Klein from Cork. Hi, here. He'll be breaking it down. Lot, lot of basketball. Breaking it. A lot yeah, of basketball yeah, 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 to talk yeah. about. Yeah, uh, we'll bad. also visit with Zach Gillum. He'll call in and talk about some of the odds. Mm-hmm. I pres- is UConn, uh, Josh, uh, Joe, is UConn yes. uh, the odds on? Are they the number one, number one? Number one, number yes. one? The number one, number one? How close is it? Uh, are all the number one seeds pretty close to them? In terms of expectations, uh, I think they have the most expectations. I think clearly they have been. Uh, I think every all the prognosticators yes. that, I have, that I have seen, and myself, if I had to pick one team, it would be them. Gotcha. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, Zach will uh, give us some of the details on the odds with the Oakland Sports app. Uh, Steve Edwards Jr. coming by. Edwards Food Giant get ready to open up a new store. Roger, we're going to be there oh, in a couple of weeks. Sweet. He's coming by. Uh, Tommy Smith with his. Where's new- it going? Uh, it's in uh, North Little Rock. It's the, uh, I can't remember the old store it used to be. Oh, it's but, up yeah. kind of like yeah, well, yeah, not yeah. far from you, yeah. Joe. That's exactly right. I, I heard the rumor. The, yeah, he'll be on with you. Wait yes. a minute, wait a minute. Well, well, then. I had to approve. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had to approve it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. we, we stay at your place the night before so we can just head Spend to the night at Corky's cool? and then drive across it? the parking lot. Oh, it's at, it's at the restaurant, yes. not the, at his house. Yes. Oh, never mind. Yes. Yeah, you can stay at the restaurant. You ain't staying at my house. Never mind. It's going to I've talked to Justin. Yeah, so uh, so we'll have uh, Steve Edwards Jr. coming by. Tommy Smith's got his new uh, sponsor today, Hubbard Power Sports. Yeah. Uh, Can-Am and Sea-Do in Russellville. He'll, he'll be calling in today. I wonder Let's, if we'll see them when we're at Jamie's tomorrow. Good uh, good point. I don't know. We might pass yeah, them anyway. Maybe we can Nell. stop by and say hi to Yeah, good point. Uh, Melinda Mayo uh, brought to you by Sanders Ground Essentials at 835. Uh, always good to hear from her. And then 9 o'clock, uh, Joe, we have a new uh, a new Razorback call. Will McIntyre, who's been just killing it just Ooh. with the, all the other pitchers. I watched some videos. Uh, things I watched your poly bowl. The what? The, the Chipotle yeah, bowl. Yeah, Chipotle. That, that, that was good. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking how you pronounced that. I don't know what was that. going Chipotle. Yeah, it sounded like he said it one time without the T at the end of Chipotle. Well, listen, he's a Saline County boy. He said he it is. right. He is. Of course, you know, we talked about yesterday. You brought it up. 
Joe, you know, a lot of these guys that are doing NIL deals like to have charities. Uh, who's our kicker? Uh, Cam Little yeah. had one. Well, Will has one. It's called Strikeouts for Cancer. Right. And his dad had cancer, and so and I think he's raising money for every strikeout. It's for, for car, car time. Car time. Yeah. Every strikeout, five bucks. Uh, pretty yeah. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And Sweet, um, yeah. and he's obviously he's mowing them down. I mean, uh, he and Tiger the other day, what, uh, one hit shut out of Missouri. And uh, anyway, so we've got Stovall, who's big, had a big write-up in the Democrat Gazette today. He was Tuesday, super sharp, cap, team captain. Uh, they open up against Auburn today. I, I was thinking, Roger, that was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's, it's today, Friday, and Saturday for the series against Auburn All there right. in Auburn. Also, too, Joe, you got, well, by the way, Factor Crap returns. Brought to you by Rowdy Hog Pickleball. 815, right? No, we're going to get it with you. We're going to try our best to get it with you, big <laughs> Joe. You know, Factor you, Joe. Crap just isn't the same without you. It's not. It makes no sense. Got some new questions. No Maybe recycle a few of the old ones. In we were, we're absolutely. Can are those you, considered questions? Can, can I tell you? Or I, are, they, I, are they fabrications? I found the card that said about the uh, the Chinese oh, you did. The, nice. The, the, Chinese no, food in Boston? No, the Chinese food in Toronto. Yeah, what was Toronto? It was lasagna or something. No, it was, was invented uh, in Toronto. <laughs> in no, Calzone. Calzone was invented I've got it. Calzone was invented <laughs> in Toronto, Canada, By, uh, in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, and I circled it with a big F because that's what it was. Fact. Is anyway, uh, fact. do you want to thank uh, that, <laughs> my friend? Is 100% grade A USDA crap. Well, that's not the way the game's played, my friend. <laughs> well, James and Jolene uh, Hart, who own uh, Rowdy Hall, we appreciate them. Oh, Bring it back to the game. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I didn't even know we lost it. But yeah, well, we just, we just went for I didn't uh, know. Wait, wait, yes. Joe back. Yeah. Uh, several things. It's National Memory Day. Uh, can, can you? Yeah, can you tell if your memory's got, for all those of us in our 60s, yeah. can you tell a drop-off? Absolutely. Can you? What about you, Raj? Oh, hell. I, I can I can tell. What was the question? I think it's because we have so much we have so much content. I think there's it's hard to keep it all up there. Well, you can listen to our show. Well, last you ought to see me address my grandkids. Oh yeah, every name. I, yeah, I go I, and I start with my own children. Right. Let's uh. <laughs> you have Those, to. that are not my grandkids. No. I'm not I'm not confusing grandkids. I'm calling uh, JoJo Mallory and. Lucy, oh. uh, Courtney. Oh, and, really? You know, I'm a, there's a yeah, ton. Yeah. Now, let's ask uh, Joe yesterday. Let's ask Josh, our producer. Josh, after hearing our segment in the 9 o'clock hour yesterday about uh, what movie was Movies. It? Yeah. All right, what do you think about our memories? Amy well, Madigan. How would you evaluate our memories? Uh, I, mm, <laughs> we, uh, you should have heard Acre was he's losing his mind. Well, because this was not a memory issue. You don't this, think it is? This was a attention to detail issue. No, I, I disagree on that one simply it could because be both. It could be well, both. I, not, not to me it's not. It's a memory issue because I uh, You know them all. I pride myself in knowing I know. useless information yeah, you do. You, and not being me. able to come up with Amy Madigan, Holly Hunter, Gary Busey as I just did uh, was terrible <laughs> for me because I should be able to recall all that what information. Were you trying to recall. Yeah. What, what, what was those, those names? Well, those this, names. This is, this I was trying to come up with Holly no, Hunter no, no, no. was in the movie but, The Firm because we were talking no, about no, Tom where, where did it start though? Hold where on, where was it start? On. What was the first so here's the issue. There's you no all, issue. First of all, no, there's no, no, no issue. No, no, you all had a bunch of you all. Oh, had a bunch of things that you all were talking about. Yes, and. We got details wrong and just kept going on to the next Joe, detail. We've hey, always Joe, got Joe, details imagine. wrong, Joe, but we work wait. ourselves through that. <laughs> to me, it's first just, of all, yeah. Josh. Okay, hold on. It's I, not you all. <laughs> it's <laughs> y'all. <No. laughs> okay. All right. Point. Our Don't make me line, come in there. It's yes. not there's, you there's all. Not, listen to it. Let's respect him. Uh, yes, seven or eight <laughs> visible texts, and each text was either a different actress name or a different movie name. <laughs> we just did. because we just kept saying details about movies. And actors or actresses that were in those movies. I, you know, I, I'm gonna have to. I, I completely disagree with no, that. That's because true. Because Baz, that was true. One well, point, right? Well, well, listen, you can deal. agree with him or not. I'm disagreeing with you. Yes, is what I, I'm saying. What, what, because what, I saw this, Joshua. I saw the same text. It's the beauty. Everybody helped me out with my uh, sh short-term memory. I couldn't remember Amy Madigan. They brought it up. Yes. I couldn't remember Gary Busey. They brought it up. I couldn't remember the firm. They brought we it up. Our All of those with, things. With so tasks. they were there. We were in there. detail. To me, it might you can speak to him. I'm just telling you. I, Details with him. Memory with you. I, listen, yeah, and yeah, he's a detail-oriented guy. I, I, listen, I have no so problem. So glad I was busy at 9 o'clock. <laughs> sure is. Oh, sure oh, we just so started. glad I was Joe, so Acre busy. walked in here okay, and Acre was, was like, screaming. This is, that's it's Gary my... Busey. Oh. It's raising Arizona. <laughs> it was something else. What was that's the third my favorite thing, thing, Joe, is it, is it knowing Acre is losing his mind in there and yeah. just cannot stand it. It just drives him <laughs> crazy. Uh, but anyway, so uh, it's National Memory Day. It's absolutely incredible Kids Day. I know that both of you guys... I uh, have incredible kids, so you would certainly celebrate this day. National Single Single Parent Day, always a challenge out there being a single parent. Credit Card Reduction Day. Uh, how many cars does Joe Klein have? What would you guess? 
I think credit it depends. Cards. Are you credit cards, yeah. You're talking about the individual stores. Uh, you're talking about no, one that can go anywhere. Uh, I probably won't get to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, two, two. Very good, Roger. What about you? One. Very, very nice. And I very, use. I use. I have two. Yeah. I use. One. Do you? I need a second one, Justin, because I'll. The other one I had to, uh, and it came up to me because I finally got all of the. I got my replacement in. So before I did that, I needed a second one so that I could, you know, replace. I, I need to get a second one just for a backup. Just do you remember when back in the day you would get? Uh, I had well, when you took me to get out of college or you're oh. getting uh, just bombarded by credit card companies. And I think at one time I probably had six or seven, not smart and all maxed out. So uh, obviously the key is to have a, as few of those as possible. It's National Peter Day. Uh, what is the first Peter that comes to mind? First one for me is. Peter Tamarkin. He was the host of the game show Pressure Luck. Wow. Okay. What? <laughs> that is the useless information that I know. <laughs> delivered to detail. What about you, Joe? What is uh, what is your Peter? It's my brother. Okay. Uh, Josh, what is your Peter? Uh, first one I thought of was Peter Benchley, who wrote Josh. Okay. Peter yeah, Benchley. Peter very good. Excuse uh, me, well, all American. <laughs> uh, I apologize. I didn't come up with the right Peter for you. Uh, there's Peter Marsher. Peter Marshall, who? Peter Marshall, uh, also <laughs> known as Pete Lecoq. Yeah, his, uh, his, his real son, name. His son played first base for the Royals. That's exactly right. Ah, yes. That's exactly yes. right. He was Peter Lecoq Jr. Uh, and, and he is the the one guy in Hollywood where I, when you hear his name, you go, if you're going to be on TV every day. You got to change it. You got to change, change, change it. it. You yes. have to change it. Well, you know what? We, uh, you're going to have to change it. You also got uh, uh, Pete Rose. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Pete Davidson. But those, but those aren't really. What they, about? They're all Peter. Peter. No, what about, right. I think all Peter's are Peter. What about St. Peter? You got to yeah, have St. Peter. Pretty big one. Yeah. That's a I think nine one. out of ten. I won't say 100%, but nine out of ten because anything's possible. Peter Brady? It's Peter Brady. Peter Brady. Yeah. Nobody yes. called him Pete. Uh, <laughs> yes, they did, actually. And last but not least, National Teenager Day that goes in hand in hand with incredibly uh, Incredible Kids Day. So today, uh, Joe, by the way, a lot of things going on. Basketball everywhere. But you know what? You also have the Trojans wrestling in the national championship. Yeah, you got, got five, five of them. Of them yeah. That's right. All the way today through Saturday. Have you ever been to that? It's in Kansas City. It's, no. It's, it, no. But they say, Hatcher tells us that thing is nuts. Completely sold out. 24,000 people. You got uh, four or five no. mats going yeah. on at once. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's if you're if, if you're somebody who wants to be stimulated. Yeah, I mean, because I used to watch the state tournament at Jack Stevens when I worked the high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it exciting. Was, yeah, it was captivating because you got so many things There's going on and the crowd's going, going crazy. Man. But yeah. they say that national championship is unreal. So that's going on. So good luck to them. Marty mentioned uh, Arkansas is playing Auburn today. I think first game is at six tonight. The Razorback women play Tulsa. And Roger, they're in the WBIT. Mm-hmm. Uh, UCA is playing in the WNIT. Uh, it's, uh, it's, so I, I think I think they're different levels. I'm sorry that I don't know that, Josh. You may know it. I, 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 it's hard for me to figure out all the different tournaments. Then you got Trojans and Arkansas State playing in the multiple letter uh, tr- a tournament. Which what do we call it? The CIBI. CBI. Yeah, CBI. CBI. And that so in Florida, right? Yeah, that's correct too. And I, I don't have the times on that. I'll, I'll have to go back and is find that today. And that's what I'm saying. I, I could not find it oh, today. Yeah, right. I didn't see it set, so I don't. You would think they would play that like on a Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, of course. We, we've got March Madness today. How many games, Josh, uh, are being played today? Sixteen. Sixteen. So you've got uh, starting at eleven o'clock, going all the way until uh, last tip time, nine o'clock, and then uh, how many networks are carrying it? Thank you, Roger. TBS, yeah. TNT, TBS, True TV. Yeah, we were talking about uh, yesterday uh, how True TV became a thing about yeah. five years ago. We're like, all right. Uh, this this channel's here and never seen it before. One show, and yeah, and you said too that HBO Max is showing all the games. Well, yeah, they, Warner Brothers owns uh, or has a partnership at least with some of those channels, so they will be carrying all the tournament games on Max if you have that. Our uh, bracket uh, challenge is on the website. I cannot see it. Uh, because I do Safari. You need to use Chrome. I know I need Chrome. to do Chrome, but we need to get that changed. But uh, Chuck is out off this week, so can't get that get, can't get that done. Are you? What's your level of interest in the tournament, Roger? Without uh, the Hawks being uh, in, in what way? Are we talking percentage wise? Yeah, yeah, we're talking on a scale of yeah. one to ten. Yeah, percentage. Yeah. Uh, in the tournament yeah. to watch uh, this. Pay attention. This four, the four day swings are my favorite. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, this I'll, is the best. This is the best weekend. When I get to the eight, mm-hmm. I'll start paying attention. I have no interest in it really as much as. Uh, I like I the overview, would. kind of like yeah. the flyby, or I yeah, like to yeah. watch. You know, I'm not going to sit down and watch. Like I watched some of the games last night, but I'm not going to watch Wagner. And, right, right. And Montana State. Hey, Grand, 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 Grand State, I think wins I'm last Grand night, Grand and it's the first, awesome first time ever. Right, it was a very good game. I watched awesome the end game. of that.
that's kind of what I do. I kind of walk around, and then when I look, <laughs> when I get back to it, yeah. it there's eight, it minute, eight, eight minutes left, yeah. and it's tight. I'm going to watch it. Roger, hey, ditto. for us, let me tell you what it does for us tonight at Mainline Sports Park. Plenty of activities around us. you got hog baseball that will be going on, and you got March Madness. I mean, on all the TVs. So, it will be, you know, tonight you can play. A trivia from six thirty to eight, yeah. uh, and then also uh, watch uh, watch all the we games. We had a we had a, a a table that was front and center last week. That yeah, w- was, was watching, watching yeah. Uh, a couple of the uh, uh, conference, conference tournaments. tournaments yeah. yeah. So anyway, so uh, to me, Joe, I said yesterday, this is the only thing you know. College football is the is the biggest college sport, revenue wise, eyeball wise, but but it, it cannot top this first these two weekends. It just it just you know what? Because you can't play that many games in football oh, to man. have all those, and then they have the the little guys. Against the big boys and the upsets and all that, the, the drama is hard yeah, to I touch. I think there's, pro- there's probably a better uh, – uh, as uh, other than uh, Appalachian State uh, whenever they beat Michigan. Wasn't that who beat yeah, Michigan yeah, in the big yeah. game? Cool. Other than something like that. There's some of those, but yeah. And it's yeah, not a, it's not it, a it, tournament it, it's format more, either. Yeah, it's more in that. And, <clears throat> well, and I don't and, even and know how much more it is right now because then back in the day we had a butler well, and those teams. They had four-year seniors, you know. But when it's going on in this format, you'll get the break-in. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, yeah. Like yeah. Appalachian yeah, yeah, yeah. State, yeah, yeah. Michigan, you don't get the no. true. Absolutely. Look what's happening here, man. Absolutely. That's one of the. And, 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 uh, Listen, uh, YouTube TV's got the quad <laughs> box. We're I doing a quad box, Joe. I can't do a quad box. I heard Coach. Oh, Kelly. come on. I heard it's too much. Is it too much? It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's our memory. I, I can't. Heard, I heard Coach K say the, uh, yesterday, a couple of days ago, they said, keep it at 64. Why, why even mess, mess with it? We got something really good that works. Why try to add more? I, 64 I, is a lot anyway. It's actually 68, right? 68. It's 60, yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, here's the thing. It's when everybody's like St. John's or Indiana State and all those. I mean, I, I get it. We won our conference. Uh, when, when I was at Little Rock, we got beat in the second round twice uh, in the tournament and didn't get – got nothing. And so yeah. I, I understand it. But that is your, you're saying you know they need to be in so they can have a chance they deserve to be in your conference tournament is your chance yeah right win your conference tournament win your conference you yeah. know when you get i mean you you have a chance i mean you can't you know you can't in football maybe not so now with 12 teams yeah going in <clears throat> but in the past when you had two like last year georgia should georgia should have been in the final four right the year before that tcu i'm sorry Alabama would have would have done the same thing to them that Georgia did to them. But by having conference championships uh, now, yeah, yeah, now yeah. having expanded for football, right. that will help that. But, yeah. but uh, yeah, so you get, you know, you can cover your bases. But again, I mean, win your games. Josh, y- yesterday, uh, Akron them had some great sound. I, I, is it Wally? Is it Serbia? What's his last name? Wally Serbia. Uh, Serbia. Yeah, yeah, was was really hammering the fact that the, the committee just got it wrong on Virginia. And just said, you know, and then they actually gave some history about how bad they've lost a double-digit uh, uh, t- uh, ranked teams, rather, in the tournament. And uh, yeah, I mean, outside of that one year that, that Tony Bennett had at UVA, yeah. they really not had a lot of tournament success. And the the problem for them is, Joe speaks this too, the kind of basketball they play is really is not aesthetically pleasing. So if you're on the bubble, then a lot of people were just thinking, look, like, Pick a team that's more fun to watch. Right. If yeah. You're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're on, if you're at that point, pick teams that kind of incentivize watching and eyeballs and that kind of stuff. Yeah. The uh, yeah, and I meant rank, uh, seated. They they've lost I think four times to double seated yeah, Ohio, teams. Ohio. Yeah. Furman, um, Colorado State, obviously recently UMBC. I mean, that's all. That's all the last four or five years. Well, again, I, I don't. Well, have, I, and here's the thing, though. I mean, all all due respect to Wally Zerviak, but you're talking after the fact. I didn't. You know, that's true. Yeah. So I mean, anybody anybody can but, go but, on there. But, but, anybody but, but, can but, go on there and go. <clears throat> but but apparently he's not the only one that feels that way about no, that. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. That, that, but, there were I mean, others but, that but said that, that. That's 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 every year though. I true. Mean, but, I mean, but, that's but, every <clears throat> year you sit there and go, this this team should be in before this team. So I, I don't know. I hey, mean, the the other thing we got to talk when we come back, Roger. I, I do have a. What was their seed, Josh? Ten. Yeah. See that. I mean. And they, they they struggled. I mean, I heard they, it looked horrible. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, they, that was a that was a bad watch. I must have missed. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were watching on social media. I don't know what time this came down about Devo yesterday. So Devo's gone. Yeah, going you, to the portal. Are you surprised by that, Joe, or no? No, not at he, all. He another, I mean, I knew he was. I knew he wasn't coming back. To Arkansas. He had another year. He had another year of eligibility. Yeah, he had the COVID. Yeah, year. He could he have come COVID. back here if he wanted to. Yeah. Well. Well, I'm saying he was eligible to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
We'll never, not, I, we'll never know. No, I, never I, think, know. I think we do know. You think so? Yeah, I mean, no, I think... I think that ship sailed. I think it's probably appropriate. Go Absolutely, listen to, yeah. and, and that's not a slam yeah. on Devo. I think it's just with what you've seen with what happened again this year, last year, and again this year. It's like it's. I tell you, his it's numbers. Like KJ, it's kind of time for both. Yeah, yeah, right, so, right, right, right. Yeah, what was it? Five. What's the that? Average that. I mean, what did he score? I think the big thing was uh, with what he did against Kansas last year. Is that what it was? Yeah. Plus yeah. Twenty in the play in the, 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 the tournament. Hey, he's still his ranks. Listen, only uh, only Devo and Todd Day uh, scored more than a thousand points, five hundred rebounds, and three hundred assists. Go, that, Devo. That's pretty good no, company. No, 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 that's I mean, pretty good company. But luck, it, it was. It's unfortunate. It was a just a clunky ending to that yeah. deal. Yeah. So, I'm surprised you uh, left. I, I, I didn't know he was leaving. I, I had no idea. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised a little bit, but I'm not shocked by it, you know. Cause it, oh, like, shocked said, a whole different word. Yeah, I, I just, no, you know. I, it, I mean, they, they did see when I was, did the last home game up there. They gave him a jersey and everything. When and, we, yeah, when yeah we, I mean, they, when we come back, we'll ask Joe how many Razorback players do you think is going to stay on the uh, – <laughs> we'll stay on this team. I wish we'd had Joe at the zoo with that big old uh, prehistoric bird came out there. Yeah, they, they, they would have that would have been scary. Uh, and we'll talk to Joe because they uh, uh, there's a lot of social media out. used our uh, – uh, used our uh, uh, come on. audio from Caleb Battle. You know, they posted that they out. Did. They didn't use the audio, but they quoted him from our show about his intent. You know, with the, and we'll ask Joe if he heard that and what he thinks about Taylor. Awesome. All right. It is, if you want to be a part of the show, by the way, 661-1037, the Southern Structural Solutions uh, text line. It's 630 here. Down, morning, down, down, down. Sing down. it, Joe. Come on. Registration is open for the 2024-1037 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament, Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course, presented by Tito's Handmade Vodka. This is SportsCenter. Two games concluded the first four in Dayton last night as Grambling State rallied from 14 points down to beat Montana State 88-81 in overtime to claim the second 16-seed spot determined by a play-in game. And then in the second 10-seed play-in game, it was Colorado 60, Boise State 53, which means now the 64-team field is set for the 2024 Men's NCAA Tournament. The action begins today at 11.15 a.m. on CBS when Mississippi State takes on Michigan State in an 8-9 matchup. It'll run all the way through today until 9.05 when Washington State and Drake tip off in a 7-10 matchup. You can catch all of the action on CBS, True TV, TBS, and TNT. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. Coming up Thursday on Out of Bounds, we're live at Cigar Republic. It's the five-year anniversary at Cigar Republic, so we're going to be there to celebrate. We're going to be watching NCAA tournament games with games going on starting that morning and going throughout the day. Stop by Cigar Republic to say hi and watch some games with us. Richard Davenport will be on to break down the latest in recruiting. It's all coming up on Out of Bounds, live from Cigar Republic, Thursday on 103.7 The Buzz. RJ Hawk here with Chris Roberts from Southern Bank. And Chris, you know, we've talked so much about that hometown feel and what it's like at Southern Bank. But if you're a commercial investor, they need to come talk to you. We're involved with a lot of customers that have projects across the United States. Those projects can be some of the biggest projects you would see in your communities. So really, there's no project that's too large for us to look at. If somebody's interested in learning more about what Southern Bank can do for their commercial investments, how do they get in touch with you? You just pick up the phone and call me. 
at 501-424-0900. Just love to talk to you about your project, see what you've got going on, and see how we can be a help to you. And you talk about being a help. You really invest into your commercial investors by helping them through the process, looking at things to look out for along the way. I like to think we can throw things off of each other, listen to different viewpoints, and come to the best decision. If you want to learn more, go online, bankwithsouthern.com, or call Chris, 424-0900, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. The Avett Brothers are coming to Little Rock September 17th at First Security Amphitheater. Tickets are on sale Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. Make plans now for an evening with the Avett Brothers September 17th at First Security Amphitheater. Get tickets this Friday. It's the Ranger Open House Sale through Monday at Bradford Marine and ATV at all six statewide locations. Blast to the boat show deals like the Ranger 520R with 250 horsepower Mercury with trailer and up to a $2,000 Bass Pro gift card and discounts up to $10,000 on select models. Or check out the Sun Tracker Sportfish 22, great for fishing and cruising with 115 horsepower Mercury outboard. Don't miss the Open House Sale today through April 1st at all Bradford Marine and ATV statewide locations. Your authorized Ranger and Tracker dealer can't listen to the radio don't worry you can catch morning mayhem live every day just download the 1037 the buzz app yeah but you can't (laughs) throw uh five golf uh nascar names out there like you can five golfers i mean you got tiger you got mickelson uh, uh, yes uh, roy what's his name they call him (laughs) big joe from slater mo tommy Tommy. he is a seven (laughs) foot man muscle and meat one of the leading scorers in Razorback history, Big Joe led the Hogs to an amazing 75% winning percentage, including a historic win against number one Michael Jordan and North Carolina. He captured Olympic gold, then added an NBA world title with MJ and the Chicago Bulls. Big Joe actually played with as many NBA teams as Tom Brady won Super Bowl. But who's but who's County. County. He loves Westerns and worships Barry Manilow. Now representing Corky's Ribs and Barbecue, Joe Cullin. Uh Big Joe hanging out with us. Uh, today is Thursday, Joe, and I think you, well, switch- we, we, we had you a, switched it up last week on us. An adjustment. Okay. What's happening on Thursdays now? <laughs> you get a burger and chips, Big Joe burger and chips for $8. Okay, so it wasn't the drink. No. Okay, you, you threw the drink in there last week by accident. I don't know. That's that's still it's, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, you have to Asterisk. Ask yourself. Can I get a free uh, drink with this? So, I'm, no, I'm out of here. So the, big, the Big Joe Burger and Chips is eight, is eight yeah, bucks and maybe a drink too. But we'll not say. so fast, my friend. May I be so bold as to remind Joe to explain to us what happens on uh, Soul Food Sunday? Well, our girl Jewel Stanton, who's been with us forever. Probably she's been with Tommy probably since his backyard burger day. And wow. she's the, she's the one behind the uh, buffet on buffet Mondays on in Monday. March, now, which has been a success. And she said because that's a success, now I got something else. Now she's uh, she has a gone into the uh, Soul Food Sunday. It's a buffet right. four to eight. It's a. Uh, it's twenty dollars, basically. 19, twenty bucks for adults, ten, ten for, for a kid, kids. twelve and, and under. Nineteen ninety nine and nine ninety nine, but. And it comes with a drink. <laughs> what? What is soul? God, you, the suspense is killing me. What's in the soul food? Oh, What's we in? got fried catfish, fried shrimp, chicken spaghetti. Love okay. chicken spaghetti. Like Green beans, Love it. macaroni cheese, sweet potatoes, garden salad, strawberry cake, caramel cake. Mm. Okay. I like mm. that. I thought, That's good stuff. I thought, That's had, I thought we had greens on there. We may have greens. <laughs> and I want to see, but you said you thought you might have fried chicken, too. And I thought if you we got had fried, fried chi- chicken, too. But let's I mean, find they, Joe. They let's find out. a curve at me. Let's find out. They threw a curve at me. Well, I like it, Joe. Because I, I, I remember specifically when she was explaining this to me as I was trying to leave. And she was pulling at me going, you better get on the buzz. And <laughs> Listen, you have a lot of that. I said, we're doing fried chicken. And she was like, yeah, we doing fried chicken. Have, but it's not on the list, so I don't know. You have a lot of activities going on at Corky's, which is very good. And, and we just found out, too, uh, Steve Edwards uh, is coming in. You got a new uh, buddy right around the corner at Edwards Food Shop, right uh, next to uh, your Corky's yeah, location. Right little, that. Yeah, we had right. a meeting. <laughs> but you did. You did, you did I, allowed, yeah. I allowed them into the neighborhood. Yes. They're good um, people. So I said, yeah, you know, let them in. I mentioned UCA <laughs> women, Raj. Uh, yes. Somebody pointed out, hey, don't forget uh, the game is actually tonight in Conway. 
So if you want to be able to go see and support them at the Ferris Center, it's at 6, 6.30 tonight, the WNIT game with UCA. Uh, here's one that says, uh, Baz, the new uh, version of the Democrat Gazette is awful. we got to band together and have them change it back to the old format. I agree 100%. Right. I'm going to make a call today. Well, it is. What's wrong with they, they, they've, they've done it now where – I get it online. I, I, I do too. I do too. But, but you know, to, when you click on it, you drag it. Just, it's just – Oh, the, is that what I was doing <clears throat> yesterday? Yes. When I couldn't just get yes. to the page? Yes. It, 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 I, had, it's, I had to scroll. It, I, yeah. I, I, just, I couldn't lock in on one page. Well, yeah, and I, it, it, it just clunk here. I, I, I didn't saying, like it yesterday. I, I, didn't I, thought I, I thought it was because I was on my No, it's, it's new. It's, it's a new deal. my laptop. Yeah, it's a new deal. I, uh, I, can't, I can't cut and paste. I can't cut and paste, which I do every day uh, for the show. So, you know, it's uh, – anyway. Uh, so there's that. Somebody said, Joe Klein, I think Musk would get on anybody's nerves after four seasons. All right. Uh, here's one that says, uh, don't forget, Hagen Smith tonight. Rog on the mound, the All-American, right. the, uh, the dominant pitcher who's averaging 18 strikeouts a game. That's what he's averaging. I think that's what I saw. It is 18, or 18 yeah. per nine innings is what it was, more than that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, it's like. Yeah, it, if you pitch nine average, innings, yeah. that's right. You're uh, averaging so many innings, so, yeah. A couple of Peters, Roger. Peter Blank of the Monkeys. Is it Torque? What's, yes. Is, is that right, Peter Torque? Peter, no, Peter, York. York. Torque. Was York. What, what, it's Torque. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> it's Torque. He, oh, he, he, jumped, right, he jumped right in me. Yes, he jumped right on me there. Then that's Roger I don't like your tone. <laughs> I have, you listen, better change your tone. Trying to keep it calm. Uh, Peter Pan. Love, big, fan. big fan. Big fan of Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Who was the best? Who played Peter Paul Pan? Mary. Oh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Yeah. Peter picked a pepper, picked a pick. Peter Piper picked the a pickle, pickle, pickle peppers. Uh, Peter, uh, Peter Rabbit. Peter Here Rabbit. Comes Peter Pe- Cottontail. No, no, no. Up this is Cottontail Lane. No, no, no. Peter Rabbit and Peter Cottontail are two different cats. They are? Well, yeah. I don't know. Hence know the that. name Peter Rabbit I don't and know. Peter well, Cottontail. That could be a short, this could be his uh, nickname. Well, it ain't. I'm sorry. Peter I, don't, I love your mother. Yeah. yeah. And his last name oh. is Cottontail. Oh, my gosh. Peter Parker. Spotty man, how about that? Oh my gosh, wow, how could you miss that? How about uh, Bass says, What about the Otani gambling debt? Have you heard about that? Yeah, so, so appa- apparently, Otani, Otani yeah, 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 apparently, his interpreter, <laughs> he people help him. His, his, his interpreter was his interpreter ran up a little debt at the four, casino, four million dollars, four and a half million, dollars. yeah. And it was, it was too like a to a boogie, right? He, you're not even going through the normal way. You got so many acts and places right. to bet, and you're going to yeah. go through bookies right now. Right. And the one guy that gave the biggest sigh of relief when uh, Otani got that new contract was that guy. <laughs> he said he ain't going to miss my stuff. Uh, oh my gosh, Roger. Okay, you're going to get this one. Right. Uh, what's this, uh, Joe? I'm going to give him this hint for this next Peter. All right, mine he, mailed right he here, get, Joe. Here we go. Joe, he will get it in less than one second. Uh, and uh, with one second, he will get this. Uh, uh, one more thing, Peter. Th- yeah, got it. Oh, it no, it's Peter Falk. Are you okay, kidding me? Okay, it's, 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 a little hesitation. Uh, why am I, there's no hesitation. I know that. That's okay. You, I knew you would get it. I thought you'd be even quicker. Well, that. stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Peter Falk? Uh, Joe oh, yeah, always Columbo. says the same thing. Columbo. Great show. Great, Columbo. great show. Peter Punk. Peter Punk. Let's see. Is it Pumpernickel? Peter uh, Pump. Is it Peter Pumpernickel? I don't know. Peter I, Piper. Peter, pick, Peter Pumpkin Eater. Yes, uh, Peter Pumpkin Eater. I think Peter Pumpkin Eater. Peter Gunn? Peter Gunn? Isn't that the, that? Isn't that the music? Da, na, 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 is that na, Peter Gunn? Is that Peter Gunn? Peter Gunn? No Yo, what about the bass other than Peter Rose? Pe- Peter Gabriel? Yeah, Peter Gabriel. Who's in that? Uh, uh, Pete Maravich. Peter, was it Peter Maravich? Because, again, nine out of ten no, Pete's Pete. are named Peter. Pistol Pete. Yeah, was it? Well, I know it was Pistol Pete. But was his Not name Peter Pistol Pete? Pete. Listen, they all, okay, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, Acre always mentioned Peter North. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, I don't know what you're talking about there, uh, listener. Sure you oh, don't. Oh, Peter Frampton, uh, Joe. Are Peter you, uh, Frampton. Are you a Frampton of fan at all? Oh, yeah. cool. Frampton <clears throat> comes alive, man. I was in high school. Uh, cool. Oh, look at Joe. Uh, uh, Joe uh, and and and, 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 and uh, point of order. Uh, born on June twenty second, nineteen forty seven, Peter Press Marovich. Okay. Oh my God. It oh, does. He don't care. I'm sorry, Joe. You, you, He's you, Pete. He well, of course Pete. we could. Well, they call. I told you. It's not nine out of ten. And call. I may. Let me tell you something. And when I. When Caitlin it Clark made, broke the record, they talked about Pete Maravich. We didn't say it, but they it's not Peter, Peter Day. Press His Maravich. name is Pete. Let me tell you something. If he takes an ID to the White House, uh, 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 Pete uh, Maravich. And he, on his gift certificate, it says Peter. He's not getting in, Joe. I, I'm going to Joe on this one, Roger. Uh, yeah, I come expect on. you get this in one second. I think I've got the song that goes with this this performer. Sledge Hammer. Peter Three. Gabriel. But- we had oh, boy, Joe. Former Walker. member of Genesis. Oh, yeah, there Joe you go. Just oh, killing throw it. it in there, genius. Joe come just on, killing it. Would you- 
Joe is a music guy. You are a music man. Well, of course he is. We played that yesterday. Why don't we play Sledgehammer? Uh, because, oh, it's Hannah Gamble. That's right. That's exactly right. Sing it, Joe. This guy was big back in the day, Joe. Always had the pretty it's ladies. Good, good video. Always had, the, yeah. All the play features and everything. It sure did. Oh, yeah, yeah boy. You get, yeah, yeah, back when you were smoking, that would have killed you. Yeah. Sing it, Joe. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> chainsaw. That's a chainsaw. Oh, this is a great one here. Uh, somebody said Tennessee better watch out for who, Joe? Who are they playing? I didn't realize Kentucky. this. St. Peter's oh! in the first round. Oh, he said St. Peter. Yeah, he said oh, you, you said Saint that early. Uh, this is missing so many names. It's hard to keep up with them. But oh, you were talking about St. Peter. Uh, the, the, the the guy the, who the, the biblical, school's named yeah, after. Yes. Yeah, but not St. Peter. The school. <laughs> Two different things. Two different things. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is the same thing on the rabbit thing he did, but you're going to go with that one. You rats. Two, two <laughs> different things. Um, 661-103. Oh, Peter Jennings. We, uh, his birthday was the other day. Peter, oh, Peter Fonda. Let me, there's so many Peters out there. But I'm thinking of athletics. Yeah, I, I, I was Where thinking of they? all Peters. Who? Peter Rose. Who else? <laughs> it's not yeah, Peter Pete, Rose. It is <laughs> Peter Rose. <laughs> what did we, we, we argue about this the other day? Uh, you don't know about Look it up. You looked up. Press It's Roger. They don't touch my stuff. Roger, remember the other day because you said we were coming up with one of the names was you go they don't say uh, Scott yeah yeah, yeah but Scott Thurman but we call Scott but that's Scott his Thurman. name no no his birth name is Scott I, Thurman I think it's Scotty I can tell you it's not you make a bet yes you're so sure I, I, it would corky. Wow. How do you know? Why would it be called Scotty? Because it's not. Why? Then why? why did I, I, no, the, the, the well, reason why. No. Three to no. win the national championship. No, they didn't go Scott Thurman. No, they <laughs> didn't. Well, let me tell you something, penises. Here's the deal. Oh. Uh, well, just, oh. Just bear with me. You're an aim expert. No, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, I didn't say it couldn't be. I'm telling you, his name is not was not on his birthday. You are telling me that. You were telling me that's that. what I'm saying. No, yeah. but you're yeah. saying why? No, what? no, I'm just saying it could be Scotty. You never know. Well, it could be, but it's not. Could be. what I'm saying. Oh wow! So you don't Roger's think anybody? Right you, don't, you don't think anybody could put Look Scotty on a hard drive? Look, no, I didn't say they couldn't do that. He's saying it. No, no, because you did your 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 driver's license is erroneous. With David, you don't have the Herald on there, do you? Uh, I can choose to put that on. No, no. Do you have Harold on your license? <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Okay, I do. your birth name is Harold David Beck. But and I can change that. I can put. I can make anything I want to. Yeah. Well, you can. Yeah, that's, that's the point. You can make you. You can make anything you want to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just saying you can. I mean, you can. You can put anything you want to on there. You can't say. But you, that's not you, the issue. We can. Well, do was, anything. Well, that's my point. I said it could be. I don't know Scotty yes, yes, personally, so yes, I don't, it could yeah, be. Yeah, that's that was my point. Yes. But I think we looked it up, and and and, and I don't think his name is. I think it, it may not be. But in just, most cases, yes. anybody named Trey is the third in their family. Nobody's named Trey just because uh, listen, of Trey. I'm not, you're, you're the name expert. I'm not well, the name, not expert. name expert. I'm not the name expert. Matt, listen, I, I, I will the defer to you. I'll defer to you. It's okay. <laughs> I'll listen. I tell you, I, let me tell you something. <laughs> I want to call you the WBIT <laughs> as everybody we're thinking about, but I'm going to let it go. <laughs> uh, you know what? Because I prayed text, about this, Joe. Should we text Scotty Thurman and ask him this? Oh, no, Pardon me? Should we text Scotty Thurman listen, and ask him? Could his name be Scotty on his birth certificate? Yes, it could be. All right. But I hey, don't think it why is. is the, why is the clock not fixed? Oh, my gosh, Joe. <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe, are you Joe is clock. Uh, are you kidding Can we get that during the break? Can no, I'm not it? doing it. I sent him. I, my car still has the other. I'm going to send you another picture you're of disgusting. it. disgusting. I'm going to send another picture of you're, it. You're such a you loser. Got, uh, uh, so, oh, you take that back. <laughs> you're a loser. Take it back. You're a loser. That's it. You're it. Six six one one zero three seven is the number if you want to be a part of the show. Got a packed, packed show. Big Joe hanging out with us until seven o'clock. We got Zach Gillum calling in from Oklahoma Sports. Steve Edwards Jr. from Edwards Food Giant. Tommy Smith, Melinda Mayo, Will McIntyre, and Factor Crap. We got to get Factor Crap while Joe is here. No, what? No Justin Moore today, but we will. Uh, Where is Justin? Uh, Justin spring is break. Just, spring break with the kids. Yes. With, oh, look at here, Joe. Remember this one? Was this yeah. big in Slater? Oh yeah. Back when this country was great, we were celebrating kung fu fighting. Peter, you were off. I'm listening. Is it Joe Klein or Joseph Klein? Joseph. Call me Joe, though. Because everybody was kung fu fighting. Who sings it, Joe? Peter. It's 1941. Peter. Edward Rose Sr. 
But his mama called him Pete. Well, mama called him Pete. They Ted call Pete. me Raj, but not on my. Br- I don't even know what they call. I don't want to even argue about it. I'll tell you what. You know what? I'm not going to argue. I'll tell you what they call you. Tell you what they call you out there. They call you a little. It's not on my birth certificate. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you listening. Don't go away. A.L. Scott. Mm. <laughs> David Basil here for Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. At Jones & Son, when you shop for an engagement ring, you get the benefit of shopping with the largest selection of rings in Central Arkansas. Jones & Son also carries the biggest brands in the business. At Jones & Son, shop their new collection of Jones & Son branded engagement rings. These Jones & Son rings are high quality at a fraction of the price. They're also fully customizable. They can modify any design to suit your needs. Jones & Son is located at 1121 Rodney Parham Road. Of course, they've been there for over 35 years. Same address same phone number for over three decades. Finding the perfect piece of jewelry to match the occasion can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be, and it's not at Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. Find the right diamonds for that special occasion. Jones & Son invites you to come by and shop with them in person or online at jonesandson.com. Owners Darrow and Jacob Jones are the best father-son jewelry team in America. Tell them the guys at Morning Mayhem sent you. Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. Jones & Son is located at 1121 Rodney Parham Road. Red Tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At The Payroll Company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The Payroll Company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. If your bathroom needs a new look, make Home Outlet your first stop. Choices are endless with a large selection of new in-stock vanities. So many sizes, colors, and tops. LED mirrors, faucets, freestanding tops, and more. Great quality products at the guaranteed lowest price. Something for everyone. And the service at Home Outlet, they can't be beat. Find us at HomeOutlet.com. Break up with your big box store. Kitchens, baths, and floors, and more. Home Outlet is your home store. This is the Pigskin Preacher, bringing you the word. As folks from across the world pour into Arkansas to see the rarity of a solar eclipse on April the 8th, your friends at Double B's have three designs of eclipse glasses, so you can safely view this phenomenon. Each design will be available in a single for $5 or a five-pack for just $20, perfect for the whole family. These glasses conform to the transmission requirements of ISO 12312-2 filters for direct observation of the sun. In other words, they're safe. Don't miss this celestial rarity and do it safely by picking up your glasses at Doublebees, your one-stop eclipse shop. Doublebees. It's where you gas it, grab it and go. That's Doublebees. For Pulaski County residents and businesses, do recycling right by recycling old electronic equipment. How? Come to North Little Rock Simmons Bank Arena parking lot on Tuesday, April 2nd or Wednesday, April 3rd for an electronic recycling event. Learn more at recyclingunplugged.com. If it's electronic and no longer usable, drop it off and we'll recycle it for free. For information, go to recyclingunplugged.com. Tune in each day to Drive Time Sports to hear Trey Biddy talk all things Razorbacks. Brought to you by Chris Crane Hyundai, Arkansas's number one Hyundai dealer, and Genesis of Conway, Arkansas's only Genesis dealer. Genesis of Conway, the future of luxury today. March is Problem Gambling Awareness Month. Gambling is an activity that carries risk. Problem gambling is often referred to as the hidden addiction because it's so easy to hide. Concerned you might have a problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Every story matters. Roger Scott here. Let me remind you about my friends at Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union. They have some of the most aggressive auto loan rates for Buzz listeners in Celine, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. Easy access to Alcoa's team of loan officers online, by phone or in person, at Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union's two locations in Benton and Sheridan. And apply online at alcoacommunityfcu.org. Want to see our beautiful faces? Catch Morning Mayhem streaming live every day on YouTube, X, and Facebook. Just search 1037 The Buzz. He gives me douche chill. (laughs) 
dive into that. We're going to dive we, into can that. We di- can we dive into that? There's We're, a lot bigger issues going on besides Peter. Things. Yes, there is. Why is Bob come, what, come from Robert? Robo Bobo. Vic comes from Richard. Don't get that one. It's voice of Joe Klein, brought to you by Corky's. You know what I watched the other night? It was What's that? really good. A documentary on uh, Herb Alpert. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Really? Oh, God, she was cool. Joe, I don't think we've... Uh, okay. But it was... But it was... Uh, it was uh, talking about the record, the A&M Records. Uh-huh. And he, he and this other guy, Moss, started A&M Records, and they had... The car, they were carpenters. showing how they signed the Carpenters. Nobody wanted the Carpenters. Yeah, she was obviously huge. Joe, I don't think we've talked to you in the studio since Stevie Nicks. Oh, she killed it. Unbelievable. 75 years old. It sounded just like she no. did when she was... No, 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 she, no. Joe, she sounded like she was when we no, were in school. Yeah. It was unbelievable how it had 18,000 or 15,000 people there. It was, no. I mean, it, and she had her hair. I mean, she's 75 and she looked a little heavier than she was back then, but she looked exactly. Oh, almost, look at you. I'm just, I just, we all are. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, Joe's going to say, when you watch all the March Madness, March Madness is underway. When you watch all the attention, the billions of dollars going into it, going back to your days at Arkansas, the difference between, thank you, Roger, the difference between March Madness then and March Madness now. A whole completely different animal, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, first of all, the coverage. I mean, you can watch whatever you want to watch. Yeah, you, you watch almost I mean? every game. Yeah, I mean, I think. Or can. You know, if you were a friend of the family living in Washington and Arkansas is playing, you're not necessarily going to get that game. You're going to get regional coverage, whereas. You know, now with streaming and everything, you can watch. You, like you said, you do a quad box if you want. You can watch four. Back then, you would get, you'd get like if you're in Arkansas, you get one game. I mean, you'd pretty much right. what was it? I guess it was CBS back then too. Right. I mean, yeah, it was just. Yeah, and I, I don't know that they. I can't remember like if like on Thursday at eleven o'clock they would play the games or not or on TV. I mean, I'm not. Do, do you ever look back? I, I know you have. You didn't go as far deep in the tournament as you would have liked to. Does it ever irritate you that, that your tournament runs more deeper? The four, the, the four times I played in it, I lost last second to BYU at Notre Dame on a Danny Ainge layup, last wow. seconds of the game, mm. uh, last second tip in by Louisville in the Sweet Sixteen. Mm. At Arkansas, uh, last second jump shot from uh, wow. Rick Carlisle by Virginia uh, in in '84, uh, and then we got beat by two uh, by St. John's in the second round. Who was who was the star for St. John's? Oh, that's when they had Chris Mullins. Yeah, Mullins. Yeah, they Walter yeah. Berry yeah. and of course and all these guys. Mark you up- Jackson and oh Bill wow, Mark Jackson. Like NBA champions. I mean, we we, we had yeah. them, we had them beat, and then. Uh, William Mills stole the ball and tried to do a reverse dunk and clanged it off the back of the rim, and they came down and scored and went up like three. We would have been up one, and then – I think I remember the I think dunk. we had to foul, you know, the whole – but it was a crucial it, part of the game. Irritating <laughs> that, you you know, you had such a great career All-American, but I you mean, can't get the well, – I mean, it, it That's it the tournament, man. You'll see it. Did you win – did you win – did you uh, win – you were in the Olajuwon era. Did, did How many Southwest Conference uh, titles? No, didn't win any. Didn't win any because it was uh, – David. Who, my redshirt year, Arkansas won the conference with an 11 and 5 record. Wow. Won it that. outright. Wow. The next two years, I lost four games total. And there was all. And the, finished second both years. To Houston? Because Houston, Houston lost one. Wow. They went 15. We went 14 and 2, 14 and 2. They went 15, 16 and 0, and 15 and Again, 1. that Houston team had two. No, they were, uh, they uh, were two, two, what are they called? The top 100 all time. Top Smith 50. On that team? What's that? Was Kenny Smith? Pros, no, right? no, that no. was North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, you had Clyde Drexler and Olajuwon. I mean, you had two of the greatest basketball players Michael ever. Young. Ever, Michael Young. I yeah, mean, they had they had two great pros, but they had two really excellent college players, Michael yeah. Young yeah. and uh, uh, Misha. Misha, oh, Josh. Wow. I, I don't know if I've told this story. Roger, Roger's heard this story. If I have enough time to tell it, when they were playing, uh, Elijah, one of them came to uh, to Barnhill, and all of us, you know, some of us football players got there early. We were going to heckle them during their warmups, and there were they these like, dunk. Oh, yeah, they start, they started dunking. They had the stars. They had stars like Harlem Globetrotters down the side of their pants, and Elijah was just laying on the court. I go, Look at these guys! All of a sudden, they started. Every guy was dunking like behind. It's all of us got sort of quiet, like, oh crap. I mean, they were so athletic. What? What did? They, what was your nickname? Five Slamma Jamma. Oh my gosh! Oh, good, I it's a good college basketball team as there ever was. It's the best college basketball team to never win it. 
to everyone. Yeah, no doubt. I, I got to go back and no watch doubt. the 30 for 30 yeah. on they that. They got to be on the Mount Rushmore of that. Yeah. yeah. No, there's well, they had, they, had, they had the one game one. You know, and they had the, the Well, they'd be the, the number shot. one, number one, I would think, uh, Gonzaga, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Who did Villanova beat? No, NC State beat Villanova. Villanova beat Georgetown. Yeah, and NC State beat Houston. That's what. All right, we, we appreciate right. you uh, right? being locked in with us. Going to have a busy yes. rest of the show. If you yes, want to be a part, 661-1037 is the text line. It is 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hogs hit the hardwood. 1037 The Buzz. KABZ Little Rock. Little Rock. Old Man Winter here. One more snowstorm. Not a chance, Mr. Winter. It's spring. It's also time for the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event, where you can get great deals on all our award-winning Hyundai models, all backed by America's best warranty. Hurry in. These deals won't last at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now get 0% APR on the Tucson, or pay only $369 a month with zero down payment. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Offers end soon. Call 469-613-0227 for details. Are you looking for a dealership to have your back? It's your lucky day. Hubbard Power Sports Can-Am and Sea-Doo of Russellville is your one-stop shop for all things power sports and marine. Our family-owned and operated dealership is celebrating 24 years in business this summer. From our Can-Am and Sea-Doo certified service technicians to our highly knowledgeable sales team, we take pride in how well we take care of our customers. On the road, on the water, or in the trails, we've not only got the ride, but the service for you. Stop by and see us in Russellville or check us out on Facebook today. See our current inventory at HubbardPowerSports.com. 1037 The Buzz, your exclusive Razorback headquarters in Central Arkansas. KBC Little Rock. Buzz News with Channel 7's Cassandra Webb. A follow-up now to the shooting of Clinton National Airport Executive Director Brian Malinowski. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives shot him during a shootout at his home early Tuesday morning while trying to serve a search warrant. Now his brother, says Malinowski, is brain dead in a Little Rock hospital. Matt Malinowski says ATF has not yet told his family why they were serving a search warrant at his brother's Chenal Valley home early Tuesday morning, but he says they did it with extreme and unnecessary force. He says Brian was shot in the head. He he says his brother collected guns, but argues nothing inside his home should have triggered a raid. The future of Arkansas's freedom of information laws is in the hands of the voters. This November, two separate initiatives could appear on your ballot. One would enshrine the FOIA law in the state constitution. The other would modernize the existing law. The ballot initiative to enshrine FOIA in Arkansas's constitution requires roughly 90,000 signatures. From the Channel 7 Newsroom, I'm Cassandra Webb. Brought to you by Floyd Seafood, Keel Avenue in Sherwood. It's crawfish season and Floyd's has live Louisiana crawfish. Order by 1 p.m. Thursday for weekend broils. Floyd's Meat and Seafood.com. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. Thompson Electric presents Jackson Wells each week in the zone with Justin and DJ. Thompson Electric since 1983, providing innovative electrical solutions for your business. To learn more, check them on the web at thompsonelectric.com, or you can search Thompson Electric on Facebook and Instagram for more information. Roger Scott for Oakland Racing Casino Resort. Are you tired of feeling like a lonely raccoon in the dark? Well, say goodbye to those gloomy nights and hello to the Oakland Eclipse Festival, shining bright from April 4th to April 8th. And get ready to bask in the glow of family, fun, and affordability all weekend long. We've got just some horse racing action, hotter than a jalapeno salsa, and not one, but two Mitsubishi Eclipses are up for grabs. And for all you stargazers out there, come catch the glimpse of the Eclipse from our legendary Oakland infield. Tickets for the April 8th infield event are a steal 
Mitchell at just 20 bucks. And you know Oakland's Event Center is cooking up some sizzle entertainment for you. Mitchell Tenpenny on Saturday, April 6th, followed by Better Than Ezra on Sunday, April 7th. And get ready to laugh, sing, and dance with Terry Fader, Gary Allen, and Aaron Lewis on various dates throughout the year. And boy, howdy, stay tuned, because we've got more big announcements and headliners coming. Snatch up your tickets and book your rooms at oakland.com today. It's all happening in beautiful hot springs, home to Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Connor has cash. Once again, Connor has cash at the Pickles Gap Weapon Shack in Conway. Connor will buy your used weapon or he will buy your entire collection. Once again, Connor has cash and he wants to buy your used weapons at the Pickles Gap Weapon Shack, Highway 65 North in Conway. The all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock are opening March 27th. Over 100,000 square feet of hardware, outdoor appliances, a window and door center, and even a drive through lumber yard. And there's nothing like Design One. This stunning showroom is one place for all your home and design needs, including 12 full kitchens and nine baths, plus a huge selection of lighting, flooring, countertops, and more at the all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock. Hello, folks. It's Frank Fletcher from the Fletcher Dodge Store here in Sherwood. For the past few months, we've been asking you to give us a chance to buy your cars, and the response has been great. We really appreciate all of you who brought your cars in and turned it into cash. We've purchased hundreds of cars from fine people just like you. Folks, we're still buying cars every day. So look around and see what you or your family has in the garage that you want to turn into cash. It's really easy, folks. Just come into Fletcher Dodge and ask for Chris or Andy. We'll buy any vehicle and we'll pay you more than anyone. We can't find enough vehicles at the auto auctions to meet the demand. So we're extending you this offer to the public. We'll pay you more, so don't wait. We've purchased hundreds of cars from fine people just like you. Come see us today for the best cash offer on your car, truck, van, or SUV. Just ask for Chris or Andy. We'll pay you more, so come see us at Fletcher Dodge on Warden Road in Sherwood. Thanks. Hi, I'm David Dunn with Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer, Arkansas's most trusted, highly rated, locally owned, and family operated heavy and medium duty diesel repair service. From Fords to Freightliners, specializing in suspensions, transmissions, brakes, DPF systems, and complete engine rebuilds. Tired of paying high dealership prices with long wait times? Let Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer get your truck back on the road where it belongs. Take exit 7 off of I-440. That's Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer. Tito's Handmade Vodka presents the 2024-1037 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament, Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course. Register your four-person team at 1037thebuzz.com. Brought to you in part by Lion Legal. It's the Ranger Open House Sale through Monday at Bradford Marine and ATV at all six statewide locations. Blast to the boat show deals like the Ranger 520R with 250 horsepower Mercury with trailer and up to a $2,000 Bass Pro gift card and discounts up to $10,000 on select models. Or check out the Sun Tracker Sportfish 22, great for fishing and cruising with 115 horsepower Mercury outboard. Don't miss the Open House Sale today through April 1st at all Bradford Marine and ATV statewide locations. Your authorized Ranger and Tracker dealer. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. If I can change. Live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studio. And you can change. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Everybody can change. Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, it is a 7.06 here on this uh, Thursday. Great to have Joe Klein in from Corky's today on Thursday. It's uh, Burgers. Big Joe Burger Day. So, Allegedly. So, Big Joe Burger only or all burgers a buck off? Uh, eight bucks. Well, rather like eight, eight bucks. bucks. The I'm sure it's all burgers. All burgers. Sunday eight. Soul Food. Check it out. Nineteen ninety nine for adults. Uh, nine ninety nine for the kids. It includes a drink. It's Soul Food Sunday Not Chicken Spaghetti. Allegedly it accru- might have a drink. I don't know. Better I don't know. Not. I don't know. We've got. Uh, I've been. I've been so flustered by the uh, name, name game. Name We're gonna game. figure it out. We're gonna so figure it out. many activities going on today. We got uh, national championship wrestling where the Trojans are up in Kansas City. You got uh, Arkansas at Auburn. Uh, Haken Smith on the mound today. We'll visit with Mil Ma- Will McIntyre in the nine o'clock hour. Uh, we'll we'll be doing this. We'll be watching the baseball game and all the March Madness. 
uh, from uh, Mainline Sports Bar, Raj. Yeah. Uh, and it's what a great place to be able to do to it, do too. all those things. Yeah. Yes. Not a, listen, they've got enough TVs to play every game that's uh, uh, that's they on. could. That's right. Uh, uh, an individual game. But. What, what, we'll have to ask Zach here in a second. What what is the best game? Of course, I mentioned UCA is playing Joe in the WNIT at uh, at the Fair Center tonight. So you can be a part of that. The Razorback Women versus Tulsa tonight in the WBIT. The other big story yesterday, Devo Davis is, is uh, transferring. Yeah. And then I, I was going to say this real quick. Did anybody see, I, I must have missed this, 2025 Razorback football schedule. Did you see it, Joe? No. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, the, no, uh, Notre, uh, da- the, Notre Dame's coming to, to Fayetteville? Yeah. that's. Uh, you know what? Uh, I saw the away games. You know what? Uh, my grandson told me that. And yeah. I was like, no, Notre that, Dame I comes like, to was, Fayetteville. How cool like, is I that? I was like, that's not right. I thought we I was were like, going that's there. That's not too. right, Danny. They had to put that off because it got yeah. canceled. It's back. COVID. Was that a COVID yeah, deal? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what right. Happened. That's right. That's right. Listen, no, Notre Texas. Dame. He's like, no, he goes, no pops. September 27th. Goes, Notre Dame. Wow. Oh, How yeah. cool Listen, is that? Listen, LSU, Ole Miss, Texas, Tennessee. This there's, year. Your, there's some away games right there, Jack. Yeah, then, yeah, that year, Roger, you're right. You're at Ole Miss, Tennessee, LSU, Texas. Uh, you got Missouri, Missouri State at home. dates on those or no? You do. Notre Dame is September 27th. Uh, do they have for conference games? I'm sorry. Uh, they do not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you also got Arkansas State uh, September 6th. That'll be fun. That'll uh, be fun. Let's check it real quick. Let's go over to the Oakland Sports uh, book and talk with our man, Zach Gillum, just to check on the odds for today and the games that we need to be paying attention to. Good morning, Zach. How you doing? Doing great. How are you guys this morning? Good. Got big Joe Klein here, the All-American, as uh, everybody hey, knows. Joe. Zach, is it uh, Zachary or Zach? The name snob uh, wants to know. <laughs> My name is Zachary, but uh, I'll go by either. You know, I've been That's called exact. other things as well. That's what I told him, Zach. The only question is, is it a K or an H? You know, I'm I'm pretty flexible when it goes to that as well. With Zachary, I usually go with an H. With Zach, I go with a K. I just like to keep people on their toes. See, my son is Zachary with an H, but we go Z A C. I know that. Very. That's a trick one. That's a trick. That's a trick, trick name. Trick name. Because I'm a name snob. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, Zach. Uh, give us give us a rundown. Who who are the top four favorites to uh, to win this thing? March Madness. Yeah. So the top top. Four right now, um, not a big surprise. UConn is up on top. Odds are now at plus 350. Houston, another number one seed coming in, is the second choice at plus 575. Purdue is another one of the number one seeds. They are plus 650. And then Arizona comes in as the fourth choice at plus 1300. Um, they're actually not the fourth one seed. The other one seed is North Carolina. They are 16 to 1. Who are who are some more attractive, maybe middle of the pack teams that might, you know, you're looking at you might get good odds or that have a shot at this thing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, two of the lower odds SEC teams are Tennessee and Auburn. Right now, Tennessee sixteen to one, Auburn eighteen to one. Now, keep in mind, Auburn Joe, you... is in that tough draw um, with UConn. So, Joe, um, I like I like Auburn. But but they have, they're in the they're in the same yeah. the, they're in a region that's got four yeah. of the six I mean, power they, they, six irre- That all that to me is irrelevant because anything could happen. If you don't play good, you lose. If yeah. you play win, you play good, you got a chance to win. So you're going to play good teams regardless of where you are. So Tennessee and Auburn are, are those that uh, who's who's a good long shot. Uh, who maybe who's somebody you could lay some money on and maybe win big with a long shot. Yeah, there's a few that you know stand out. Again, if I if I pick some of the SEC teams or maybe regional teams that I know have some interest, Kentucky right now twenty five to one, That's... Baylor's at thirty three to one, Bama at forty to one. I think if you drop any lower than that, it's it's looking pretty tough. But you know, this is a a tournament where anything can happen. So, so Kentucky was twenty three to one. Uh, Kentucky twenty five to one, 25. and Baylor at thirty three to one. I'm, yeah, telling you like right now, I'm telling you right now, there's nobody in the tournament who has better guards now offensively than Kentucky. Than Kentucky. Now they may give up ten thousand points. points. Yeah, yeah. But Dillingham, Reeves, and Shepard are by far the best guard combination in the tournament. It's not even close. What is uh what is a very interesting we're visiting with Zach uh Gillum who, uh, the Oakland sports book. What's the most interesting? Are there some individual bets on individual players that uh or something else besides just uh, picking a team that maybe that you find intriguing, Zach? Yeah, so there's some this morning you're gonna want to check out because once the tournament starts those will come down. So for instance, big twelve teams to advance to the round of thirty two. So how many teams will win a game in round one from the Big 12. Right now, the over-under is set at five and a half. 
The over is a pretty heavy favorite there, minus 250. And we have that same market for each of the Power Five conferences. So the SEC is another team listed here. Um, SEC currently also at five and a half, but the over under at minus one fifteen. Uh, any uh, any individual that would that that, that we're going to be watching that that that's, there's a, that you can lay some money on in terms of performance uh, right at this point. So actually, player props are going to be up for every game. Um, those are on the board right now. Some of the games are going to have a little bit deeper menu because they will have some alternate lines on these first round games. Once we get to the Sweet 16, I expect we'll see alternate lines for each of the player props. And then we will also start offering the player props live. So that's something you typically don't see too often with college sports is the player props live as well. What would be a Joe, what would have been a Roger, what would have been a good player prop, uh, uh, prop for Joe Klein? Back uh, t- uh, ten or uh, ten I mean, eight, yeah, eight, eight. How many games he dominates? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, you know what? Per game? How many uh, uh, <laughs> charges he takes? Wait, listen. I like that. That would have been a high number. Well, you were you were, at, you were averaging twenty around eighteen twenty, uh, right? Yeah. No yeah. Oh, stop! Oh, Come stop on. it! Come on, sleepy no eye! Come on, twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> you just pull that one out, did you? What did you probably average? Ten, eight, ten. Not senior year. You want to know what I average? Come on, let's hear twenty two point one. One. Okay, what about rebounds? Eight. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. yeah, you know what? You should have taken. Take the over with Joe. I'm going that. over 22 with Joe yeah, and more than eight rebounds. Well, you got the numbers. You got the points. You've got the rebounds. You got offensive, defensive. Would the defensive rebounds be more than offensive rebounds? That would have been a fun bet. Uh, tonight, I mentioned, uh, Zach, we're going to be over at the Mainline Sports Thank you, Park. Richard. I'm going to start calling you Richard. <laughs> with, uh, with Roger doing uh, trivia. And, I, you know, we start at 6.30 and go to 8 o'clock. And yes. It will, be, it will be hopping with all the TVs. Because you got two things. Listen, I'd love to be able to have one of those TVs yeah. on Arkansas versus is Auburn. You got obviously the top pitcher in America right now, Hank Smith. You know people down there. We can make it happen. For <laughs> uh, but it's this is the perfect time to be at Oakland too. You got racing yeah, going on yeah, today, yeah. and you got games going on. I mean, you get a little bit of everything if yeah, you go over and hang out. You can smell the Derby. Smell yes, it. absolutely. I mean, you get live racing today uh, coming up on Arkansas Derby, as Roger's saying. I mean, Eclipse weekend following Derby weekend. Obviously, this weekend my focus on the big tournament. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Sixteen games today. Are there odds um, on the eclipse? What are the odds? What are the odds? You know, the time. I, I'm, the time. I'm still working on those. Yeah. I've been asked. You know, we need some odds on what the weather's going over to be. Over under. Odds, over under on attendance and how uh, long it takes. You know, how, yeah, how many hot dogs we have? You know, that are consumed. On, I mean, so, if you're going to be a, a bookie, if you're going to be a bookie, book. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to get. I got to get to work. I'm slacking here. The uh, the other thing, Rogers, that now's the time, a good time too, to do the. Uh, you know, you, you, if you're a new customer, you, you do the hundred dollar. Uh, oh, absolutely. Best bet for for, for a thousand ten, bucks. Ten days straight until yeah. a thousand dollars. Right, it's Zach? a thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah, but Baz, you nailed it. I mean, this you can't nailed pick it. a better time. You're going to be able to um, use March Madness games on what I think there's eight of the next 11 days, you're going to have March Madness games. So new customers, if you have not signed up, you can earn up to $1,000 in bonus bets. All the details on Oakland Sports, but it's very simple. As soon as you make your first deposit, you are active in the offer. No promotion code um, needed, no opt-in needed. And if your first bet loses, we will credit you a bonus bet up to $100, and you get to do that for each of your first 10 days. I th- and, and I think you're right. I think this is the perfect yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it is yeah, you, you got so many activity. you got so no, many to choose absolutely. from yeah. Listen, and you can take the 10 day you don't even have to touch any of the bonus bucks that you have yeah, you, you, you go through your 10 days and then come back and yeah. play uh, Zach, yeah, uh, absolutely. Because yeah. those are those are good for 14 days after you receive yes. them. So to your point, you don't have to use them. You've got some time. Yeah. It is going to be hopping at Oakland between racing and uh, March Madness. So uh, maybe we'll see you tonight over at the uh, Mainline. I know you got today's a busy day for you. Actually, look for Zach when you go over there. He looks like Al, Pac- Al Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon, Joe. That's yeah, how you'll yeah. see him. Uh, thanks, Zach. Appreciate the time, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Zach. Absolutely. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you this afternoon. Hi, right, buddy. Um, all right, Raj, we need to get a contestant for Factor Crap. 661-1037. Josh, we're going to give away a certificate, a $25 gift certificate to Rowdy Hog Pickleball. Um, right. And? And we're going to give away a James Taylor tickets, too. Both of those, Joe. That's what wow. we're doing. So, Joe, you got to help somebody win both those things. And we're going to give them a drink. <laughs> huh? We're gonna give you a drink. Uh, hit, with that, that. Uh, hit that new open Let, there, let's, Roger. Let's, let's, okay, let's is see. He, is we, he still there? I don't, is Rob, he are you still there? 
No, no Rob, 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 the Yes. Whatever it is, you're giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, what? Uh, uh, hold on there. Here phone we lines go. are lighting up. Uh, everybody wants to win. And, and again, do say thanks to Rowdy Hog Pickleball for bringing back uh, Factor Crap. And great to have Joe in here to play today. Absolutely. Is it fact? That it's a fact. Or is it crap? That's crap. You decide. Brought to you by Rowdy Hog Pickleball, the only pickleball dedicated store in the state with four climate controlled indoor courts coming soon. Visit RowdyHogPickleball.com to claim your free membership. Yeah, just Love go, go to, go to the website. You, Hog. Yeah, go to that website, RowdyHogPickleball.com, uh, claim free membership. Court's going to be awesome when they get ready here in a few weeks. All right, who we got? Line two was first. Number two was first. Let's go to Drew. Hi, Drew. Welcome Morning, to Drew. Drew. How are you? Uh. Morning. Are Morning. you ready to play? Yes, sir. All Good right. luck, Drew. Gonna, know this. I will not purposely steer you wrong. Not purposely. I'm going to ask a question. Let Roger and Joe give you their opinion, and you can go with them or go with your own uh, instinct. Here we go. Uh, according to the American Journal of Sports Medicine, Pole vaulting is the sport with the highest death rate per participant. Roger, according to the American Journal of Sports Medicine, pole vaulting is the sport with the highest death rate per participant. What do you say? Factor crap. Listen, I, listen there's, there's not enough time for me to be able to think about that. Yes, pole. Is it Olympic quick. Games? Or it or is that, yeah, it doesn't matter. Is it talking about football and matter. basketball? Modern about, age. Yes. It, modern, modern age? Yeah, modern, pole vault versus uh, all versus the other Versus archery? Yes, or football or whatever. What do you say? Factor crap. It's crap. Joe, what do you say? It's crap. It's I crap. Haven't, when was the last time you heard him? Never yeah. heard of somebody. Drew, died. are you going to go with them or are you going to so go that, with your that own probably, instinct? That probably means it's, <laughs> since, since all logic points to it being a bunch of crap, crap, well, it's probably oh, true. You know, then it's probably true. I, Drew, I agree with you, kind Drew, of Joe. What's so. the, you go a fact or crap? Good luck. Fact. According to the American Journal of Sports Medicine, pole vaulting is a sport with the highest death rate per participant is a f- Your logic was spot on. It's so How about that? You it's know a what? Fact? That, you know what? I, fact. That's crap. Listen, that's, have you ever done <laughs> it's, on, it's on page. page. <laughs> you better start <laughs> reading those things right. <laughs> Dangerous. The media's not letting us know about the pole vaulting problems that's yeah, going the on. The people are dying and they're yeah. getting portions from yes. pole vaulting and nobody knows. Have you seen those poles break? They're Come not, on. It's not a fun Get up in this newspaper. All right, Drew, here we go. No. One more, and you get the uh, the uh, certificate Ridiculous. to Rowdy Pickleball, and tickets to James, James Taylor. Taylor. Statistically, people with blue eyes have larger feet. Roger, is that fact or crap? Statistically, people with blue eyes have larger feet. Look at Joe. Joe doesn't have uh, blue Let eyes, but he's got right. big what feet. Are you, you got, what are you? What are you? What are you? What color are yours? Are they green? I can't see underneath the hat. What are they? What, what do you what think, Rog? Uh, fact blue or crap? Eye, blue eyes have larger feet, which then makes you believe that blue-eyed guys have larger hands. <laughs> That's crap. Crap? Oh, what do you think, Joe? Crap. Wow, crap. That's crap. Two, That's now, crap. Listen, you didn't, That's go, crap. you didn't go with them last time, Drew. What do you think? Fact or crap? Blue eyes, big feet. Ridiculous. That's wow. Crap. He was uh, he was quick on that. Uh, statistically, people with l- blue eyes have larger feet. Is crap. Yeah. That good job, my man. Way to go, baby. Great boy. to have Factor Crap back. Have our yes. man Joe and and yes. uh, jumping in. Hey, thanks again to uh, James and Jolene Hart. Uh, listen, they are passionate about pickleball, Joe. Listen, yeah. they have one store, and it's all pickleball. Yeah. And so, uh, mm. and they're after the uh, the outlet mall, right next to Bass Pro Shop. Sorry, so we, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Congratulations on that, and we'll do it again another time. But you got to tell me this. So, who, what, what, what is it? What does it give you to know? It does not. With certain eyes, it does not. It just says this is crap. Uh, sorry, it's just a crap. No, it's thing. just some dude sitting around going. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Some dude named Harold sitting around yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he goes, All right, let's. Uh, don't forget to go to. What do you think? What can we do with blue eyes? Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, I got a question for you. We'll, we'll, you we'll, 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 we'll say blue eyed people hey, got big feet. I, he was really quick on that first one. It makes me wonder. There's enough time he could have Googled uh, on the desk. Because you, well, you know what? You know what? Y'all both went crappy. Oh. In fact, I, 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 you know what? I like. If if you if you can do it, do it. I like. Look, you're like yeah, if you can I if like you can it cheat. a lot. 
You can cheat, cheat. If yeah, is, exactly, Joe, for these games. Is, yeah, that, it's cheating? Out of mind. is yes. that cheating? Uh, well, you're listening. King of all trivia. You, yeah. don't, you, don't, you, don't like, you don't like cheating. I'm not a big fan of the cheating when it um, comes so, to trivia. So people are at, at, at your event looking at their phone? You, no, you, you, can't, no, you can't do it. Because I tell you, you, you can't can't we don't tell you you so can't like, Google. Somebody's like texting their kid and you're you're doing a question, you, you like go ballistic. I take oh, the phone yeah, and I, throw, you turn it, I throw it in the French for a fryer. turn into Richard. I you're, tell, you're real, man. You know what I tell them, Joe? We're adults. <laughs> you got to call your mom, got to call your kids, you uh, get on the phone and do By it. the way, real quick, too, uh, readyhogpickleball.com. Just go there and just put, send them your email. You get a free uh, uh, court membership to those indoor courts when they get them done. So that's there easy. You, you Michael go. Marion says, what does, uh, over at Simmons Make Arena, what does Joe think of Mississippi State chances against Michigan State? Oh, I, know, also, I, like, I like Mississippi State. I mean, it, it'll be a... It'll be a good game. Physical. Both teams are physical, but I mean, I, I think Jans is an awesome coach. What's great too is that the, that, that game's eleven fifteen. I love Roger. The eleven fifteen starts. You know, it just because you are. You know what? Yeah, you know, listen. Like for example, uh, Justin oh, yeah. and, and DJ, they're doing the show, man, and you're watching games. Yeah. And you're watching games. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Brian Mobley. Uh, he is my go-to guy. Call the man, Rog. He's coming to do. Probably is. Yes. Like, remember, he built that stage for uh, the Red Christmas yes, Market. I do. Joe, I, I find it amazing that people can do things with They, they can build things and fix things. Yeah. Roger and I like tap an out. Like an engineer. We, like we tap out. We Aunt call B, the man. Aunt B, call the man. Call the man. Call the man. And uh, Brian is. He, I'm not doing it for free. I'm paying him. But like you, fixing why, like why uh, do you feel doors on cabinets yeah. or yeah. Yeah. hanging bars. We have this. trim men for those things. That's right. Or we have Bobby Tucker for those things. Guys who have that ability. you got to have that. Are there any chicks that can do that? Because we don't want to be sexist. It's almost like Roger. Chicks. They're chicks. It's almost like Roger <laughs> Joe when he has. But you a, don't want to be sexist. No. They're, what? But they're what? Chicks. <laughs> when he has a a, a comedy idea, yeah. in that no, no, you have a gift. Thank you, Bad. It's a Thank gift. You. Pay it's attention. a gift. He has a gift that, you call that it, you, some call it a gift. It's a gift. Some and, call it a gift. And that you create magic. Thank you. It just comes. Thank to, you. See? Some people. Now can, I agree with you in the name s- thing. <laughs> some people can look at things with their hands and go, yeah. "I got that." Now I'm like, "No, you, you can." can. It's amazing. Let me tell you, what's been, you know what's been driving me nuts? Yeah. The, the the toilet paper roll hanger on my wall is like this, Uh-oh. and it's been that way, and yeah. I and, and it's and yeah. it's stripped, yeah. it's stripped, and it just keeps and the, oh. and the, and the, and the, and the roll oh. comes well, off. Who's the guy at your place? Brian. Tell Brian to come up here and fix this dang clock. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Brian Mobley, come on up here. I want everybody to know oh, it's, it? six, it's 625 in seven seconds, so you got plenty of time to get into work. You're doing fine. It's 625. Let me tell you something. If we, if you're like me, because we spend a, a, a good amount of a time in the toilet, and so do you, Joe, because you have a bidet, uh, <laughs> things like that uh, uh, can drive you nuts having that uh, thing. You could actually sit there while you're using the pot. Uh, and fix that with yourself if you, that's if, if you get with an anchor or something like that. My great for my son the Church solutions text line. My great grandfather was in pe- stick in Hel- Helsinki, nineteen fifty two. Show some respect, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I never heard of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, but he didn't die. Was impaled? He just said impaled. Said, uh, this one said, uh, let's so see. there. Dear Mr. So Scott, this is Pete, the Benton Walmart manager. You're still banned. Thank you. <laughs> Peter, you, you got to let me back. You hear he, he he went in there and caused a scene. I didn't Roger cause did it. a Walmart. scene, Joe. He got mad at the price of something and complained. Complained like, wow. Really? He did. You're that guy. He felt bad about it. I he felt You're that guy. Well, you know what? You're if that I, guy. Listen, if I may pull from that's, Tommy Lee again, Jones that's and the why Lonesome Dove. That's why your real name is what? Richard. Well, some people use a nickname for that. Listen, <laughs> all I told the ladies was just like Tommy Lee and Lonesome Dove. I don't like rude behavior. I uh, I saw that Nebraska, somebody says here, plays their tournament game tomorrow. They have never won a, yeah, a never, and no. never won one tournament game. Nebraska, Nebraska. Now, great football over oh, the years. Really, never won one in basketball. That's a great so uh, live it, bet. Probably that would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just a great trivia. Don't they play A and M? I think they do. They yeah. do play A and M. Why not one win? Uh, all right, we'll visit with uh, Steve Edwards Jr. coming up here in a second. Six six one one zero three seven. Also got Tommy Smith, Belinda Mayo, and Will McIntyre, who's killing it on the mound. It's seven thirty here in Morning Mayhem. You can hear the best of the NCAA tournament on 106.7 Buzz 2 from the very beginning all the way to the championship game. March Madness on 103.7 The Buzz and 106.7 Buzz 2.
This is SportsCenter. Two games concluded the first four in Dayton last night as Grambling State rallied from 14 points down to beat Montana State 88-81 in overtime to claim the second 16-seed spot determined by a play-in game. And then in the second 10-seed play-in game, it was Colorado 60, Boise State 53, which means now the 64-team field is set for the 2024 Men's NCAA Tournament. The action begins today at 11.15 a.m. on CBS when Mississippi State takes on Michigan State in an 8-9 matchup. It'll run all the way through today until 9.05 when Washington State and Drake tip off in a 7-10 matchup. You can catch all of the action on CBS, True TV, TBS, and TNT. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. Tito's Handmade Vodka presents the 2024 103.7 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament, Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course. Registration is now open. Go to 1037thebuzz.com to register your four-person team. Prizes will be awarded in both the morning and afternoon flights. The 2024 103.7 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament, Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course, presented by Tito's Handmade Vodka and brought to you in part by Lion Legal, with special thanks to Corky's Ribs and Barbecue, Sonic, and Michelob Ultra. The all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock are opening March 27th. Over 100,000 square feet of hardware, outdoor appliances, a window and door center, and even a drive through lumber yard. And there's nothing like Design One. This stunning showroom is one place for all your home and design needs, including 12 full kitchens and nine baths, plus a huge selection of lighting, flooring, countertops, and more at the all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock. Hey there, Arkansas. It's Rowdy Hog Pickleball calling. Are you ready to join in the fun? Discover why pickleball is the fastest-growing sport in America. It's an absolute blast for the whole family. Rowdy Hog Pickleball has equipment for all budgets. And here's the best part. Indoor courts are coming soon. Soon. And membership is free. Don't miss out on the action. Conveniently located in the outlets of Little Rock and visit RowdyHogPickleball.com for your free membership. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. See shelter agents Steve Ferguson in Little Rock, Todd Session in Moralton, or Kyle Stone in Pine Bluff. Old Man Winter here. One more snowstorm. Not a chance, Mr. Winter. It's spring. It's also time for the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event, where you can get great deals on all our award-winning Hyundai models, all backed by America's best warranty. Hurry in. These deals won't last at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now get 0% APR on the Tucson, or pay only $369 a month with zero down payment. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Offers end soon. Call 469-613-0227 for details. This is Miss Arkansas, Corey Keller, and you're listening to Morning Mayhem on 103.7 The Bus. And it is over here in Dayton. The Grambling State Tigers, dancing for the first time ever, have punched their ticket to Indianapolis in a date with Purdue. All right, uh, Brunch, give me a little bit more juice. I got a new uh, headset jack. I think it's three or four. Thank you. Uh, 731 here on uh, Morning Mayhem. I'm David Basil. That's Roger Scott. Uh, Josh Neighbors producing. JM is uh, on the road. Maybe coming back today with the uh, spring break, obviously, with the kids. Coming back today or tomorrow. Uh, Joe Klein is in uh, on Thursdays, as always. Today is uh, any burger at Corky's, both locations, eight bucks with a, a bag of chips and burger. Ask for a drink. Maybe you get it free. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, and uh, how cool it is, Roger, that we have Steve Edwards Jr. here. Yeah. Joe had to give permission for Edwards to be able to come in and put 
a new location in uh, Lakewood Village. We gave him clearance. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Steve? Doing good. How are y'all? Roger, we also need to thank Edwards for sponsoring uh, Rick Schaefer. Uh, Caliph Battle has been great this year. Thank yeah. you, Steve. Yeah, yeah that's it's Thank really... You. Uh, you know, they're the meat people. They are the meat people. Yeah, Caliph uh, has been really good, Joe. Uh, we've, no, been, I, yeah, I, we've been impressed I with him. he's been uh, spot on. Yeah, does he, he's, w- he's been... Uh, no, he's what do you had, think happens? What do you think happens with him? Have any I mean, have I, any I guess? Know. I, I mean, know you don't know for sure. I but. mean, uh, you know, they got to do an overhaul, obviously. They got to change the culture up there. So I, I don't know. I, I think they're going to have to sit down and, and uh, see where, where it fits in. I mean, but uh, I could see it. I could see it being good for him. Yeah. Because, you know, he, he obviously, by what he says all the time, he wants to win. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> You know, but it, you're all, you're also kind of the man, and they're going to bring in some other yeah. people, and you're going to have to defer. And so, yeah, I mean, how does he could probably make some money? He'd probably make he might make more money somewhere else if money is the motivating factor. Chris Mutz teaching is is important to him, right? right. So, I mean, I, I I really these days, I mean, who Don't knows? Know, who knows? I mean, who who knows? I I guarantee you, he's he's. He's checking the waters, which he should. I mean, Check he, the waters. I mean, he's seeing what's. I'm yes. sure he's seeing what's out there and, and yes. seeing what what you know is available for him at at certain spots. And uh, you know, I like him. I, I I would I would like him to stay back. I think he's a stand up guy, and uh, you know, from everything he talks about, he talks about winning all the time. So I would like to see him get a. A real taste of uh, Arkansas basketball. How long has uh, the Corky's location been in Lakewood Village? Oh, 20... 04. Yeah, 20 years. 04, right? yeah. So, Steve, you're opening the new location. Ninth store, Edwards Food Giant, yep. uh, in Lakewood Village. Why did you guys choose over there? Well, actually, uh, Gary Prophet, our operations guy, was driving around a couple years ago and saw it, and he said, man, that, that might be a good spot for a grocery store. And so we met with the with the company that owns the shopping center and took a look around and um, met with our architects and figured that there was probably something that we could do in there. And so it's kind of been a long process. You know, We, we opened up the Colonel Glenn location right. in between there. Um, and, you know, turning turning it from a department store into a grocery store was a pretty big transformation. Sure, so sure. it's taken a little bit of time. Uh, we've dealt with some, uh, I think, some of the aftershocks of COVID supply chain, getting some of the equipment in. But things are starting to come together. We're putting all the finishing touches on it now. It's the old Steinmart in right. Lakewood yeah. Village, right? Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. Uh, and also, Roger, Bruce Keys opened a location mm-hmm. over there in Lakewood Village. And, Joe, for you, I think the, the, the more the merrier for that. Because you're, oh, part, you're technically, technically part of, of yes, Lakewood no, Village. Yes, we're yeah. Lakewood Village. Yeah. yeah. And so, we're um, a standalone building, but we're Lakewood Village. It's right over there. If you don't know where that area, where McKay Mall is. Mm-hmm. It's just, just uh, uh, west of McKay mall and so when you when is the official open we're gonna because we're gonna be coming over there roger we're gonna be there as part of the grand opening yeah april 3rd wednesday um it'll be at 9 a.m so we're gonna be doing some giveaways we're gonna be doing sampling a lot of the cool new things we're gonna be doing there so everyone come check it out do we need to do a sacking contest again <laughs> we haven't done that in a while it's been a while you know what we'll joe set one up i yeah. sacked groceries did you really yeah. oh my you gosh think, joe, you mate, think you're still good at it what what day are we doing Better that? You know what day we're doing this? You know what? Well, that Better, Better than you, Richard. You know what she would just say? Maybe we could get. He Joe. says he's better than me. Hey, no, listen. This is this is the champion. This is the champion. You would you like to challenge you? Would you? Would you like to challenge it? Don't be scared of Lajuan right. Lover. <laughs> he's, a, he's a type of dude that puts eggs at the bottom with the bread and puts a, puts a gallon oh, so of milk that, on top. So you're gonna back out of the challenge, Steve? Has that changed any? Has bagging changed any over the years since Roger was a big time uh, grocery store? Yes, guy? they have competent people doing it. Now. <laughs> yeah, the people. the art of bagging groceries is definitely <laughs> is it changed? Take, it, it's not necessarily it's changed, but it's just you're you're turning your turnover so high that you're getting people in there and you're throwing them right into our. Right. Yeah, we need to get thing, you to work. Yeah, the only and thing. so you don't really have all no. that time to focus you, on. Here's but you know how to miss. The only thing that's changed is now you have plastic bags. But you know how to miss the vegetables. Miss, of course. <laughs> of hey, course. Hey, we yeah, listen. Let me, let, me tell, let me tell you my number one request. Get it. My number one request. Say what, it. what is it going to be, Roger? Well, Double a, bag. Well, no, no. So when I go, when I take my bags home from Edwards, you want your cigarettes on top. No. I am a. I am what's called a one tripper. I'm yeah. a one tripper. Yeah. So I say, put as many in one bag as you can. I don't want to have four things. I want to have 40 things. Because normally, you, you, oh, you, you're that, he's that guy. 
Yep. I, I just, I fill it up. Fill it. Put, put, put all that in one bag. I, I, and then yeah. you get home and yeah. you stick them I all do. up and down your I arm. Do. And you're... I want to, Joe. I want to get out of my car and t- put them all on my arms and walk in yep. there. I'm a one tripper. <laughs> so, uh, and you guys too. You guys are doing the scanning and all that, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's something you guys didn't do uh, years ago that you're doing now. Wait, so, you want to do a throwback grocery store where they don't do scans? No, well, no they're, they're, punch, they got, they're punching in. The, they didn't for a while, the, right? That was one of the things you you held off on the the, the scanning deal where you guys you wanted to have people there checking people out. Self checkout. That's right. Yeah, it's self checkout. That's a different. I mean, All right, it, now it, was we're one of those, it was one of those things where, you know, we didn't want to lose that personal touch. But during COVID, you know, you had, you know, you get someone that calls out and someone's sick and all of a sudden it spreads like wildfire. And with self-checkout, you know, you've got four registers that are always there that are always going to be there. We always make sure that we have attendants there that are greeting customers and kind of treat it almost like a manned register. So it's good if you do come through and you've got three, four, five items. And there is a long line, you know, with I mean, a family that's got a big cart full, it's a good alternative, and you still have someone there from our store greeting you, helping you out. I can see Joe going over there. Uh, what, what would you need? What would you run out of? Would you, of say, oh, would you I go to Edwards? If you, if you, if you, right, you got Edwards in the corner. Hey, you, you, you have Butter? A, uh, no. Honey? No. Honey for your rolls? Does your housekeeper do all the shopping? What's that? Your housekeeper do all the shopping? I'm mean, here to no, you. I'll you stop sometimes. No, Richard. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Richard. Yeah, so. so it, no, I go to the meat. Okay, so the if, meat you need, if you need meat, you go you go to Edwards to They're do that. They're the meat people. They are, they are the go. meat people. David. Uh, Steve is a, Harold. Is a very uh, <laughs> um, uh, adamant uh, Razorback fan. Um, Razorback's number one in the nation in baseball, so yeah, we're excited it, about that. It's good to have a bright spot in the uh, whatever this athletic year has been. It is. <laughs> it's spring sports. You got uh, top twenty in softball. You got number one in baseball. Track still uh, doing well, and that and you got spring practice going on. Yep. Uh, Jojo, I have not had a chance to go up to watch spring practice, uh, but I plan on it, and hopefully that will. In Roger, I hope, we, we got, I hope your assumption this year is better, better than, than last. You remember, you <laughs> yeah, remember yeah, last year? I remember yeah, him yeah, looking at yeah, me going. Yeah. I don't know who's going to block. Yeah, they, tried, they tried to cover it up. He tried to cover it up. <laughs> At yeah, least the bar is trying to be positive. What's that? The bar. I tell you, I think, listen, I've heard that Petrino, you know, for the first day or two, did you hear that? People go, wow, it doesn't seem like that Bobby Petrino has calmed down. No, somebody, that, yeah. somebody sent the, the thing came out. Somebody wrote an article and it was said the F word is prevalent. And again, <laughs> back, again, it's back. It's back. And you know what I said? Hey, good. I said thank goodness yeah. because it's it's been prevalent in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, brother. <laughs> you got that right. Outstanding. I'm sitting there yes, with my sir. grandkids oh going. My God. <laughs> and, that, and my 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 daughter in law is looking at me. My my wife's looking at me. I'm going. I'm sorry. Sorry. That is that Joe. Right. That is you that is right. that He's is uh, right. that is so good. And we were, you know, you go to a lot of games. We were saying in 2025. Do you see where Notre Dame yep. is coming to Fayetteville? How much you reckon that? You know, uh, Roger. Sometimes you point out that they can raise the sure prices on a sure ticket. They do. Wonder how much that sucker will go for. What's, an, what's a normal price? Because unfortunately, I have friends that they carry that for me, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I, I, I would be willing to bet that they add be uh, at least fifty oh, yeah. percent. Absolutely. It, it well, will, you know what? What about the A State game? Yeah, you know? I think that will, that's a good question too, Roger. What will that price be? Are and you I, talking about the school range raising the price well, or the or, or the secondary market? No, no, it's no, school, 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 school. Like because yeah. that will be at War Memorial, the Arkansas State game. Mm-hmm. I would imagine I would be willing to pay some extra for that game. I know so everybody. Disapp- can. I don't know. I'm disappointed. Who am I? Uh, but I really hope that that is a s- complete sellout. I do too. I, 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 I think yeah. it's because a great there's so many yeah. ASU fans yeah. that are out oh, you're there. You're right. It, I mean, come should. stick it, it to should. it. Uh, you know, it, fan, it, it should. I mean, they've been waiting for this absolutely. game for a long time. And, and uh, absolutely, push. it would be huge for them. And this year, listen, Steve and Joe, the home schedule in Fayetteville is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Tennessee, Texas, LSU, Ole Miss. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, and, and so, you know, maybe you can get some. Listen, two of the, the orange teams. One's burnt <laughs> yeah. and one is, what is what is Tennessee orange? I don't know. But we have two more years with A&M this uh, year and next year. I was thinking this was it. I, I, may I think be, this may I, be it. I, I was I thinking this I was may it. Be wrong, I so. think this is the last one in that in that contract, I think. Um, it, let's it's take the it. last one. Let's I think see. it's 25. Yeah, yeah. listen, I'm, I'm, listen, two places I'm tired of going. It's in Fayetteville in 25, according okay. to FBC. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm tired of going to Jerry's World and losing. I mean, how many times have Amen. we lost in the last seven, eight years? We've, we've lost every time except for one. You know where I'm tired of going? Columbia. Joe, no. I'm sick of going to Columbia only to turn around with a loss. Well, now, that, the ten years has been ten years of losing. The people up there that go to school there. Yes.
questionable. <laughs> questionable character. Uh, if you want to be a part of the show, 661-1037 is the number. That's uh, Jam Master Roger Scott spinning the record. And also known as Richard. Uh, he'll be at Mainline Sports Bar tonight from That's right. 6.30 to 8. Come yeah. hang out. Listen, it'll be a fun place tonight because you got Razorback Baseball against Auburn, Hagen Smith on the mound. And by the way, we'll visit with Will McIntyre in the 9 o'clock hour. And then you got basketball. From 11 o'clock, you got horse racing at Oakland, too. And by the way, they got a good grub. They, they got, got good they grub. Got very so good grub. Oh, Ricard. Steve, what, what's that? What's your, is it, what's your, your name? Is your it name? Steven? Rick, Ricard. Steven. 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 S-T-E-P-H-E. And I'm a P-H. But, okay. you, go, but you go by Steve? <laughs> But he said Rod, he can't Rod, go by what he wants. Roger's a name expert. No, no, name no, no, name no, stop. No, well, let me ask you. Let me ask you. I'm a, uh, name stop. Have yes, name able, stop. Have y'all been able to read minds yet? <laughs> Tell me what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. 742 here at Morning Mayhem. Thanks for listening. Hey, it's David Basel for Simmons Bank. You've heard me say over and over again how much I love being a Simmons Bank customer and learning about their amazing success story, starting with one little Pine Bluff Bank in 1903 and now celebrating their 120th banking birthday. They have become one of the fastest growing banks in America. 120 years in banking, that's a ton of experience. The reason Simmons Bank has been around for 12 decades is because they have a track record of helping people turn their goals into plans. And that's worth repeating. Simmons Bank knows how to help their customers turn their goals into plans. And they're ready to talk to you now, but first, they'll listen. Simmons Bank will guide you at every step. No matter what's next in your life, Simmons Bank wants to make financing the easiest decision you make. A personal loan from Simmons Bank could be the solution you need for large purchases like home improvement projects, wedding expenses, vacations, emergency expenses, or an automobile, boat, or RV purchase. Don't wait any longer. Let Simmons Bank help change your financial life. The king of Arkansas sports talk, Randy Rainwater for Bet Saracen. In Arkansas, seven out of every ten dollars placed on a sporting bet app is with Bet Saracen because Bet Saracen offers more ways to win and more ways to get paid and faster. Find your winners on Bet Saracen and look for my double R prop bet specials. I pick them and you win them. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app. Gambling problem? Call 800 522 4700. Let's talk garage doors. Your garage door. Is it too loud or letting cold and hot air in around the frame? Overhead Door Company of Little Rock will make it all better. In March only, they will perform their garage door tune-up and safety inspection for just $79 and just in March. That's just $79 for up to three garage doors and openers. You need this done once a year, so why not now and just for $79? Schedule now at OverheadDoorOfLittleRock.com. Rock out with American Style Sushi Experience, founded on great food, true love, and rock and roll. Rock and roll sushi. Deliciously twisted flavors and a rock and roll vibe that'll blow your mind. Rockandrollsushi.com. Now with five locations in central Arkansas. Hello, Buzz listeners. This is Chris Zender with Fletcher Dodge, and I want to help you lower your car payment. Let us show you how you can trade in your old car for a brand new Dodge Chrysler Jeep or Ram with a lower car payment. We've got 0% financing on new Rams, or you can take up to $12,000 off the sticker. It's your choice. We also have 0% financing on new Chrysler Pacificus and $10,000 plus discounts on new Jeep Gladiators. Or how about a new Dodge Charger or Challenger for $5,000 off? We've got lots of inventory to choose from just pick one out and tell us how much you want to pay we'll do the rest don't worry about your credit if other dealers have told you no come see us and let us help you get a new or pre-owned dependable vehicle go to fletcherdeals.com and simply click apply for financing and we'll do the rest at fletcher dodge you always get the best price the lowest finance rate and more for your trade and also a hassle-free buying experience shop fletcher dodge and sherwood before you buy anywhere else come see us in person at fletcher dodge on warden road in sherwood or shop online at fletcherdeals.com Robert Irwin Jewelers' six-hour, 60% off sale is this Saturday from 10 to 4, only at the McCain Mall in North Little Rock location. But everything in the showcase is 60% off this Saturday, 10 to 4. It's a legit 60% off sale. Do not miss it. 
If there's anything green in your yard right now, it's probably a weed, and you need to do something about it. Weed Control and Fertilization Service from Sanders Ground Essentials is easier and less expensive than doing nothing or trying to do it yourself. I did that one time and almost killed my yard. Sanders Ground Essentials saves you time and money and makes your yard the envy of the neighborhood. Don't wait. Do it now. Call Sanders Ground Essentials and get started with Sanders Ground Essentials Weed Control Program. Servicing all of Central Arkansas, including Benton and Bryant, on the web at sandersground.com. Let's get growing. Tune in each week to Out of Bounds to hear from Team Captain Kendall Diggs. Omaha is the goal, and we're looking for a great season. Kendall Diggs is brought to you by Stephen Elmore with Shelter Insurance. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, see Shelter Agent Stephen Elmore or give him a call at 501-537-0959. This is Quinn Grovey, and you're listening to Morning Mayhem on 103.7 The Buzz. 747. Uh, Roger, we're gonna be we're gonna be at Darnell tomorrow at the VFW there, helping out those fine folks. Jamie Daly's gonna be hosting us. We're gonna have a blast. That will be crazy, that, crazy show tomorrow. Yes, and uh, unfortunately, won't be able to make it there tonight because of mail and all that. So yeah. we'll drive up first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have a uh, we'll have a good time. Yeah, uh, two great guests here. Uh, our, uh, Joe Klein is always on Thursday. Great to have Big Joe. And, hey Joe. Uh, Steve Edwards Jr. And they're gonna be getting ready to be Steve. neighbors. Your night store is gonna be right around the corner from Corky's. At Lakewood Village. Anything else you want to share about your opening? Oh, yeah. We're going to have all kinds of new stuff that we're going to be doing. You know, we're the meat people. And so yes. we finally decided to dip our toes into dry aged beef here. So we've got a dry ager that's been working for the past two weeks, I guess, in our store. Um, so we'll have a 28 uh, day dry age cut that'll be available on grand opening day. We just put a few more in um, two, three days ago that will start aging. They'll go for another 28 days as well. So we're going to start that. Um, on our salad bar, we're also doing a burrito bar and a yes. baked potato bar, so you can wow. come and get a hot baked potato and fill it up with all your toppings. Or same thing with the burrito, fill it up with all your different toppings. That's meat. got you written all over it, Baz. Um, yes. Different different stuff there. Uh, we're gonna do in-house sushi, so we'll have someone that's in-house in sushi, sushi. Yeah, you're from landlocked sushi. states. <laughs> yeah. um, we're gonna have we're gonna have a fresh Italian line that I'm really excited about. Gosh. Sardelli's gonna have five signature sauces that they're gonna have prepared. Joe, we're gonna have fresh um, fresh pasta. You know, not the dry stuff you get on the Big shelves fan. um so that we're we're really trying to lean into a lot of the good grab and go meal solutions that busy families can it's, come in it's like not it. your granddaddy's like it. it's not your granddaddy's grocery store it's it not as a lot different what i love is that uh i love when you have sponsor collusion that joe has been there in the neighborhood for 20 years <laughs> You welcome Joe. You welcome Edwards into the neighborhood. Yeah, right? we, we approved it. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 we, so we said, let him in. Thank you, Joe. So I have no problem with the Edwards family. Uh, and the, and the, Love and it. The, and the, the, the date is April uh, April third. April third, nine a.m. Uh, Joe, 3rd. you're uh, you're special that you got going on. You're well, doing... it's it's Lent. So come get some. <laughs> so get get your Easter hams. You got Easter hams, and you yes. get your fish. Your catfish and your shrimp. Listen, I want to know more about so listen, Richard. And that's all good, Joey. Uh, but Soul Food Sundays now. I want you to get me soul the get me the food and listen, Corky. Listen, white people call it comfort food. That's yes. what. Listen, but it's called soul food. You, I want to know about the chicken. Uh, uh, that is, it's. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to dig into that. I want the you drinks to get, and, and, the, and the chicken. I'll have to get back. Yeah, to it, 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 listen, but it's, <laughs> that's gonna be great. That that's gonna be fantastic. But you've already started it. Is what you've already done on Sunday. This is not on the Sunday, first Sunday. I, I don't know how food. long it's gonna go, but yeah. it went well uh, last Sunday. So it, I, I know it went well because I didn't hear any. Complaint. No complaint. And one more Monday in the uh, uh, March Madness Mondays yes. uh, with a buffet in the Little Rock store only. Okay. Yes. Someone just put a, a question to us. And Steve, Soul about, Food Sundays, Little Rock only. Gotcha. Oh, there you go. About the Edwards Cash Savers uh, versus Edwards Food Giant. Yeah, so the Cash Saver is a franchise, and so you might see there's different Cash Savers across the state and even in the region, and they may have a different last name in the front. So there may be, you know, a Bill's Cash Saver or a Goods Cash Saver or us, we're Edwards Cash Saver. And so everyone kind of follows under the same parameters, which is that cost plus 10% format. Yes. And the way that that's a little bit different is you don't have a lot of the advertising and st things like the deli that are high labor, high expense items. So really, whenever you get into a cash saver store, we try and keep it very basic. The bare bones. Yeah, exactly. But any way that we can cut down on our expenses and make it cheaper for the customer. And yeah. so the price that you see on the shelf is the price that it costs us to purchase the product and get it to the store. And then that 10% that's added on at the check stand is that 10% that we use to, you know, for overhead, for yeah. labor. Pay the light and all bill, yeah, the exactly. freezer, absolutely. Speaking of 10%. 
I saw this study today. 10% of people are swearing on a regular basis by age 10. They did a, they did a poll of 14,000 people. Said 10% said they were dropping profanity by the age of 10. 4% claimed they were even younger than 8. Wow. So I was going to ask you, Roger. Well, we can, obviously know that Joe was in the stands at a football game with his grandkids over the <laughs> last year. So we know what happened there. They heard they, I heard my grandkids saying yeah. the word. Oh, no, wow. <laughs> so how, how, young, what the? Yes, how, yes. how young were you, Roger, when you, do you remember cussing at an early age? Well, I started smoking at 4. <laughs> uh, I don't, you know what, I don't remember. Uh, I can hear you right now at 5 going, hey, Mom, give me one of those blanking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You know what, uh, 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 real quick, my, my, my son, uh, uh, sons uh, and daughter and son-in-law, they keep an eye on on what the kids, kids? watch on TV. Now somebody might slip something a, a time or two. No, do, do you do you remember getting in trouble? Did any of y'all remember Absolutely. getting in trouble for cussing yeah, yeah. in front of your parents? Uh, yeah, my, I cussed in front of mama. You know, you 10, might get a, 12, you might get a fourteen. You might teenager? get a slap face anytime. Even younger than that. Yeah, she never liked it. Even when I was thirty. Joe, what do you think? How how old were you? Do you, you remember? I've never cussed. Okay. That's okay. Listen, we you know nobody believes that, but you can say that Steve. What about the all American don't <laughs> cuss. Ah. Steve, what about you? I, I think my mom's listening, so I'm like Joe. I've never cussed. Uh, Josh, <laughs> Josh, when did you start cussing? Is Josh listening? When did you start? Okay, uh, we I I I I don't cuss. I, I don't am, cuss. Here's the thing. Sorry. You're like my mom. Cuss. If I heard my mom cuss, I really did something terrible. Uh, and so when I hear you cuss, yeah, uh, I, it's almost I, laughable. I cuss, but I try not to. I cuss. Same here. I, I cuss try not only to. because to get Roger's attention. Well, well let me say, what? Did you curse on the air? Huh? What's that? Did you just curse? No, no. I'm just <laughs> asking. We're doing a. We're talking about yeah. a poll that uh, how old you are when you started cussing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how old some people. I dep- I think it depends on whether you're from the south or the north as well. I don't remember. What about your? I don't remember. What, what, what about, I, I mean, I remember. You know. I've been in locker rooms my whole but life. But you've never. So. But let me ask you: so Have you ever had to, to, to discipline your kids? Hey, no, can't say yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. everybody does it. Oh, well, do you, you remember what age it was when around the time you were doing it? Well, you didn't want to embarrass your. You know, you're trying Cause to. Because you go. Eighteen percent said that they started between the ages of fourteen and sixteen. That's when they probably used the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty yeah. percent said yeah. they were eleven to thirteen. I don't remember ten and eight. No, don't you don't remember. Yeah. Well, here's a, listen. There's more avenues for kids to hear it now. When we were kids. Yep. Uh, uh, we it wasn't on TV. You didn't hear cussing on TV. You had to go to a movie True. and you might hear something. Or, or, so we don't music, hear we music. Didn't, you didn't yeah. hear any of oh, that stuff. Crazy so, that no, so, so the only cussing you heard was from your parents. And then when you got out with your buddies and you're shooting ball or doing whatever, the you might commercials. Go. We, we yeah, battle absolutely. with them a lot. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Yeah. You'll be, yeah. you'll be yeah. sitting yeah. there with your grandkids watching yeah. and a commercial absolutely. come on. You'll be like, Yeah, that's right. I'll look over my I'll look over at my eight year old and I'll go, Danny. What the? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you say, Steve? Yeah. We, we battle with it a lot with our in-store music. You know, we've, we've listen, got a company. Listen to this. We've got a company that we use that, you know, streams our music, and you can pick a playlist, oh. and you may go oh. popular music. Yeah. And we have a Taylor Swift song that comes on, and it may have, you know, it may not have the worst word, but I guess there's a spectrum of how bad it is. Oh, yeah. And so they think, so, well, this is acceptable, and I have to mm-hmm. call them and be like, listen. So Taylor Swift I know has, this is has... popular, but, like, this is also oh. a word that, you know, we can't have in Taylor our stories Swift. either. Right. I think there was. Yeah, maybe I just like, heard. Uh, maybe uh, uh, I'm slandering uh, uh, her, but it, it was a popular song that I'm like, man, like like, that sucks that I have to pull that out of the store bet, because yeah. of like that one word. sporting events when you hear yep. the music. I mean, it. it the, the, you hear the even, when, even when they bleep it out, it's like, oh, I got you. What are we doing? Well, who's, I mean, who, it's like, what is, is the music doing? that is terrible now? Who's the first? Cuss, who's the cussing? first one that won uh, uh, American Idol? Uh, uh, Clarkson. Clarkson. Yeah. I, I saw something on IG uh, last night. I think it was a song, and she was singing it on stage, and it was "Let Me Spell It Out to You." A B C D E, and then she went said the word F U. Uh, she's flipping off. She's doing. She's cussing throughout the song, and that's. So oh, oh, that's good. And what, listen, what I'm the proof. Don't get me wrong. That's no I don't want to hear those. I don't want those. If if anybody's going to cuss in front of my grandson, it's going to be me. What about the guy? The guy that <laughs> said right? "f you." Remember the black dude who said "no, no, no, no." Yeah. What oh, was his CeeLo, name? CeeLo Green. Yeah. yeah. Thank uh, you. Oh, that's a great song. Why he's dropping the f bomb? He's yeah. okay. Well, it actually, it was fun. And then the uh, see, and then the uh, well, and the, but it was cussing. It was forget you. Yeah, the forget you. That's right. But then I tell you. The, the 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 who is the the female rapper that uh, that's the WAP thing and all that man I tell you the WAP what thing. is it not it's a wa- wasp. Yeah, what you, no, wasp what are you what are you wasp. talking what about it? it's WAP it's WAP wasp. yeah you, yeah I don't <laughs> know find what it, it was. Joshua can you find I don't that know what it was. You know, it's just, it's t- the lyrics you it's embarrassing it's embarrassing how bad that's what the kids are listening to today it's ridiculous it's horrible yeah this was a, you could you could play this but on a uh, 
was a cussing song. Yeah. Until, you know. Yeah, I, I, I like it this but way. Huh? But people, we're, like, we're in, they like the other one. Yeah, they would say that. I yes. didn't know that. That's his only hit. The other one, but like I this, didn't know that. Listen, I like that, that, That's his only hit, too, right? I mean, that's his big hit, I think. I hey, think he made The other thing, uh, did you guys hear Vermont State University is offering a course, ready for this? Yeah. On Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> sure. And so, uh, Joe, would you yeah. have wanted to go to that uh, no. to that course? No. Listen, I guess. And all the Taylor Swift ones are, are, yeah, so are, that, that, are straight it's garbage, funny. too. Is it, are there are other schools are offering classes on Taylor Swift, Beyonce. So Steve, and, they, and, they, and they sit there and they go, they're so popular. They're, they're selling out. Well, of course they are. You know why? Because they're an easy A. That's why they're <laughs> oh, you're about the courses are selling yeah. out, yeah. I mean, Josh, did you have any of that at Missouri? Well, I'll be honest, Joe. There are some general Whoa. courses. Wow. Uh, wow. No. In music appreciation. No. Music, and I'll be music honest, appreciation. It's not like sports management major is really challenging. <laughs> Excuse me, I was a business degree. major. He was a business major. My degree is commu- I'm not talking. I'm, I'm not talking about Joe. I'm talking about the classes. No, I think you are. My my go- my degree. <laughs> Listen, is in Joshua. It's a complete. I mean, it's I, not like really like a serious degree. <laughs> like, but some of these classes they just make you take them because you have to take them. I mean, education is a scam. Steve, General you, education courses are a scam, in my opinion. So, Steve, you're a recent grad. Do you remember any of those courses? I was just gonna say I have something that you guys will appreciate. I took popular music that covered everything, beginning with Elvis Presley okay. into like the 2010s. I could. So yeah. that was pretty cool. You go through like a decade a week, and you really learn about you know how recording. Came, yeah, Joe. Popular music. That yeah. was definitely an easy. Well, answer, but it was Joe it was what, what, what did you the get? The problem with that what, is, is that you what, can't what get was your grade? Uh, an A, maybe a B. <laughs> Attending, but pretty sure I got an A. He's right though, because the thing is, you can't get too into the weeds and those stuff because you're covering so much ground. Right. Joe Klein, thanks, buddy. Thank, thank you, Joe. He's Joe Klein. Steve Edwards Jr. Thanks for uh, thank, thank you, you. Steve. Kind of They're the grand opening. Steve Edward, Edward, Harold, Richard. It's nice to be in here with you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to talk to me outside? Eight o'clock. Tommy Smith up next. Follow you outside, Joe. Red tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At The Payroll Company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The Payroll Company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. Roger Scott for Gravely Mowers. You know when it comes to beautiful lawns, nothing cuts like a Gravely. And when it comes to cutting prices, there's nothing like the Gravely Mow the Distance Sales Event, where you can save up to 25%. And special financing is available on America's most rugged and dependable mowers, including their ZTHD. It's the residential mower built to commercial standards. But hurry, because the Mow the Distance Sale is only through April 8th and only at your authorized Gravely dealers like Dacus Rental in Searcy or Haynes Home Center in Moralton. Mark your calendars for the 20th annual Double B's Buzz BQ, Saturday, May 11th at the Downtown Riverside RV Park in North Little Rock. Tickets on sale soon. We're live when you need us. I think we better split up. Good idea. Yeah, we can do more damage that way. 103.7 The Buzz, KABZ Little Rock. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Buzz News with Channel 7's Cassandra Webb. A follow-up now to the shooting of Clinton National Airport Executive Director Brian Malinowski. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives shot him during a shootout at his home early Tuesday morning while trying to serve a search warrant. Now his brother, says Malinowski, is brain dead in a Little Rock hospital. Matt Malinowski says ATF has not yet told his family why they were serving a search warrant at his brother's Chenal Valley home early Tuesday morning, but he says they did it with extreme and unnecessary force. He says Brian was shot in the head. He says his brother collected guns but argues nothing inside his home should have triggered a raid. The future of Arkansas's freedom of information laws is in the hands of the voters. This November, two separate initiatives could appear on your ballot. One would enshrine the FOIA law in the state constitution. The other would modernize the existing law. The ballot initiative to enshrine FOIA in Arkansas's constitution requires roughly 90,000 signatures. From the Channel 7 Newsroom, I'm Cassandra Webb. Are you still on the sidelines? Then it's time you suit up and get in the game. Download Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app, Bet Saracen, today. 
Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. This is Trey Reed from the Wild Side on 1037 The Buzz, inviting you to join Mark Hedrick and me Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Brought to you by West Rock Landing at Lake Maumelle, Edwards Food Giant, All About Tire and Brake, Battery Outfitters, and Trader Bills Outdoors, Hot Springs, and Little Rock locations. It's the Wild Side, Tuesday at 7 p.m., only on 1037 The Buzz. Hey, Wilson, where are you heading? Man, I'm going to see Matt Jones. I love Matt Jones. You got Miracle on Markham. I'm talking Not about that the... Matt Jones. The real Matt Jones, Raj. The real Matt Jones? Oh, you mean the mortgage expert Matt Jones at Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union in Benton. That's the one. Did you know that Matt Jones at Alcoa Community FCU is a Benton boy and a graduate of OBU? So he's very familiar with Celine, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. Yep. Did you know that in addition to being a mortgage lender expert, Matt Jones is also a licensed realtor who can give you insight into both sides of your mortgage transaction. I did. So, go see Matt Jones at Alcoa Community FCU for all your mortgage needs. And if you're looking at buying a new home or need to refinance the home you're already in, the real Matt Jones at Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union is your guy. Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union serving all of Saline, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. For more information or to apply securely online, go to alcoacommunityfcu.org. And remember, with the real Matt Jones, miracles can still happen. For those who push the boundaries and know no barriers, the wake up at nooners and dessert before dinner eaters, the jackpot dancers and sequined pantsers, the risk takers and heartbreakers, the hapless, the rogue, and the hopeless romantics, our time has come. Play bold at the new Southland Casino Hotel, the Mid-South's premier gaming destination. Plan your stay at southlandcasino.com. The all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock are opening March 27th. Over 100,000 square feet of hardware, outdoor appliances, a window and door center, and even a drive through lumber yard. And there's nothing like Design One. This stunning showroom is one place for all your home and design needs, including 12 full kitchens and nine baths, plus a huge selection of lighting, flooring, countertops, and more at the all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the March Spring Sale, March 15th through the 25th, and get 35% off paints and stains with prices starting at $28.92. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Stop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only, some exclusions apply. See store for details. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Tune in to Out of Bounds each Monday for Weekend Recap, brought to you by Fleet Management Services. Serving Central Arkansas for over 20 years, they're your small to mid-sized fleet specialists, offering diagnostic, suspension, tires, maintenance, engine, transmission repair, and much more. When you need someone to service your fleet and get your employees back on the road quick, call 501-375-3672. Conveniently located at 901 East 8th Street in downtown Little Rock. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? No way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. See Agent Steve Ferguson in Little Rock, Bo Beavis in Cabot, or Daniel Vickers in Sherwood. 
hamburger, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Oh, well, allow me to retort. Live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. What country are you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you. Now say what one more time. Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, it is uh, 8.06 here on this uh, Thursday. Spring break continues for uh, all of you out there. And if you have kids, I uh, hope it's been a great week. Speaking of that, Roger, we were talking about cussing. I just saw one of our on our Southern Structure Solutions text line. My five-year-old asked me what mf -er meant a few weeks ago. Wow, that's from Luke. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five. I don't know how you even well, ask, yeah, I know. answer it. Yeah, I don't know. What, what do you, you know, say? You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? That's right. Where'd I, you hear it? I, where'd you hear yeah. it? That's did you hear the first it from, thing. Did you hear it from Mimi? <laughs> <laughs> did Mimi say it about <laughs> Daddy? Right. Oh, my gosh. Coming up shortly, we'll visit with Melinda Mayo. Uh, brought to you by Sanders Grand Essentials. Will McIntyre. Brought to you by Seth Boyd with Shelter Insurance. And now, Roger, we got our man, the outlaw, Tommy Smith, and his new sponsor. Please welcome him. Oh, That's right. He's back. The outlaw, Tommy Smith. Legendary Arkansas radio voice from the rock and roll breakfast on Magic 105. And two decades on the Buzz's show with no name. He's back with the boys on Morning Mayhem. Tommy Smith on Morning Mayhem is brought to you by Hubbard Power Sports, Can Am, and Sea Dew in Russellville. Whether you're on the road, in the water, or in the trails, we've got a ride for you. Good morning, Tommy. Hello. You should have had a uh, kid ask, uh, what does AMF mean? Yeah, AMF. Well, you know, Adios, my friend. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you used to say back in the day, yeah. AMF. AMF. Adios. That's right. Adios, my friend. That's exactly right. That was a fa that was a famous thing that you did if you were a kid, probably listening to the. Uh, 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 oh, you did. You probably did. We all did. Rock and roll breakfast. Adios. You would ask that. Adios. Yes. See you later. AMF. That was a great deal, Tommy. It is. Uh, it is March Madness. It's one of your favorite times of the year. Are you with the Razorbacks not being in it? Are you as engaged as normal? No, but but I'll probably watch every game today. Yeah, I, I got to tell y'all. Uh, what, 68 teams? Yep. I bet I can't name 10 players. Yep. That's probably true for me. What about you, Roger? Same. Yeah. I, we're, now, Josh could, but but for me, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Justin Moore probably could. But yeah, absolutely. I, I think, can we name one? <laughs> no. I can't. Kid at Purdue? Can't. Center at Purdue? No. I, you know what? I know Caitlin Clark. <laughs> know. That's all I know. That's all I know. I, yeah. I, bet, I bet they're a third of the teams in. I don't even know where they are. I don't know where Wagner is. Yeah, yeah. Do you? No, I, I do. I do not. It's uh, but you know, it's funny, Tommy. Remember, we would always used to. Of course, we had a dry spell. Yeah. You know, for a while, not right. going to the tournament, and okay. that's and that's why we do bay yeah. brackets instead of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By, yeah. by the way, Roger, bay bracket earns. 23 this year. Wow, 23 years old. How 23. That? Now that's yeah. that's for the the for the, the the buzz version. You go back even further yeah. on the Bay Bracket oh, wow. to the. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, think about that. Well, a little, a little different over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it uh, it was. Um, of course, today, Tommy, you know, we're going to be over at Mainline Sports Bar tonight. You got all the basketball going on, but the nice thing about it, with us being out, at least baseball's number one in the nation, which is pretty cool. You know, baseball's not Big as popular, time. but but at least we have something to hang our hat on. And we just got to get to the World Series and win it. You know. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's just that. Uh... Boy, basketball, football, that's where the money's at. We got to get back. We got to get back. The uh, speak, speaking of football, too, we announced the uh, the University of Arkansas announced the 2025 schedule. Did you happen to see that? No, it wasn't that by me. Uh, so here's the big one, Tommy. September 27th at uh, in Fayetteville, Notre Dame uh, comes to town. How about that? Mm, mm. Mm. Wow, that's this year. No, it's 2025. So this year you got. Okay. The, wait, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. You've got ASU for the first time, right? That's right. First time we've ever played yeah. them yeah. at War Memorial, okay. and then you got Notre Dame a few weeks later in uh, in Fayetteville. We played Texas too. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be another killer schedule. Yeah, this year I mentioned Tommy. Uh, if you go to Fayetteville, you get the two orange teams: the burnt orange and the whatever. Uh, the fruity orange. The fruity orange. Yeah, you got. 
Tell me about the quarterback, Green. Is that his name? Yeah, Taylor Green. He's the transfer from uh, Boise State, six foot six. Uh, he's impressed everybody, done all the right things. The best thing you, you got, you, I would not feel the same, Roger and Tommy, if if we had Dan Enos there or whatever. I think with Petrino, yeah. I think with Petrino, I think we go, okay, that's who Petrino, I think, saw in the transfer portal. Oh, yeah. He wanted him. They you think he got some help and went and got him. His track record speaks for itself. That's right. So that's with Lamar yeah, yeah, you got a guy yeah. who can run it. Uh, you got to be able to block for him, though, Tommy. You know, you know that was a struggle last year, but. You got to think we got to, we're going to be better, and so I haven't had a chance to go up and watch them, but I, I plan on it. I don't know why so. we don't. Well, they start today at eleven. Let me give you four games. You pick a winner. Okay. Michigan State and Mississippi State. Yeah, I love Michael Marion, but I would. I'm just going to go on tradition, and I'm going to go Michigan State. Roger. Same. All right. Next. Uh, St. Peter's versus Tennessee. Well, this is my this is my upset special. Oh wow! I'm sure uh, Terry Mahan will not be happy to hear that. I will go with Tennessee. Right? Oh wait a minute! I changed my mind, Terry. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, uh, Roger, you going the upset? You going Tennessee? I, I, I'll go with Tennessee, even though today is St. Peter is, is today a, is a, National, National Peter, Peter Day, Day, which we're going to get to Tommy with that here in just yeah, a second. Yeah, go so ahead. I'll, yes. I'll do that. Next. I'll uh, uh, the, the next one will be North Carolina State versus Texas Tech. I like the North Carolina State story, but but I Texas do. Tech is solid. I would go with the Red Raiders. Roger, what I do you like say? I like that too. I still think they uh, uh, have some Chris Beard in them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. uh, I'm going with uh, North Carolina State. Okay. All right. Uh, Who's got to play? They were playing somebody, and I got them done. McNeese State. Oh. Uh, uh, got Tiger. Yeah, I would go I with I got that. Yeah. That's an upset. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Well, it's on tape now. I'm going with the Zags. Yeah. But you say the thing. I'm the Zags, sure. Uh, uh, that, like, hey, speaking of which, I was watching uh, late last night. Uh, TV Land is doing the top 20 of uh, the 20th century of all time. And they, they did the... Uh, 20th century American cartoon star uh, day, and according to TV Land, the top TV cartoon characters are. Would you like to take a guess? Would you number one, cartoon would be Road Runner or not uh, the Bugs Bunny? Not Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs Bunny. Number one. Yeah, yeah. I would say Bugs Bunny is the goat. What's number two, Roger? Do you have any idea? Uh, but uh, the next one would be Scooby Doo. No. Nah, eh. Man. No, Bugs Bunny. Okay. You know what? Do you? Yeah, and it's cartoons. Oh man, is it Porky Pig? What'd you say, Josh? Mickey? Does Mickey count? Yeah, I, I don't. Is it Mickey Mouse? Would that count, Tommy? Or no? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, anything in the 20th century, or obviously before. Here's what they had: they had Scooby Doo, Popeye, Deputy Dog, Homer Fudd. Tell me when I get to one you don't know. Uh, Sylvester the Cat. The Flintstones, the Jetsons. Uh, yeah, they. That's that's, uh, that's a who's who. Uh, Yogi, yeah. yeah. Yogi Bear, yeah. Wild and Coyote, Daffy Duck. Yogi was the uh, least of any of those that you mentioned yeah. that he I was watched. The cat, Sylvester the cat. Okay, yeah, it was yeah. Sylvester. Yeah. Uh, Yogi, Yogi, Yogi just didn't do it for me. No. Okay, uh, Daffy Duck, uh, Mickey Mouse, Acre. Uh, Daffy Duck. What? Angry, said <laughs> nice. Porky Pig. Yes. I like Porky Pig. Yes. And uh, Johnny Quest. Did y'all ever watch Johnny yeah, Quest? Yeah, yes. Johnny was, yeah, he was listen, sort of an that outlier. Was, like, was too sort adult of, for yeah, me. Yeah, was. he's an outlier. He's too adult for and me. And good, cool yeah. music. And they got they had Haji. The Haji was cool. Yeah, you Just can't do Haji anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't yeah, do Haji. And you can't do uh, uh, Kung Fu. What's his name? Kung Fu. What was uh, the one? It was uh, the Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah, Hong Kung Fu. You can't <laughs> do Hong Kung Fu anymore. <laughs> you can't do I it. picked uh, Top Cat basically because I like their song. All the good cartoons had songs. Yeah, uh, it was orchestras. Well, well, Tom, listen, uh, we got to ask yeah. you a question, Tommy. And yeah. Roger, I think he will get three right off the bat. All right, let's do it. So today is National Peter Day. Give me Tommy Smith. Top three Peters. <laughs> uh, Ron Jeremy. No, that not, <laughs> not that one. No, actual Peter. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh. Peter or Peter, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, golly. 
Have guard. we stopped the outlaw? How about Peter Rose? No. Peter Pan? Peter Peter, Peter Piper? Bra- Peter, Bra- Peter, Bra- Peter, Bra- Peter, Peter Brady? Yeah. yeah. Peter Gabriel? Peter that's right. Peter Falk? Yeah, right. Peter Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter Tork? Yeah, Peter Tork. Peter Sadaka? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. But they all had a good job. Uh, Huckleberry Hound had a good job. Flintstones had a great song. Jetsons uh, had a good song. Yes, uh, they did. Uh, uh, of course, Scooby had a, a good song. Yeah, can you sing some Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? That's where I am now. <laughs> there you go. I was I was noticing too today. Speaking of singing, today is National Harmony Day. And I think it's not it's not musical harmony. I think it's other. But when we have Tommy on here, oh, yeah. we have to sing Tommy's favorite song. Yeah. There are seven bridges road. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the harmony, the <laughs> harmony those guys just played was unbelievable. Yes, thank well, you. I think the Gatlin Boy brothers had great harmony. I think with your family, think of the Jacksons and the Osmonds. It's also, Tommy, yep. it's National Credit Card Reduction Day. How many credit cards does Tommy Smith have? One. Wow, very very nice. Yeah. Very nice. That's, that's the way it should be. It's also National... I bet it's not in your wallet, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. Karen's got 27. <laughs> Karen's in control of all of them. It's National <laughs> Common Courtesy Day. What is the common courtesy that Tommy appreciates or, or wants to see the most? Opens the door for people. Yeah, I think so. And I think another thing that, uh, Roger, we hadn't talked about it, a common courtesy is just saying thank you or excuse me. Absolutely. Or, you know, just communicating, yeah. you know. I'm I think, sorry. You know, I think a great comment, and I know you feel the same way. This is like a uh, Larry David curb your enthusiasm, yeah. Tommy. Is when you when people let you in or you let people in, you expect an acknowledgement. Like, 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 like a like a, a week, a week, a head to, a head yep. bend or yeah, a, a way. Thank you, sir. What, you, what, this and that. This and that. Somebody comes out. Somebody when, I, when if I'm walking towards a door and somebody and there is a distance that you have to give somebody. How far back will you hold the door before you go yes, in? I if I'm not going to yeah. hold it open for you, if you're that far back, the next move is is to push it as far open <laughs> as you can. Yes. That way they might make it. I was uh, watching uh, Curve the Enthusiasm the other night, and they had a scene on where they're in the elevator, and everybody starts <laughs> smelling. Who cut the cheese? <laughs> what do you mean? Go? Oh God! Oh, it was hilarious. We we love. Yeah, we everybody was looking at everybody. We love that. We do want to thank uh, Hubbard yeah. Power Sports, Ken Am, and Cedu yeah. in Russellville. Do uh, Glenn and Missy Hubbard. Thank you, guys. Uh, the owners, their daughter Montana, and that's spelled M O N T A T A N N A. Very unique spelling. Montana Bowen nice. is the oh, GM. Great, great people. They've even got me thinking hard. About getting a CD. <laughs> you, you know what? That's what Tommy Smith needs right now. You and Karen need to be out on a sea do on the lake. Absolutely. Just sort of, just, you know what? You don't have to go fast. You just sort of, you, you know, going from right. dock to dock, get saying hi to everybody. Lane. Get in the slow lane. Go by and do that. <laughs> Listen, we need to think about it. If we have, now I know I've got to be back for a luncheon uh, Friday. Uh, but I, if we can stop by and see them, that'd be cool. Yeah, we could do that. And also, too, Tommy, I wanted to mention it's national. Oh, but let me just say, uh, they are great people. They are fun people. They listen to y'all every day. Uh, well, they uh, sell they fun. They're, they're big. Fa- they're big fans of you, yeah, yours, Tommy, and that's they why they're, that's one of the reasons they're sponsoring. I, I, I am tickled to death to have them. Yeah, they're they're uh, celebrating twenty four years in the business. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, uh, national is also National Single Single Parent Day, Tommy. And I wanted to mention that about your mom and uh, your mom being a, a single person raising you guys. Of course. Uh, th- then obviously you had a situation where somebody came into your life, but you know, as a stepdad. But your mom was a was a wonderful lady and a great single parent, correct? Oh yeah, and uh, Wild Bill Wilder married into six people. I'll never know uh, six kids that in. I think he was okay until I walked through the door, and he was like, uh. I'm not going to rethink this because well, <laughs> I was a bad boy. But it. he loves you, though. Uh, he loves you. He loves you. You know. Oh, oh, oh Bill's great. He used to take in the games. He loved that. He loved to hanging around you. You were somebody to him. Well, you're somebody to all of them. But uh, he, he really did. He dug you. And my mother, golly, uh, six kids living in a, a three bedroom house. So six kids. Uh, 
poor adults. It was it was it was a crazy thing, but I think it made us a little tougher. Yeah, Roger, you, you, you were sort of the same way. Both you and Tommy were raised with a lot of siblings. I have no oh, yeah. clue about that, and it just – I have no perspective of what that's like, and I, I think it probably gives you a unique look on life as you get older and your kids have kids and that kind of thing. I love the fa- – I love when my kids, uh, when they go back and forth with each other uh, in texts yeah. or when they get together and see that going on. Uh, it's it's one of the it's one of the best pleasures that I can have is that and then when all the cousins get together. Yeah, Tommy, uh, no hey. you no grandkids for you yet, but you've got plenty of dogs in the family thanks to Josh. Uh, I have I'm, I'm, we have grand dogs. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, I do want to have about thirteen of them. I do want to uh, yeah uh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to ask you, it's, it's, uh, and Roger, I know you know who this guy is, and Tommy, we've talked about him on your, you know, when you were running the show for many, many years. It's the birthday of Timothy Dalton. Yeah. Some say the worst James Bond ever of those who have played James Bond. What do you think of Timothy Dalton? Well, he wasn't the best, that's for sure. You remember the name of the movie? Uh-huh. You remember the name of the Bond movie he was in? No. Either one of you? No. It was li- License to Kill. The only Bond movie that made any difference was with me and Roger Moore. <laughs> that, that's good, too. A uh, couple other birthdays I wanted to throw at you. Eddie Money. Tell me about Eddie Money. Your thoughts on Eddie Money, Tommy. He's dead. <laughs> he, is, he, is, he, is, he is dead. Uh, were you, were you, he, had good, he had good music, though. I'm sure you played plenty yeah, of good songs in the you day. You smoked a little bit to some Eddie Money music. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see if you uh, recognize this baseball player, and I know Roger probably does. Man, g- great baseball name, Manny Sanguian. The great yeah, Manny yeah. Sanguian. He was a catcher for the Pittsburgh uh, Pir- Pirates. That's exactly right. World Series '71. He was All Star in '79, and the in I think three more years. And then he played with the Athletics, I think. But what a great name, Manny Sanguian. Well, I think there was one yesterday, Roger, or a couple days ago. Well, you were thinking about. Uh, Cesar Geronimo. Oh my gosh, Cesar Geronimo. Uh, Geronimo, not Caesar. Cesar. Cesar. Well, I yeah. tell you, back back in the day, though, somebody, the Pirates were a team to be dealt with. They were good. Or, uh, we are family and all that stuff. Yeah, we were talking about Willie Stargell the other day who had a, had a birthday, and he had his unique little wind-up. A little hitch. A little hitch. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. two guys that had hitches. Joe Morgan had yeah. the hitch. And and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and we were also, too, Tommy, speaking of baseball, we were over at the zoo yesterday, and I know you certainly can remember these days. We were talking about all the different – Tuesday. U- Tuesday, all the unique places that were there. Yeah. You know, the zoo opened in 26. Yep. Um, we found War out. Memorial. The, the War Memorial. War Memorial in the 40s. The baseball was the 30s. Ray, Ray Winder. Winder was the 30s. Yeah. You had the little amusement park deal. You had sure. you had the golf course. I don't know what year that was, but it's amazing <laughs> what that was. You know, and that was back. That Roger, was kind of a little hub, wasn't it? It was, and Roger brought up the point. I, I don't remember what that area was like before 630. Yeah. And so I can't imagine how hey, cool Dad, that I'm area right. was, you know, yeah. before 630. Yeah. Hey, you grew up around there. Because yeah. I lived on Ninth Street, uh, so they had to tear down all the houses around us. And for an entire summer, it was a great place to play Army because the houses were all empty and we ran around. And it was also a good place to hide your playbook with magazines. Yeah. Too. But uh, uh, it was uh, a, a fun time. Hey, let me ask you all something. I know uh, basketball is about to start up here. When was the last time you saw anyone in college uh, basketball take a charge? Well, I tell you, Jalen Williams, uh, right, Jalen, who we used he to did, have as our he, – yep. Remember, he set the record. Yeah. I mean, he had like – I mean, he had I mean, he had 50, counts, 50 or you know, 60, yeah, maybe so. You know, you mentioned Joe was probably good at that, or Scott Hastings. You would think Joe might be because, I mean, he's so big. I, I, mean, don't think, I don't think as many people do it now, Tom, as usually. But, but Jalen Williams certainly took pride in it. Right. Yeah. Roger probably remembers remember, uh, Jim Counts. Oh, yeah. yeah. He just mentioned that, oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Eddie taught oh, he that. Say, yeah. He would take a charge at Harvey. Scott Hastings was going to uh, take a charge, too. Yeah, well, true, it's true. funny, too, speaking of the tournament, uh, here before we let you go, Tommy, that uh, Joe Klein was talking about his experience. You know, all four of his games that he lost in the tournament for Arkansas, well, one was Notre Dame, I think, but were all buzzer beaters or tip-ins at the end. You know, he never could get past yeah. the Sweet 16, and so he, he can't enjoy what, you know, the, the memories of, of, of March Madness like goes on today. Yeah. I remember going and, and hosting uh, parties where they uh, announced the brackets. Yes. It was just a great break. It wasn't, and it wasn't are we going. It was what seed are we going to be. That's right. 
and what see where and where or what the city we were going to. That was going to be the, the deal. Uh, well, buddy, good yeah. stuff. Yeah, enjoy sitting in front of your TV and watching basketball yeah. for the next four days. Hey, hey, let me let me confess. This is the first show ever I've done in my underwear. <laughs> Well, you know what? There's always there's always days for a first, and I'm uh, we're honored that uh, we and we let your audience and your new sponsor, uh, Hubbard Power Sports, uh, be able to uh, to be enjoy that. that. Yeah, yes. be a part of that, and at least they're yours this time. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Hey, let's enjoy your weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. All right, Thanks, Tommy. That's Tommy Smith. Yeah, I do thank uh, Glenn and Missy Hubbard and their thank daughter Montana. Thank you guys so much for, for yeah, doing this. Yeah, for sponsoring Tommy. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, Tommy would be dangerous on a, on a sea do or a can am for that matter. There's no doubt. Do you think that that do you think that Karen would let him get on one as long as she was riding on there with him? <laughs> I think that would be the only way that. Yeah, she but would you do still it. think she would? Would I, she have? But she'd have to drive. Yes? I know. Yeah, I think she would probably be nervous about it, but I think she would have to be in charge. Oh my God! He listen, don't tell him where that thing would take off to. I don't think, hey, listen, I don't even think if, if Samantha and I got on one, there's, there's I don't know. Uh, we'll take a break, come back and visit with Melinda Mayo. I'm sure she'll be, um, she's got her picks for the March Madness and also some weather for this weekend. Yeah, too. hopefully that weather tonight will skirt south to our hot springs and other while we're down there at Mainline. We had some folks last week didn't show up, I think because of the oh, pending a tornado, storm. tornado last week. Well, it did right. happen. It, 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 it came later. We'll see how far south they are. <laughs> Uh, this time. Awesome. All right. It is uh, 830. Lately, he's been overheard in Mayfair. You better stay away from him. He'll rip your lungs out, Jim. I'd like to meet his tailor. Listen every Wednesday when R.J. Hawk joins his old buddies on Morning Mayhem. Presented by Natural State Wholesale Flooring. See everything that Natural State Wholesale has to offer at naturalstatewholesale.com. This is Sports Center. Two games concluded the first four in Dayton last night as Grambling State rallied from 14 points down to beat Montana State 88-81 in overtime to claim the second 16 seed spot determined by a play-in game. And then in the second 10 seed play-in game, it was Colorado 60, Boise State 53, which means now the 64 team field is set for the 2024 men's NCAA tournament. The action begins today at 11:15 a.m. on CBS when Mississippi State takes on Michigan. State in an 8-9 matchup. It'll run all the way through today until 9:05 when Washington State and Drake tip off in a 7-10 matchup. You can catch all of the action on CBS, True TV, TBS, and TNT. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. What's going on, everyone? DJ Williams here with the buzz, and it's March Madness. It's upon us. We're going to talk everything you need to know when it comes to the NCAA tournament. Plus, Nancy Holtis, she's going to be in thanks to our friends at Crave Barbecue. Everything you need to know when it comes to betting on those ponies. Plus, Barrett Solid, we got to talk about a little football now. This is what we do here, like I said. Said. It's the zone starts at 10 a.m. where sports and entertainment come crashing together. Hey folks, it's David Basil out here at Fletcher Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sherwood. Fletcher Dodge wants to help you lower your car payment. Come on in and let them show you how. It's possible to trade in your old car for a brand new Dodge Chrysler Jeep or Ram with a lower car payment. They've got 0% financing on new Rams or you can take up to $12,000 off the sticker. Your choice. And how about 0% financing on new Chrysler Pacificas and $10,000 discounts on new Jeep Gladiators? Or how about a new Dodge Charger or Challenger for 
up $5,000 off. Fletcher Dodge has lots of inventory to choose from. They'll do the rest. And don't worry about your credit. If other dealers have told you no, come see us and let us help you get a new vehicle to get you to school or to work. For the best selection, lowest price, and best buying experience, go see my friends at Fletcher Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sherwood. Or you can shop online at FletcherDeals.com. Remember, 0% financing on new Rams or you can take up to $12,000 off the sticker. That's just one of many deals they'll give you over at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. The newest Edwards Food Giant, their ninth store, will open at 9 a.m. in North Little Rock at Lakewood Village on Wednesday, April 3rd. Of course, this Edwards Food Giant store will have its staples that you already love, like their certified Angus beef, hot plate deli lunches, and great customer service. But they'll also have some new and great things, like in-house dry-aged beef, a burrito and baked potato bar, and a Mediterranean bar. Plus, Edwards will also be giving away a new PK360 grill and smoker. Morning Mayhem will be broadcasting live that morning at the grand opening on April 3rd, and hopefully we'll see you there too. The all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock are opening March 27. Over 100,000 square feet of hardware, outdoor appliances, a window and door center, and even a drive through lumber yard. And there's nothing like Design One. This stunning showroom is one place for all your home and design needs, including 12 full kitchens and nine baths, plus a huge selection of lighting, flooring, countertops, and more at the all-new Lumber One and Design One in West Little Rock. Did Josh miss another curse word in a movie clip? Let us know at 501-661-1037. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem, live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. I remember when you were in this right here. It meant something to be a cowboy. It, it meant something to be a cowboy fan. Jerry Jones, you done took that away from me. I used to be happy to be a cowboy fan. Now I just want to put y'all in the f***ing dread. Why y'all didn't get Derrick Henry, man? We ain't got nobody to run the ball. Never win a championship, man. Putting all y'all trust in that. Why? Why? Man, the ball a house in Dallas. Now y'all gonna tell us some more lies. We gonna look for a running back in the draft. We gonna find it. We ain't found shit in 30 years. We ain't found nothing in 30 years. The only thing we gonna find out that you got a secret door. Year after year, man. Year after year, Jerry. We been we 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 been. We been. Hey, hey. No, Mr. Belafonte. It's Mayo, Mayo, Melinda Mayo. She's Arkansas's TV sweetheart, and she's joining the guys from Morning Mayhem. Melinda Mayo on Morning Mayhem is brought to you by Sanders Ground Essentials, where great lawns start today on the web at sandersground.com. Good morning, Mel. Good morning to you guys. And, hey, I have a thought on Eddie Money. What what did you say? Say that again? thought about Eddie Money? I I have a thought on Eddie Money. All right, go ahead. Probably all three of us see Eddie Money at the same time. You said, I bet all three of us see Eddie Money at the same time. Yes. It was very cold. The coldest I've ever been. Oh, was he at one of the bowl games? He was halftime at the Liberty Bowl? He was at the Liberty Bowl 2010. Wow. He was the halftime show. I, I did that. Wow. That had to be a miserable, miserable day. I didn't. You know what? I didn't realize that. Did you, Roger? That, no, uh, I did not. By the way, too, that, that clip coming back, that's something that's going viral of a, a Razorback, I mean a Razorback, Cowboy a Cowboy fan. fan that's just going nuts on how, how yeah. what the Cowboys are doing in Absolutely. the offseason. Absolutely. Yeah, I tried to, I, I, I wasn't fast enough to get it out. That usually, I, usually Baz will want to. Uh, intro before I do that. So when he said that, I wasn't fast enough to get it up there. So I apologize. Melinda, you, you mentioned cold said. weather yep. with Eddie Money. Uh, you know, Roger brought the fact it was a week ago. We were over at Mainline when tornadoes were coming through. I mean, it was weird. We were in Mainline, and I'm looking. Roger's asking questions. I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, my goodness, that the tornado is just just north of us, probably oh. a few miles, and uh, obviously hit the uh, hit the village. But uh, what about that? And we got a little rain tonight coming, right? We do have some rain coming tonight. Yeah, we're just we're just happy that night was not worse than yeah, that's it was. Right. That's right. I mean, yeah, I mean, we dodged the bullet. I think West Little Rock, especially after it, you know, came on out of Saline County and came this way, that thing could have dropped a tornado at any time. And we saw little appendages coming down, but nothing was rotating. And I think we were very lucky that night. Of course, our thoughts with uh, Hot Springs Village, which is uh, still picking up and will be for a while. Okay, so rain chances are are back, but they're very small. Really, today it's mostly western Arkansas. Most of us 
are getting these clouds. Hot springs tonight for you guys at Trivia. I think you're good at most. Just a brief shower, maybe a brief shower here central. And then tomorrow, the best chance is Little Rock down into South Arkansas. But I think that's mostly just showers, too, and not anything too stormy. Uh, you, um, th- we mentioned earlier, Roger, this month, Thursday, they're racing at Oakland. So we're going to be there tonight, but they're also racing the horses, but the rest in the, the rest of the weekend too, the right. rest of the weekend looks pretty darn good, right? Yeah. We're going to talk about some rain on Monday, but we're going to kind of sandwich in the weekend, uh, mainly dry. I think it's looking good. We'll have a lot of sun on Saturday, highs in the sixties, mid sixties. So not as warm as it has been. In fact, we're going to say goodbye to the 70s for a while and see 60s for highs. We'll have a few clouds on Sunday, but it's going to be all dry this weekend. Looks good for everything. As we come back on Monday, of course, that's back from spring break, which is always kind of hard anyway (laughs) for families to get going. Good rain chances on Monday. I think it looks kind of like a soaker all the way from morning, afternoon, into nighttime. And we'll have to watch that afternoon for maybe a few strong storms, too. But uh, hopefully nothing too severe. But that's going to be on Monday. I was yeah, wo- the weekend's still looking good. I was wondering, uh, Roger, do you think your son is a meteorologist? <laughs> he is. Do meteorologists like uh, Zach and Melinda have special eclipse glasses because they are meteorologists? Like maybe... They get advanced. You mean like when we get the, the, those masks, you had to get the NDs or whatever it was? Yes, you had to wait. yes. yes I the think they do. Have, they have, because you know why? It allows them to because really Because like stare. my son, Ms. Mayo, she's a scientist. So they have different <laughs> goggles. Yes. Do you, do you have all the equipment ready for the eclipse? Oh, I don't have any special goggles. I have the same glasses that you guys have that some people have been giving away. So i got a couple pair. Everybody be sure and get some. You know, a lot of businesses are giving them away. So we're a little bit over two weeks out. So we are in high getting ready prep uh, stage over at Channel 7. But, you know, especially our engineering crews who, you know, we're going to be live everywhere that morning, all day through the eclipse, and we just don't know what to expect. Are, are your cell phones going to work? It, are, you know, I feeds that we can listen through going to work? Is microwave going to work? So we're kind of developing backups to the backups to the backups. Of well, we're gonna amazing be that, 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 that we're, I, we're I, even I feel, thinking about I, that. I feel like it's I feel a little Y2K here. Remember, there were a lot of people yeah. that got nervous about Y2K, and it didn't. It really turned out to be a I nothing know what the, for the sun, most part. I don't know really. what that's going to do. And I have no idea, but to me, it's not that it's going to affect our phones, microwaves, our bank accounts, or any of that, as much as it may affect the animals at the zoo. It may affect some nut jobs that are walking the streets, to include myself. Uh, you know, will that happen? I mean, have I can't recall. Have I ever been involved in 60 years, Melinda? Have we been involved in a total eclipse? Not a total, right? But a no, partial. Yeah. That's right. We've had partial, and then that last one, we were not really in the path of totality. It was up to the north of us. So this is the first time for us to be uh, totality. Hey, when I said microwave, I don't mean your microwave oven. That's sort of a TV way that we ah. used to send signals when we were out doing live shots. I don't think it's going to mess well. with your microwave. I will tell you this. I am going to be in a very, very special spot for the eclipse live, and I understand we're the only TV station that will be there so I can't say where it is yet, but it's going to be pretty cool. Well, let's just say this. We're going to be, or I'm going to tell you where we are. We're going to be at Oakland, and Trey Reed came by with Game and Fish of the Day and was talking about uh, the totality zones, totality zones. And when we heard that, this is what this is the magic that happened. The minute I heard totality, Roger and I looked at each other and did this. Dawning Got of the, the zone of totality, <laughs> zone of totality, oh, boy. totality. <laughs> Totality! Wow, thank you. There you go. That's Melinda, it right that's what there. We wow. Did it. That is magic. <laughs> that's organic. You threw out totality, right. yes. And that was happening without the eclipse. Um, what do you think Man. of what do you think about the uh, tournament? Starts at eleven fifteen today. What, what who are you looking at? Who you sort of think may pull the upset? Yeah. Who are you rooting for? Says no, no I'm, I'm a lot like Tommy, you know, it's just I'm interested, I'm gonna watch, but it's just hard to get as excited about it without without the Hawks yeah. in there. So I watched last night. I watched my first game, Grambling uh, versus Montana State. And I was like, I don't know who I'm for. I want both of these, you know, young, small teams from small schools to get in. So that, that was a great overtime game. I was really excited about Grambling. So interesting that they're going up against Purdue, yes. a big giant, of course, with literally a giant center, like you mentioned. 
So Purdue, I don't know if you guys have talked about it, they were the, the number one seed that lost to a 16 seed last year. That fairly Dickinson, yep. Yep. you remember, yep. beat, beat Purdue. So they said Purdue's looking at Grambling like, oh, no, you know, here yes. we go. So we'll see how that how that turns out. So I filled out a, a, a bracket, but I'll tell you what, I just didn't put much harder thought into it. I was just kind of clicking. So I actually put Houston to win it all. I'm okay. not sure why. Something told me Houston, and that's what I put in there. Well, you know what? Houston is, listen, they've looked good throughout the year. And, I mean, who knows? I mean, yeah, nobody really knows for sure. But we just, listen, I just want to see some upsets. Again, because you're, you're right, the Razorbacks not being in it for me and Rogers mm-hmm. sort of took a little steam out of it. Mm-hmm. I just want to see upsets. I want to see last-second games. Uh, I think it was Joe Klein that mentioned, Roger, uh, cut-ins. That's what we love this time of the year. Let's let's go. Let's check in with uh, whoever you know, whatever uh, bracket or this part of the uh, tournament. Let's go to the east real quick. East, east side. That's right. Yes. That's uh, and we of course we've had some the last three years. It's been fun to be able to watch. You know what Mus has done. That's why it's all said, man. We got spoiled the last three years. Like we were back. Yeah, we yeah. just like fifty. Yeah. What we're losing season. And just like that, they took it away from us, Raj. Just like that. It we'll was, be back. We'll be back next year. I hope so. Yeah, it's we uh, never know what happens. That you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe it's because of the eclipse. Melinda, it's National Peter Day. What famous Peter okay. comes to mind? It could be uh, movies, TV. It could be a musician. What is it? What comes? What comes to mind? Let's see. Uh, being an ABC person, Peter Jennings. Peter Jennings. Have, 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 we've had that mentioned yes. one time. Yes. Um, and how about the Apostle Peter from the, the Bible? Yes, and there is a St. Peter's that's playing. Uh, they're playing. Who are they playing, uh, Josh? Uh, St. Peter's is playing. Tennessee, I believe. Tennessee, that's right. Tennessee. So the, there's that. With the, listen, there's so yes. many Peters. The, the, so many. Peter so, Tork. St. Petersburg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Brady. Peter nephew, Marshall. I nephew, yeah, I have a nephew named Peter because my sister loves Apostle Peter, St. Peter, so she named her son Peter. Peter Erskine is his name. It's National um, Peter, 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 go ahead. Peter Lawford. Peter Law. Oh, that's one that has not been mentioned, oh, Roger. About Peter he has not been mentioned. Peter. Uh, Peter. Peter. Peter Dinklage. Uh, I, don't think, no, Peter I don't think anybody's Dinklage. done Did that. Peter Somebody Dinklage. said, one minute, Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole. Nice, a, lot nice, of Pete, nice. a lot of Peters out there. A lot of Pete. Big Pete, little Petey, big Petey. A lot of, a lot of Petey. Peters out there. Um, it's also Melinda National Credit Card Reduction Day. How many credit cards does, does Melinda have? I have one credit card, wow. and I pay it off at the end of every month. We do not carry yeah. any of that debt. You Absolutely. know what? Interest, Absolutely. I it, mean, the interest is crazy. Not so. It must be nice to be so uh, responsible. Fit- Responsible that you don't have to get a few extra when you get in a bind wow. to get a, and max them out when you need it. Listen, you said I've, got, I've cycled through mu- multiple cars in my lifetime. A lot of people. That's why I'm I'm, str- I'm really proud of my 600 uh, credit rating. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's still good. It, it's still it, good. It is. Yeah. Uh, six six one one zero three seven. The other thing, did you see? Uh, uh, is the text line if you want to text us or Melinda? Did you see the home mm-hmm. game schedule for twenty twenty five, Melinda? I did. I saw it. So you know, I was. We were supposed to go to Notre Dame. Yes, so, that's right. You know, I, I had already taken the time off. I was working on getting tickets. That was going to be just kind of a bucket list. And then it got canceled with that COVID, or I forgot why it got canceled. We never ended up going. So I'll be excited. Do they wear the gold helmet on the road? That's a great question. I do not know. Roger, Josh, do you know the, the, the road attire for Notre Dame, what the, what the normal is? No. Uh, colors? Uh, helmet is that is that is that changeable helmet? I thought the gold, uh, they is, is the gold is the gold always there? The helmet? It's all, yeah, they're always the, the gold. Always gold helmet. helmet. They it's, never it's, did a green one, did they? Never. Well, I, I was thinking there. I was thinking there was an optional uh, helmet yeah, too. Yeah, there might have. Yeah, maybe it seemed not. Like, uh, and I, you know, I'm gonna play gold helmet. Now, will you be? We got to watch Rudy. A Razorback? Or will you be a Canute? Oh, no. It's the Razorback. Listen, I want Canute to roll over in his grave. Canute to snoot. Yeah, so we play Arkansas State for the first time ever. How crazy is that? What a first month of the season. You play Missouri State. On August 30th, you play Arkansas State in Little Rock September 6th. Then you play Notre Dame September 27th. Pretty, wow. Pretty, That's going to cool. be a great, great, great time. I remember when they announced that the first time. And uh, we were like, well, we got to wait till 2025. But, you know, here it is getting, getting a little bit closer. And then they said they were going to evaluate how it goes 
that day to see if they're going to schedule another one. But I hope it becomes an annual thing. I've always wanted them to play each other. Melinda, we had Peyton Stovall on the show Tuesday, and we've got Will McIntyre coming up on Thursdays at 9 o'clock. So we're excited about Ooh. those two baseball players yeah. uh, being on our show each week. And um, uh, But we also are thankful to have you, and you're here because Sanders Ground Essentials is, is having you here. You bet. Oh, and I'm so so appreciative. Quickly on baseball, we the Mayos are all in on baseball season. That pitching staff, unbelievable. Number one in the country as well as the number one team in the country. Still a little concerned on offense. I'm still a little concerned. If you look at the stats, we're kind of low on all the offensive numbers. I know we've had some big bats, but uh, a little worried there. But hopefully we can rely on our pitching. Sanders, ground essential. Thank you, guys. SandersGround.com. Uh, it's not too early to, or not too late to get that spring immersion out. Listen, they've already got the weeds dying in my flower beds. I yep. look over there and I go, ha, 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 we got you. And he's turning yellow. And then my stepson in Conway is also signed up with them. He got a new house. It was nothing but weeds. And those are already dead, and the green grass is coming up in just a matter of two or three weeks since they went out to visit him. So can't say enough good things about them, 315 93 Let them come out and just take a look. It's um, free to do. Josh, that's you, fantastic. Did you, did you hear that, that grunt? That wasn't a grunt. That was that a that was a was a ground essentials grunt. Yeah, well, it was a grunt. It was a, it was mark a, the a tape. Mar- moment of pleasure. You know, they what? came out to my house the other day because <laughs> they had to get rid of the skeetas, so they're spraying with the skeetas now as well. So uh, it's all good. Uh, Sanders does it all. Thanks. I will be mosquito and weed free thanks to Sanders. Thanks, Mel. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Melinda. Go Hogs. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Go Hogs. All right. Jerry Reed, I love it. Named him after a man. Amos Moses. Called him Amos Moses. Oh, that's great chainsaw. Right oh, yeah, perfect for chainsaw. Southeast the tip of Dole, Louisiana. Come on. Man, so many great things happening right now at Oaklawn Racy Casino Resort. You have world-class horse racing from Thursday through Sunday in the month of March. And, of course, the Arkansas Derby is set for March 30th. Make sure you get your grandstand seat reservations plus hotel reservations now at oaklawn.com. And March Madness has arrived. Oaklawn is ready to help you make money with their Oaklawn Sports app, where new customers can earn $1,000 in bonus bets. You heard me right, $1,000. All you have to do is download the Oaklawn Sports app, from Apple or Google Play, create an Oakland Sports account, make a deposit, then make a bet. Once you deposit into Oakland Sports, you are automatically enrolled in the promotion. Place your first bet, and if that bet loses, you receive a bonus bet of equal value up to 100 bucks. You get to do that for 10 straight days. Oakland is giving you this opportunity for your first 10 days starting on the day of your initial deposit. You can fund your account by using MasterCard or Visa debit and credit cards, also PayPal, VIP, ACH, and on-site cash at the Sportsbook. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Now's the time to get a great deal on proven Kubota farming equipment. Tractors that are adaptable, versatile, and rated number one in durability and owner experience. Hay tools that are backed by a two-year warranty. And durable sidekick utility vehicles and SVL track loaders. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, zero percent APR for up to 48 months. Now through March 31st. Visit KubotaUSA.com for full details. Henard Foothills Equipment, South Main Street in Searcy. Your hometown Kubota dealer no matter where you live. Smith & Wesson revolvers are built to suit the demands of the most serious firearms enthusiast. And for a limited time at Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart, receive a $50 rebate on Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolvers or a $75 rebate on Smith & Wesson K-Frame, L-Frame, N-Frame, and Governor revolvers. This offer expires April 30th, so hurry before time runs out. Max Prairie Wings, with the best selection, the most competitive prices, and all the ammo you need. So make the short drive to Stuttgart today or online at maxpw.com. I am a waitress, so I know the difference between regular shoes and Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes. Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. Thanks. While regular shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Prima... Whoa! whoa! And that difference is why I wear Skechers Slip Resistant Work Shoes to keep me safe on my feet. Plus, they're easy to clean and have Skechers exclusive air-cooled memory foam for comfort throughout my shift. Get America's number one selling work shoe at Skechers.com, a Skechers store near you, or wherever work shoes are sold. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. 
Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at Dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's Dell.com slash deals. Hey, Howie, what is going on at the Robert Irwin Jewelers in the McCain Mall in North Little Rock this Saturday? The six-hour, 60% off sale. 60% off? You mean up to 60% off? No, let me clear this up. It's not up to. It is 60% off. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. this Saturday, you could get 60% off anything that's in our showcases. This Saturday only at the Robert Irwin Jewelers located in the McCain Mall in North Little Rock. It's a legit 60% off sale. Do not miss it. At the heart of historic downtown Russellville, the Old Bank offers an upscale dining experience. With the freshest ingredients and creative touches, their menu has an item for everyone. From their signature lump crab cake to a classic blue cheese poutine, BLT wedge salad to hand-cut prime steaks, they aim to cater everyone. And that's not all. Upstairs at the Old Bank, you can enjoy live entertainment Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with trivia, comedy shows, karaoke, live music, and more. Old Bank in downtown Russellville. It's your Razor Hog update every day during Out of Bounds. Daily updates on what's happening on the Hill, presented by Floyd Seafood, Kiel Avenue, and Sherwood. It's crawfish season. Floyd's has live Louisiana crawfish. Place your order by 1 p.m. Thursday for weekend boils. Floyd'sMeatAndSeafood.com, your homesick Cajun headquarters. Hey, everybody, this is NFL Hall of Famer Dan Hampton, and I love hanging out with Paz and the boys on The Buzz. Tune in every morning so you can get the news just like I do. Just a little bit of way now, show goes a long way. An old Tex Ritter rode his horse and that was hell to pay. Little David Allen Cole. Well, they said, don't nobody lay a hand on the bay. But Jimmy Rogers is the only reason that I'm standing here today. Huh, and I ain't gonna call Hank Williams Jr. Jr. anymore. Even though I know what all his daddy done before. Yeah, little like Hank Jake. weighs close to 200 pounds and he stands about six foot four. It's hard to call Hank Williams, Jr., Jr. Hank, it's so hard who, to call so who, Hank Williams. Oh, it's all singing in that. Who is that That's all him. That's all uh, David Allen Cole. Okay, gotcha. He ain't gotcha, going to call gotcha. Hank Williams, Jr., Jr. anymore. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. Because gotcha, it weighs gotcha. over 200 pounds and six um, foot four. Good stuff. Uh, and then, all, then all the one before that is the Saturday Night Live scare yeah. about the music for the NBA. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, so say, let's say. Let's uh, say. Uh, Josh, um, well, first of all, Will McIntyre coming up in the 9 o'clock hour brought to you by Seth Boyd and Shelter Insurance. Uh, what are the? Tell us the games that are being played at 11, 11 15, and then we. I want to mention the baseball game real quick yesterday as well. Okay, so eleven fifteen on CBS. It's Michigan State and Mississippi State. It's an eight nine game. Okay, in the West region. All right. Uh, eleven forty on True TV. Yes. It's number eleven seed Duquesne, or Duquesne as I call them against yes. number six seed BYU. It's the East region. All right. Twelve thirty on TNT. It's Akron, fourteen seed against Creighton, in the Midwest, and then at one o'clock on TBS. It is uh, Long Beach State, 15 seed. They had the coach who got fired, uh, who's still coaching, and then number two seed Arizona. So that's your first what, four games. What is the matchup that we like that always has the interesting upsets? The uh, what is five twelve, five twelve, five twelve. I mean, 5-12. I remember you talking about five twelve last year. Big. Uh, all right. So you think now you Hogs you, were five uh, uh, um, more than one occasion? I think we're always right? scared about that. Josh, you had left the studio when we were talking with Joe about Otani and this gambling deal. We placed all the guilt on the interpreter who was doing that it was all on him you think otani had something to do with it a lot of people seem to think shohei otani had something to do with oh it. You, so you but do you yeah i think he might have known about it I, i'm I just, not sure if he did it okay, i think he at least he, knew about well it. why yeah again he's making 500 million why is he worried about betting 
you know, he just got married. I just, well, Phil the, Mickelson had a massive gambling problem, and Phil Mickelson has, has I, a ton of money. But Tony, what I think the issue is, is he's playing and he's gambling. So he needed a fall guy. I think it's more that's the reason why. Because we're, we're talking about baseball. We're talking about the Black Sox. Yeah, we're talking yeah, about but, uh, but, Pete Rose. But, but it sounded like Major League Baseball was pretty quick to say it had nothing to do with Otani, right? It's, it had to do with oh, his interpreter. Course, that's what course. I'm saying. They're but, doing but, that but, until well, they well, don't yeah. want well, you and I to get well, on What if it's the truth? It could be the truth. Okay, it could be the truth. What it yeah, could but, be, could but be I the mean, truth. But I don't listen. There, this is also I think the not, same. Listen. This is also the uh, commissioner that said when the people were arguing about Houston cheating. Look, it's just a piece of metal. I, I don't think. Okay, but I don't think Otani is in that. I don't think he gives a rat's. If you listen, if you watch his personality, no, he, it's gonna be out of character for him. Yeah, that's, that's my point. He just got married. It just doesn't fit. And so, and it maybe you know, maybe he, his buddy, maybe he was, maybe he was allowing that to happen, which is is not good either. It just doesn't fit. Uh, they did win yesterday, so they're one and zero, and they come back and they play exhibition games again. It's so like they have extra. They have, they have a second game today. Uh, over there, uh, fifteen to eleven, San Diego beats the Dodgers. Okay, fifteen. Wow. Uh, okay. What what did Otani do that game? Uh, let's see. Shohei was Shohei for, Roger. One, Shohei the money. One for five with an RBI. <laughs> it doesn't work, but you know, I like where your head's at. Well, what is it? One, one, for it one for five with an RBI today. Show hey the, the money. money. That's what he says but to us. You his, have to use the uh, 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 broken said. English. <laughs> the big, right. the yes. big problem about this, though, is that the, the statements from the team and some of the representatives have, have changed. So it, it sounds like it does initially, spokesperson for Otani told ESPN the soccer had transferred funds to cover the gambling debt. Uh, and then the guy did an interview. And then, as ESPN prepared the story for Wednesday, the spokesperson disavowed uh, Mizuhara's account as the interpreter. Wait a minute, watch your mouth. <laughs> and said uh, Otani's lawyers would issue a statement. So, um, yeah, this is. I right, hear you. Yeah. Uh, the other, uh, we were uh, Roger, the, the number of <laughs> Peters that are coming in. Uh, uh, Peter Sellers, is, have we heard that? Have no, we, okay, no, Peter, no. Pink Panther, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about uh, Peter Brave, right next door? Uh, uh, remember when Justin, oh, I Moore, don't know that. Justin yeah. Moore brought up I didn't know that. a new restaurant? That's no. Peter Brave. I He's did not the know. I did of, not know. Of, uh, <laughs> Justin said, I'm trying to help your argument. <laughs> oh, Justin that's smart. Okay. Yes, okay. I, I didn't know it was Peter uh, Brave. Peter Wolf. Is there, have we mentioned uh-huh. Peter, no. Peter, Peter Tosh? No, didn't mention him Peter, either. How do we know Peter Tosh? Uh, he did some sort of uh, pop culture show on E or something like that. Uh, is the Buzz doing a bracket this year? Yeah, go to the website. Yeah. Go to our website. You got Listen, you only got, uh, what, two, two hours, hours to, to fill it out. Two so, hours. Yeah, go to the Buzz website time. and do that. All right, come in here in a few minutes. We'll, uh, in just a few minutes, we'll visit with Will McIntyre. Saline County, young man. Yeah, he is. Senior, 6'4", yeah. 220. He's using like a his great platform kid. Yeah. To, uh, to help others. We'll talk to him about that as well. Also, uh, we'll figure out how many more tickets that we have to give away, and we'll do that uh, maybe not tomorrow. But one of the things that we're thinking about doing is seeing if you're a lip reader out there. If you can <laughs> read my lips on camera... You might be it, and get it exact, you might win a prize. we got a busy 24 hours, Roger. We go over yeah. to Oakland tonight, Mainline Sports Bar for your trivia. Yeah. Come back to Little Rock tonight, then go Darnell, VFW there, oh. Darnell, helping out the vets there. i got to get the equipment. Oh, You yes. said Chuck's gone? I think so. Oh. He's here. I saw him this morning. Oh, oh he's good. Here. Okay, Very good. good. Then awesome. I'll get him to pull it up. All right, it's 9 o'clock. Will McIntyre's up next. Hello folks, it's Frank Fletcher from the Fletcher Dodge Store here in Sherwood. For the past few months, we've been asking you to give us a chance to buy your cars, and the response has been great. We really appreciate all of you who brought your cars in and turned it into cash. We've purchased hundreds of cars from fine people just like you. Folks, we're still buying cars every day. So look around and see what you or your family has in the garage that you want to turn into cash. It's really easy, folks. Just come into Fletcher Dodge and ask for Chris or Andy. We'll buy any vehicle and we'll pay you more than anyone. We can't find enough vehicles at the auto auctions to meet the demand. So we're extending you this offer to the public. We'll pay you more, so don't wait. We've purchased hundreds of cars from fine people just like you. Come see us today for the best cash offer on your car, truck, van, or SUV. Just ask for Chris or Andy. We'll pay you more, so come see us at Fletcher Dodge on Warden Road in Sherwood.
Thanks. Mark your calendars for the 20th annual Double B's Buzz BQ, Saturday, May 11th at the Downtown Riverside RV Park in North Little Rock. Tickets on sale soon. You're always the MVP here. He's too ugly to be the world champ. The world champ should be pretty like me. KABZ 1037 The Buzz. I am the greatest. Buzz News with Channel 7's Cassandra Webb. A follow-up now to the shooting of Clinton National Airport Executive Director Brian Malinowski. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives shot him during a shootout at his home early Tuesday morning while trying to serve a search warrant. Now his brother, says Malinowski, is brain dead in a Little Rock hospital. Matt Malinowski says ATF has not yet told his family why they were serving a search warrant at his brother's Chenal Valley home early Tuesday morning, but he says they did it with extreme and unnecessary force. He says Brian was shot in the head. He he says his brother collected guns, but argues nothing inside his home should have triggered a raid. The future of Arkansas's freedom of information laws is in the hands of the voters. This November, two separate initiatives could appear on your ballot. One would enshrine the FOIA law in the state constitution. The other would modernize the existing law. The ballot initiative to enshrine FOIA in Arkansas's constitution requires roughly 90,000 signatures. From the Channel 7 Newsroom, I'm Cassandra Webb. For interior, exterior, commercial, and residential painting, hire the pros at Serta Pro Painters. Get your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a higher as possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please, turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse presents Match Game on Morning Mayhem. Listen for your chance to play their version of the classic TV game show. Brought to you by Pickup Truck Accessory Warehouse, Arkansas's truck accessory headquarters for over 30 years. Call 501-568-0040 today or click online at arkansastruck.com. Life isn't just about living, it's about living well. And no one understands that better than Baptist Health. Baptist Health is there to support you and your wellness journey wherever it may take you. They really are so much more than a health care provider. They're a true partner coming alongside you to help you live your fullest, healthiest life. From pediatrics to women's health to cardiac care to orthopedics to primary care, they offer the full spectrum of services you need to keep yourself and your whole family healthy, no matter what phase of life you're in. And you can always count on the care you receive at Baptist Health to be exceptional and compassionate. Listen, they're Arkansas's most trusted name in healthcare for a reason. For more than a century, Baptist Health has helped countless Arkansans create the healthy lives they deserve. And I know they can do the same for you. I know from experience the level of commitment they have for their patients. I've been a Baptist Health patient for decades, and I'm always in good hands. Their level of care is exceptional. Remember, life isn't just about living. It's about living well, and no one understands that better than Baptist Health. Ready to take the next step in your wellness journey? Visit Baptist-Health.com. Baptist Health, for you, for life. Red tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At The Payroll Company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The Payroll Company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. If there's anything green in your yard right now, it's probably a weed, and you need to do something about it. Weed Control and Fertilization Service from Sanders Ground Essentials is easier and less expensive than doing nothing or trying to do it yourself. I did that one time and almost killed my yard. Sanders Ground Essentials saves you time and money and makes your yard the envy of the neighborhood. Don't wait. Do it now. Call Sanders Ground Essentials and get started with Sanders Ground Essentials Weed Control Program. Servicing all of Central Arkansas, including Cabot and Jacksonville. On the web at sandersground.com. Let's get growing. Progressive presents good news, bad news, dumb news, then great news. Good news. While leaning over the fence, your neighbor said you could save money bundling home and auto insurance with Progressive. Bad news. Your neighbor leaned over a little too much and broke your fence. Dumb news. Somehow fence wood is more expensive than wood wood. Great news. You decide to see if you could save money bundling at Progressive.com and to plant really tall shrubs. 
Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Is your Oaklawn Thoroughbred racing action so close you can feel it? Or is it the view from your trackside luxury suite? However you like it, racing season is off and running at Oaklawn with live races every weekend through May 4th. It's fun by the furlong all season long. Make your reservations today at Oaklawn.com. What's your Oak Lawn? Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Join the zone each Monday for Game Balls and Jock Straps. Brought to you by A Caddy's Touch Landscaping. Find out who made the best, average, and worst headlines in sports and entertainment each Monday as Justin Acri and Wes Moore give you their Game Balls and Jock Straps on the zone from 10 to 1. It's all brought to you by A Caddy's Touch Landscaping. 501-794-2770. Call today to get your landscape updated to a whole new level and be listening for Game Balls and Jock Straps only on 103.7 The Buzz. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. I want your blood. I want your soul. Live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. I want them both right now. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. I'm your huckleberry. Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, longer. <laughs> I also love the... Uh... All right, longer. Uh, 906 here on Morning Mayhem. It is uh, Thursday, March 21st. Spring is in uh, full effect, Raj. Uh, weather's going to be great. Uh, racing, horse racing in Oakland today through this weekend. Baseball tonight, uh, Hogs versus Auburn. you got March Madness going on. Uh, the reason we're playing this song, Roger, because today we first uh, we start our first call with Will McIntyre, um, who is uh, she's almost like a... Uh, Swiss Army knife. He can do. He can do so much from the mound, uh, and I think we maybe should just put him out uh, next fall and play a little tight end for us. Uh, but so excited to have Will McIntyre, pitcher for the Razorbacks, brought to you by Seth Boyd uh, and Shelter Insurance, a Saline County young man. Let's go to Will McIntyre on the Hodges Glass Little Rock Glass Hotline. Good morning, Will. How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? Man, hey, it's we're great. Excited to have you on uh, with us each week. Now I know you guys are playing tonight. It's 6 or 6.30. Where are you presently? Are you still in Fayetteville or are you in Auburn already? Uh, I'm outside our hotel in Auburn right now. I presume y'all were there. But listen, the kids today, you guys got your jets yeah, you and all those things. We had, we had to drive, we basically had to drive our own cars to the games back when uh, when, when I was <laughs> yeah, playing. Six I'm, and one. I'm joking, of course. But, um, well, listen, we appreciate you doing this on, on uh, game day and look forward to having you every Thursday. So one of the cool things right off the bat is just talking about your background, Will, and being a Saline County boy. And I was looking at your, your parents' Facebook page last night and going back and looking at your history at Bryant. And I think it was – is it the Bryant – is it the Black Sox you played with too? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've played with the Black Sox my whole life, basically. Yeah, so, so Roger, if you play with the Black Sox, you're, you're a darn good player. And, of course, the reputation of Bryant baseball. And also saw where you had some shoulder pads on. Occasionally, what, 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 what? Tell us when you played football. What age? What ages did you play football? Uh, I played from about middle school to end of my freshman year, and I wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't did, see you, much of a future. <laughs> so uh, now your dad. Now you're a pretty big dude. You're six four, two twenty, right? Uh, yeah. Somewhere in there, and your dad looks a little bit bigger than you, or around the same size, right? Yeah, about the about the same size. So was and I and I also saw that uh, you guys are big Cubs fans. Is that correct? Uh, I think I let him down. I don't. I'm not really a Cubs fan, so I think I let him down on that part. Ah. So, so what major league team have you sort of liked growing up as a kid, or maybe you still do? Uh, I kind of enjoy watching the Angels play. Okay, my dad. Uh, my dad used to worked for the Travelers a bunch back when they were affiliated with the Angels. Oh, so I saw a bunch of their guys come okay. up. Um, that's good to know. And, and before we get to just the, the season, I, Roger, we brought this up yesterday. Again, this is off the field stuff. It's actually on the field, but it's what you're doing off the field. Obviously, I've read about your dad's battle with cancer. 
And because of that, you've decided to do something, you know, using your NIL ties and those kind of things to raise money for Cartel. Will you explain that to our audience? Yeah, so um, my dad uh, was diagnosed with cancer my junior year of high school, and thankfully he's in remission. Uh, so basically I'm just, for the season, for every strikeout I get throughout the season, I'm just going to donate $5 of my money to uh, the Cartel Center of Arkansas. And basically, I have a link on my Twitter and my Instagram uh, profile where if people would like to, they could go to that link and sign up the pledge the same amount or whatever amount they'd like to. Or they could just do a one-time donation. And what I'm putting the funds towards is just to help pay for, like, um, medical bills, travel for those who are uh, less fortunate and can't uh, afford to pay that themselves. Man, is your goal 80 strikeouts? Uh, it wasn't eighty. I just it had to. We had to put something in there to gotcha. like estimate that way people could see. And I just kind of based it off of what I did last year. Gotcha, guy. Well, it's well, a wonderful thing that you're doing. That my daughter, my idea. daughter's the one that told me about this. Will uh, 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 Meredith Hale, uh, your mom taught her. Uh, in uh, sixth grade English at Bryant Middle School, as a matter of fact, and she's uh, uh, and she Meredith just told me that your mom j- retired, and yesterday was her birthday. Is that right? Oh yeah, she uh, yesterday was her birthday, and uh, she planned on retiring, and then uh, my sister had her first baby, and uh, I think you couldn't stop my mom from retiring then to help take care of that kid. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Well, gotcha. it's well, uh, obviously, we're glad to have you. Yeah, we're glad. We're listening. We're glad to have you. I, I love what you're doing, and and obviously, you know, we're going to be talking about baseball every week. But we want the, our, our our listeners to get to know the other side of you, yeah. and and, and uh, he's got a, you got a great story. But what you guys are doing on the field, and it it goes hand in hand with your uh, strikeout cancer campaign, is you guys are just destroying it on the mound. I mean, I was looking here, Roger, ten of the Razorback pitchers uh, have ERAs of three or less. Mm. Uh, and Arkansas has the number one ranking in five key pitching categories, ERA, strikeout-to-walk ratio, strikeouts per nine innings, whip, and hits per nine innings. You know, you, this this is your fourth year, um, and, and I've got to say, Will, you've got to be looking around going, man, it's unbelievable. What? And, again, you got it's still early, but you can't start any better on the mound than what you guys have. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's, uh, it's my fifth year. Oh, fifth year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. had a red shirt. Yeah, that's right. Okay, go ahead. That's correct. Thank you. Yeah, with, with my option for another year after this as well if I wanted to. Right. But, uh, uh, yeah, this is one of the best pitching staffs I've been I've been a part of. Uh, I think it all started this fall as we all kind of just looked around in the room when we had our first staff meeting and we're just like, man, there's like there's some dudes in here. And uh, I think it was one of the more competitive falls pitching-wise where – you're just sitting there and you're watching guys pitch and you're like, man, how am I going to get out there with these guys here? So I think we all kind of just pushed ourselves really well this fall to just compete and uh, put ourselves in a position to succeed this year. We're visiting with Will McIntyre, brought to you by Seth Boyd with Shelter Insurance. You can give him a call at 501-982-64. That's almost a murderer's row. Yeah, of, uh, I'm sorry you're looking at murderers that's, that's okay. pictures. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was obviously uh, Hagen Smith uh, is on the show following us each week, and uh, he's setting obviously he's setting the the bar the highest, and and what he's accomplished early in the season is fantastic as well. Yeah, Hagen's just uh, Hagen's one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Uh, that dude's just an animal in the weight room, and uh, very consistent in what he does, and. Just basically everything that he's done so far, he's earned himself, and uh, he truly deserves it. You know, I was watching. I, I was watching Hogs Plus uh, the other night, uh, Roger, and I saw uh, uh, Will. I saw the video of you and and um, Tiger uh, doing the workouts and and on your non pitching days. And I don't think people realize. You know, I played football back in the '80s, and we were doing a lot of weightlifting and things. But it's become so advanced yeah. the strength training flexibility. And what you guys do, and people just say, oh, you got a couple of days off, you're not, you're not pitching, or of course you could pitch any day, but the things you have to do every day to make sure you're ready to, you're ready to be at your best when called on. Oh, yeah, we got a, uh, we got a new strength coach last year, uh, and his name's Hunter Bell, and I think he's really, truly one of the best in the country at what he does. Uh, we, we do a lot more now than what we did a couple of years ago, and uh, it's just He's truly like focused on that one job of uh, training us, and uh, we do some more things than we did in the past, like mobility-wise, and uh, 
we do more of like we have these little machines that you hook up to like the bar called tendo units and it's like he's wanting to see like not how much like in weight you can pull on like a trap bar Mm -hmm. deadlift or something like that but it's like how fast can you move it because baseball is an explosive sport everything you do is an explosive movement so it's not about how how heavy you can pull something or push something it's about how fast you can do it right yeah, it, it is. It's amazing. It was very really, uh, fascinating watching the, the them communicate with it. And I, we're going to get to the Chipotle thing here in just yeah, a second, yeah, too, yeah. Roger. Uh, you know, uh, Justin Moore, who's got twelve number one country music yeah. uh, hits. I don't know if you're familiar with Justin. He spent you know time around the baseball pr- program for years now. He's our baseball guy because he knows baseball. Mm-hmm. I used to pay, play baseball. I'm a football guy. Mm-hmm. I know a little bit about it. But I saw Roger. Where is your best pitcher? Uh, best pitch the cutter? Is that right? Yeah, I always call it a cutter, and it's not really a true movement profile slash velocity profile for a cutter, but it's just what I've thrown since high school, and I've basically just called it that since. <laughs> well, so so this is what, when I saw that, I think this we're, we're not the smartest show in the world. So, Roger, when you think of the cutter, yep. how would you describe a cutter? Well, I would describe it as a, a change-up. It's a change-up. All right. Yeah, how yeah. many, <laughs> how many, how many different pitches do you have in your arsenal that you that you can call on at any time? Uh, I basically just have four. It's just a, a, a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a circle change, and just a. a Standard curveball, circle the change. Standard, well, you got a standard, <laughs> you got a circle change, and a standard. I've never, curve. I've never heard. I've never heard. Today's circle, the yeah. first time I've yeah. ever heard of a circle change. You've never yeah. heard of a circle. Yeah. Change? I've never heard of a circle change, Josh. Really? I have not. No, I we haven't. I'm sorry. We're, we're, listen, we'll, come we'll, on. We'll, 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 it's we'll, basically, it's basically just video. like how you how you hold the grip in your hand. Okay. Is oh, basically okay. why you call it a circle change. Oh, that. So your thumb. I believe Will, your thumb and your. Uh, pointer finger, I believe it is. Your yeah, whatever it Booger is. Booger picker. Yeah, they they get they come together. Is okay. that right, Will? Is that right, Will? Yeah, I don't have mine come all the way together and touch, but it kind of creates a circle when you're holding the ball. Listen, yeah. you're going to help us learn more. Yeah, you're going to help us out. Yeah. <laughs> just, so so Justin just, just, just would be so mad. You shut up, guys. And let me take. Over he this would interview. be talking to you right now. <laughs> so you know, Will, when you see a batter up there, I mean, do you on the inside of the plate, the outside of the plate? What do you want up there? What is a batter doing uh, that might make you think before you throw that ball? I know you're an expert and you know what you're doing, but when a batter gets up there, what kind of batter do you not like to see up at that plate? What kind of better do I not like? Yeah, that you don't want to um, see that. You know, that kind of ticks you off. You go, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to give him a little chin music or something. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like guys when they crowd the plate, and so I just, I like throwing a lot inside. So yeah. I'll just, if a guy's crowding the plate, I'll throw him inside and see if they back off a little bit. Right. Yeah, I don't really. I don't really have any problems with others. I like that. I you like know how that. cool that is? Yeah. I mean, Back off, buddy. Listen, Bob Gibson did that too, my friend. I, listen, I can't throw from third to first and guarantee it's going to get there. <laughs> but for you to have that little bitty area right there, to be able to hum that ball as fast as you can and to say, I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to make you want to back away a little bit, pal. <laughs> then I'm going to give you something else. Well, that is awesome. That's an awesome talent. And the other thing I've read about you is that you love having the pressure of having men on base when you come in to relieve. You know, a lot of times, you know, it, yeah, it'd be nice to come in and not have to deal with that. But you, you sort of thrive on that, right? You like the pressure. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be going around saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hear you. But like pressure situations, I've always, I've always enjoyed because like it's just the adrenaline kick you get from it and uh, just the feeling you get when you get out of like a jam or something. It's always a good, it's a good feeling. Uh, we do want to thank Seth Boyd with Shelter Insurance. The phone number, by the way, 501-982-6465 if you want to call Seth. Uh, I was looking. You've already uh, – you're, you're filling multiple roles out of the bullpen. You lead the team in innings pitch, 25 and two-thirds. Tied for first with Cody Frank in appearances, nine. I mean, you got to love the fact that you're being called on so much and – uh, you guys have had the, the hot start. Matter of fact, I think what you did this past weekend, first back-to-back shutouts since two, 2007 in a conference in, in a conference series. So uh, you got to be happy that the team is calling on you and you're, you're delivering early for the team this year. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I just uh, – I don't really – I don't really try and make it too big of anything. I just – I just try and do my job when I'm called on. And uh, 
I'm happy to do whatever role I'm asked to do. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what uh, teamwork is all about. And I, I did want to ask you about Peyton Stovall. Um, you know, he, he's he, we talked to him on Tuesdays, and we just started with him. Pretty amazing for somebody who hasn't played in you know where, how many how many weeks it was, but to come out as as hot as he's been uh, this season. Dude, his his story is incredible. Uh, coming back from a. Uh, I guess it was technically a broken foot. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, and then also he was coming back that also from uh, his injury last year. So to be a guy that has back to back injuries and just it delays him coming back and being able to just mentally handle that and know that you're gonna get the get your chance when you come back to come play and uh, to do what he's doing right now is awesome to watch and just I'm really happy for the guy. We're visiting with Will McIntyre. He's a Saline County uh, young man and played at Bryant. So we were watching the other thing on social media, Roger. We were watching that you were mic'd up and you said you guys have a game you play in the in the uh, dugout that uh, you guys pick a player, pick a hitter, and if the hitter hits a home run, they have to buy you Chipotle. And uh, you, I forget who it was you had picked out, but you it was on the mic. Uh, great content, and again, he, he delivers for you. I think we do. We have that on. Do we have that, uh, uh, Josh? By chance, I sent that uh, last night. I don't know if you saw it, but we need to put that in our system. Who was the player that you picked and uh, that delivered for you? So it was these. Uh, I don't remember which freshman it was, but these freshmen kind of started this game, and it was just like you get three guys a game to like pick so like you can they're coming up to their at bat you can like call chipotle on somebody and if they if you get it right the person <laughs> you called it on has to buy you a bowl and i've i'm, not, I'm two for two this year on wow. calling them how about that and i've done it to the same guy i've done it to a freshman uh his name is tate mcguire i kind of feel bad for him because <laughs> i keep picking i keep picking on him with it but uh it works. Like I've gotten them right. So, so just yeah. you, do, 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 since that's your guy, does he just have to get you or uh, uh, more than uh, the, the, everybody in the dugout? Uh, just just me. Gotcha. We couldn't do, <laughs> do it. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. We got, you, got, you got the clip, Roger? I do. Let's see. Chipotle is a game we run. If you get it right, and they hit a home run that at bat. Got music in the background. <laughs> we'll stop it right there. So uh, see if we can take that stuff. up. Uh, Give me some Chipotle. <laughs> the last thing before we let you go. Um, so, uh, so what kind of class load are you taking? The number of hours. What are you majoring in? And what's your social status right now uh, in Fayetteville? We just slipped that in. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I technically graduated this fall, uh, got my degree in marketing Okay. and, uh, right now I'm just kind of taking, uh, just like some classes right now to <laughs> keep my eligibility to play right now. I'm, sure. I'm in 12 hours okay. and, uh, yeah, so it was nice to get my degree this fall and very nice. get that pressure off my back. <laughs> Dang, dang straight. Very nice. And what about your social life? You dating anybody single? Oh uh, yeah, I'm 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 dating. I've been dating a girl, uh, Caitlin Wire, for about two and a half years now. Okay, wow. all right. Oh, she wow. lo- she loved baseball. Uh I think when she started dating me, maybe she didn't really watch before that. So okay. I've had to. We've had to teach her. <laughs> Do uh, right. so. Have, uh, has uh, your your parents, Madison and Chrissy, have they've given the thumbs up on this young lady? Um, I've heard from them multiple times that I can't screw this up. So. <laughs> uh, well, listen, man, I know you, uh, you're you there in Auburn. And uh, beat those Tigers today in the next two days, and uh, we'll talk about uh, the wins next week. But we appreciate you jumping on yeah, with we us. We, we love what you're doing, uh, the strikeouts for a cause. That's, yeah. that's an awesome idea. And we, we want to, yeah, obviously, we want to cheer that on the rest of the uh, season as well. But we'll make sure we give out that side again. That's right. Thanks for jumping on with us today. We'll talk to you next week, Will. All right, thanks for having me. Thanks, Will. About it. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. There he is. Um, good kid. You can tell he's a good kid. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that's I it's love. funny his parents said that. What's that? It's funny his parents said that. <laughs> <I'm kind laughs> yes, up. exactly right. Have you heard that before, uh, Josh? I have yeah, heard okay, that. I was about to say. It's, uh, it's, it it's pledgeit.org. P L E D G E I T. Pledgeit.org is the, uh, uh, is the uh, link. That you need if you want to help out on implegit.org slash 
KS-4-A-Cure. So, Josh, you're shocked that we did not know about the circle change. Circle change. Circle well, of life. I've, I've yeah. never heard of that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's you know, to be honest, it's a, it's actually a pretty common variation of the changeup. Okay. Um, it's just a, a way that people grip it. It, it makes the ball. Because the thing about the changeup, a lot of people think, oh, changeup is just a... It's just a slower pitch. It's supposed to come out looks like a fastball. Changeups, they move a lot. Yes. You want your changeup to move a ton. Yeah. And so the way you grip your fingers, if you, you know, if you, yeah. and he says he doesn't put his index or his that's thumb right. finger together, yeah. he gets, puts them pretty close, but it puts a different spin on the ball. Yeah, Roger, right. when we were playing, we had the fastball, fastball, curveball, curveball, changeup. Uh, uh, well, they had the changeup and also had the. Um, um, uh, oh, I got what you. I got. I got you. I, no, yes, no. And screwball. It was. Uh, screw what was the? Uh, well, look at you. Where's all the, the knuckles? Where's the, the knuckle? What? Not, not knuckle ball. Slider. Not a slider. Oh, yeah. it's, it's curveball. I thought it was. The, I thought it was a screwball. In other words, when you flip your wrist, they go. The the, knuckleball. Knuckleball. They had knuckleball. We had knuckleball. <laughs> no, it's. it's and that, knuckleball. Is it? I'm th- if, if, again, when you turn yeah. your wrist over. And it's not the curve like this; it's the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes yeah. the opposite direction. Uh, Are you sure we're talking about? Yeah, I think it's a screwball. I think yeah. it's a screwball. Are you thinking about? I, and th- and that might be. Who knows what that's called today? Maybe there's a different name for it. That I don't be. know. Could but be. It, it, you see what I'm doing? I'm going this way could with be my the flop. Inside. Turn, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, because what know. you're doing, you're doing the amber dexter. <laughs> that's hard. It's hard. Bam! You're doing amber. See, you want to throw it one way, you want to throw it the other way. That's opposite. Six six one one zero three seven. What pitch am I throwing? You know what? Cutter sounds cool. Cutter sounds real cool. Yeah. And I threw him the cut. I threw him some cutter chin. <laughs> I like what he said. Dude, get off the plate. Get off the plate. Get off the plate. Get off get the plate. Like he's gonna hum it. Did he say how fast his ball was? How fast it's, in the, it's in the low nineties. Low nineties. Low nineties. Yeah. So yeah. he's gonna throw a ball ninety miles an hour, and it's gonna make you think. You know what? Maybe I'll back up. But then if you're a batter, <laughs> then we have to find out. You know what about a batter? When a batter is crowding the plate. And the pitcher's throwing you the ball. We need to ask uh, Stovall. Just, just think, this weekend alone against Missouri, last weekend, Roger, uh, Smith, Tiger, Molina, and McIntyre combined to pitch 20 and a third shutout innings, only allowed four hits, and they had 32 strikeouts. Yeah. I mean, it's just nuts. And Missouri, Missouri's offense actually has not been the problem. Their pitching's been terrible. It's they, just, they did a good job. It is just Also, nuts. it's pretty impressive he throws four pitches. Usually, I mean... You'll see some guys in college just command a two is what they ask for. Yeah. If you command a three, you're in good yep. shape. I don't have Molina, but I got Macarena. If, <laughs> if you command a four, you're in really good shape. I like in excellent it. shape. Oh, uh, great! Great to uh, get two great baseball Absolutely. players. Absolutely, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Very proud and very happy to have and both I, I those boys on. I bet you we've got some Saline County uh, listeners that are that will be m- making sure they're locked in. To happy Thursday. belated birthday to yeah. his uh, to his, to his mama Christy. and yeah. thanks Chrissy for uh, teaching uh, uh, Meredith English. Did, that's right. You taught her good. <laughs> Did you? Were you playing the Lion King for a reason? Before? I was Circle of Life because <laughs> it was a circle well, of change. There's, uh, there's also other circle things that you can say. Circle yeah, but I won't I do know, it. Know, That's in match game. <laughs> <laughs> Circle blank. Like, you know. Listen, all right. Uh, I know Justin will be glad to get back in here and, and ask him some in-depth baseball questions. We'd love to listen. We miss our Jay Bird. We do. We, we hope miss he's having him. fun on the ski slope. Well, I, you know, I don't think okay, that. Do you think he listens? Do you think no, he even misses us? Kate's Have you listen, talked to him at all? He's off the grid. Kate's listening, but, you know, Justin, turn that off. That's what Joe said. Turn that off. We're on vacation. Is Kate listening? I'm sure she is. Oh, okay. Because I, I haven't not, gotten a he, text. He's not, she's not allowed to text us. He probably said, you're not texting them. You, you, you cannot. But she's probably sticking in the bathroom to listen to us. Listen. She likes it like so much. Inside, inside here. Listen. We've seen him. He cannot be within two feet of her and not be twirling her hair. <laughs> and you know he True. does. And he does the spoon. And from what I understand, he probably does a little whimper during, snow, uh, during uh, uh, storms. Uh, what about, I just saw one of our stakes line. Peter Circle. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, Baz, you're right. Uh, screwball breaks opposite of the curveball. So I used to throw the, the screwball. Wait, 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 wait. One person gets no, on there and says one. that's what it is. Stru- a screwball still cuts uh, in on right uh, handers from a right handed pitcher. That's it. It's a screwball. Oh, screwball. It, it puts a lot of pressure on your on your wrists back then. But uh, listen, I love the old screwball. That was one of my pitches, Roger. Bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Go to break on that. I am not trying to seduce you. Coach Kevin Kelly joins the zone each Wednesday, presented by the Little Rock Athletic Club. The indoor pickleball facility is now open. First tournament is April 5th through the 7th. This is Sports Center.
Two games concluded the first four in Dayton last night as Grambling State rallied from 14 points down to beat Montana State 88-81 in overtime to claim the second 16 seed spot determined by a play-in game. And then in the second 10 seed play-in game, it was Colorado 60, Boise State 53, which means now the 64 team field is set for the 2024 men's NCAA tournament. The action begins today at 11.15 a.m. on CBS when Mississippi State takes on Michigan State in an 8-9 matchup. It'll run all the way through today until 9.05 when Washington State and Drake tip off in a 7-10 matchup. You can catch all of the action on CBS, True TV, TBS, and TNT. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center with Channel 7's Melinda Mayo. A few more clouds today, but we'll still see a high around 70 degrees. A couple of showers possible, but those will favor western Arkansas today and southern Arkansas tomorrow. For Friday, a high around 64. From the Channel 7 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Melinda Mayo. Fletcher Dodge wants to buy your car. We'll buy any make or model, and we'll pay you more than anyone else. Please turn your old car into cash at Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood. Tito's Handmade Vodka presents the 2024-1037 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course. Registration is now open. Go to 1037thebuzz.com to register your four-person team. Prizes will be awarded in both the morning and afternoon flights. The 2024-1037 The Buzz Spring Golf Tournament Monday, April 15th at the Burns Park Golf Course. Presented by Tito's Handmade Vodka and brought to you in part by Lion Legal with special thanks to Corky's Ribs and Barbecue, Sonic, and Michelob Ultra. Hello, Buzz listeners. This is Chris Zender with Fletcher Dodge, and I want to help you lower your car payment. Let us show you how you can trade in your old car for a brand new Dodge Chrysler Jeep or Ram with a lower car payment. We've got 0% financing on new Rams, or you can take up to $12,000 off the sticker. It's your choice. We also have 0% financing on new Chrysler Pacificas and $10,000 plus discounts on new Jeep Gladiators. Or how about a new Dodge Charger or Challenger for $5,000 off? We've got lots of inventory to choose from just pick one out and tell us how much you want to pay we'll do the rest don't worry about your credit if other dealers have told you no come see us and let us help you get a new or pre-owned dependable vehicle go to fletcherdeals.com and simply click apply for financing and we'll do the rest at fletcher dodge you always get the best price the lowest finance rate and more for your trade and also a hassle-free buying experience shop fletcher dodge and sherwood before you buy anywhere else come see us in person at fletcher dodge on warden road and sherwood or shop online at fletcherdeals.com Right now at Fort Thompson, Smith & Wesson Shield, 2.0 9mm, 269.90. Beretta APXA1, 9mm, 199.90 after $50 mail-in rebate. CCI 9mm brass, 50 count box, $12.99 at Fort Thompson and Sherwood. It's Pat Bradley for Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union, where their customers are always number one. Speaking about numbers, 6% APY is still available at Alcoa. Earn up to 6% interest on your checking account balances for doing the things you already do, like using your debit card and direct deposit. You can also get your ATM fees waived. Apply today for your free Casasa checking account and earn up to 6% APY at alcoacommunityfcu.org. Alcoa Community Federal Credit Union. Serving Celine, Grant, Garland, Hot Spring, and Perry Counties. If there's anything green in your yard right now, it's probably a weed, and you need to do something about it. Weed Control and Fertilization Service from Sanders Ground Essentials is easier and less expensive than doing nothing or trying to do it yourself. I did that one time and almost killed my yard. Sanders Ground Essentials saves you time and money and makes your yard the envy of the neighborhood. Don't wait. Do it now. Call Sanders Ground Essentials and get started with Sanders Ground Essentials Weed Control Program. Servicing all of Central Arkansas, including West Little Rock and Conway on the web at sandersground.com. Let's get growing. Robert Irwin Jewelers 6 hours 60% off sale is this Saturday from 10 to 4 only at the McCain Mall in North Little Rock location, but everything in the showcase is 60% off this Saturday 10 to 4. It's a legit 60% off sale. Do not miss it. Can you hear Justin Moore's smoke alarm every 10 minutes? If you can, text our Southern Structural Solutions text line at 501-661-1037. Seven. Tate, Tate McGuire. Chipotle. Chipotle on video. Chipotle is a game we run where if you uh, if you say Chipotle at somebody 
and they hit a home run that at bat. Uh, they have to go buy you like a Chipotle bowl. So I got a Chipotle going on Ben McLaughlin right now. If he hits a bomb, Tate McGuire owes me a bowl, a bowl of Chipotle. Chink. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. My God. oh. oh my God. Give me some Chipotle. <laughs> You can, fi- you can find that on uh, either Hogs Plus. I think it's on social media, Twitter, the baseball Twitter could. account, yeah, too. You could That's good it. stuff. Yeah, he yeah. says Chipotle, too. Uh, is it, what is the correct uh, well, uh, uh, depends Chipotle. Who Chipotle. Chipotle. You can enunciate each hear, letter. Yeah, you can hear the Chipotle. T as much Chipotle. when he says it. How about this? Can you... And now we take great pleasure in presenting to you the star of our program, Miss Kate, Kate Smith. Smith. God Hello bless America. Everybody. Wow. It is my happy privilege On to this introduce day. a new song. God a bless new song. America. Nin- this is a set. Ni- 1934, I think, wasn't it? Let me see. 1939. A new song. Night, first time ever, right here, 1939, on this wow. radio broadcast. confession to make yeah i've always liked that better yeah than the I, I, i'm with you it's an absolutely beautiful song it, it is yeah, great thing about that um roger uh the song was written by Irvin berlin uh, irving berlin sure in 1918 mm-hmm. as a tribute uh by a successful immigrant to his adopted country that's right so kate smith recorded for victor records mm-hmm. on this day yeah and she, it, uh, she had introduced the song on her Thursday, November 10th, 1938 radio show. This is one of my favorite versions of it. Which is this? Martina McBride. Oh, wow. I've always liked it a little bit better. Her, yeah, her voice is so darn oh, good. Oh, it's, it's amazing. So in 1938, that's when it was? 1938 was when she first played it on a radio show. She recorded it in 39 on this day. That was a new song. You know, when you think about it, just, of course, we were kids. 1938, when... We were in okay. junior high school. It was like forever. And it would just think what was coming around the corner with, with Hitler and, and, and uh. Uh, Ger- uh, Germany. Also, it says that uh, Berlin gave all the proceeds, all the royalties to the Boy Scouts back then. So uh, How about that? pretty, How about pretty cool that? stuff. This is his boy. Josh just turned his mic off. <laughs> he hates his song. Wow. You know, there's a part My mother's crying. She goes, I can't listen to this song without crying. I tell you, it, 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 it's a tearjerker when I think about all the uh, uh, military that's out there, my dad in particular and all that, and just knowing. There's a part of this song where she sings it at the end and says, that, that God bless America, my home sweet home. She yeah. says, our home sweet home. Yeah. Check it out because there's a big band behind it. Come on. To the prairies, to the earth. 
Wow. Well, that, I, I, I wish it so yeah. good. Makes you wish that our country was a little bit uh, yep. uh, uh, stronger together. I agree. Ah. Uh, some messages from our um, what? <laughs> Southern Structure Solutions uh, text line from Rebecca. The show has been great this week. I've listened every day. Thank you, Thank Rebecca. Rebecca. Thank uh, you, Will McIntyre. What a great young man! Absolutely, I really enjoy. Who is it. the condescending blank that always butts in? <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about there. That was probably me. That guy hates me. <laughs> so no, actually, that was that was on. Yes, yeah, that was on the text line. This is on the uh, the uh, life and feedback. Uh, Lynn, let's see. Lynn Sherwood said you forgot to frequently use pitch back, or uh, uh, use a, a pitch that you know that used that they're used, I guess the pitchers use all the time. A brush pat, brush back pitch, oh, sure. which is basically what he was talking about. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know there was well, a name for that, it. Yeah, I didn't know what that I didn't is. know if it was mean, a brush back. I mean, it's probably it's just a, a straightforward fastball. Yeah, yeah a, just yeah. A, you know. Yeah, James says, uh, Baz, stop being so creepy and bugging the young man about his social life. Stop being a creepo. You know what? It's not, listen, there's nothing the matter with asking about his social life. It's nope. part of. It's nothing part of, wrong at all. No, it's part of what he does. Listen, that's the. It's part of going. To, it's part of the. College experience, your school, your your dating life, whatever. Your favorite. Like we ask them all personally. We want you all to get the whole point of this, so you all can get to know the athletes you're that's, here for. That's right. That's right. And I was trying to think. It seemed like the last. You know, the only guy who has not been dating. I think. Is it, oh, Caleb. <laughs> it's Caleb. Oh. I think every other. You know what? He's that's right. Because he said he was. He, you know, he <laughs> He's focused. A, he was focused. Yeah. Every other. Every oh. other. Uh, every other guy with the. Which is again, I did not have that. So, I mean, you know what? Maybe that's why I ask. Might be. Because I didn't have that for Might me. Be. You know what? That's and I like exactly to, right. I like to hear the young men who are experiencing that in a positive yes, way. Yes, it creepo. You. So if that defines me as a creepo, I will receive that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to okay. uh, Pigskin. Is this right. Pigskin Preacher? Is this the Pigskin? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Pigskin? kudos for playing God Bless America by Kate Smith. Now, yes. did you guys mention the sports connection to that? Uh, I don't think I did. Okay, I'm going to help you out here. Okay. In the mid-1970s, when the Philadelphia Flyers were the Broad Street Bullies and they won back-to-back Stanley Cup championships, they had, on special occasions, big games, they would bring in either a, a, a tape recording of her or sometimes they would bring her in in person, and instead of the national anthem, they would have Kate Smith Sing God Bless America. Gotcha. And their re- and their record when she would sing it was un unbeatable. I mean they, they couldn't they couldn't touch her. So now how long how long did they do how long did they do that, Chuck? How long did that uh, go? For, for for a few years. It went on for several years, and their record was I mean it was something ridiculous. What was, was the like controversy a few years ago there, Piggy? There was a controversy a few years ago with Kate Smith. Uh, I don't think it was the song. It was about Kate Smith, and someone stopped playing it. I think the uh, uh, political correctness yeah, came out. What was that? I, I, it oh, just popped into my I'm, head. What was that about? Do you remember? I don't. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure a hundred years ago, she probably that's what it was. A word or something that yep. was uh, she a, did. not in vogue today. You know, oh, like okay. it was. It was not this song. It was another another song. version of uh, no, it. No, no, it was a different oh. song. With that, she, oh, is she, that right? Yeah, that, that's what it was. Okay. Um, what's well, it? And it was funny. You, you mentioned Irving Berlin yes. doing that song. Um, what's his face? Uh, Woody Guthrie wrote, "This land is your yes. land." Yes, as an as an angry retort to "God bless America." I mean, is that right? I didn't realize that. Going to get offended I, with "God bless but, America." But do you yeah. know? But do you know what's you know what's weird about that? I never okay. he lost it on me because this, I yeah, like the yeah, song. I, know. I thought the song was a positive I one. Know. I sing oh, it in I a like, positive way. I like way. both of the songs. I think it's possible to like both songs. <laughs> Well, well, which, I, I didn't. I didn't hear "This Land Is Your Land" as a negative at I all. Know. I didn't know that. I, know. Yeah, I had no idea, well, so it what, didn't work for me. What's crazy, Chuck, is that uh, it just goes to show you how things work out. So Berlin wrote that sucker in 1918. So it sat around for 20 years, mm. not really, you know, impacting people. And all of a sudden, Kate right. Smith gets a hold of it, and boom, you know, we're yeah, playing yeah. it in 2024. Exactly. What was yeah. that? Was that World War One? Well, Get a chance. Look up the Philadelphia Flyers Kate Smith connection. It's pretty amazing. And this is the leading sports station in Arkansas. Thank and you. just thought we needed to add that. Thank you, Thank you, you, you Thank you so hey, much. Hey, hey, Pig, I just found yeah, out buddy. something. I'll be talking to you later. I, uh, I may want you to come up here and sit with me for a week in May. You know, I'd love it, brother. Anytime. Right. I'll get it to All you. Right. Someone says, uh, Rick said, listen, Mr. Durandy yesterday. I don't, I don't believe he had to be playing that. Listen, Mr. 
is is I just I, I think he knows if he says that it has to be tongue in cheek now. It's a bit. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, it's got to be. Although I love when he when he when he says it. Though. Oh, absolutely. Listen, na, 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 na. I, honestly, I had no idea. As it, we sang this in grade school, at Goldstein Elementary School. I didn't know it was a a negative song. Yeah. This land was made for. I thought it's the greatest country in the history of the world, going all the way back to the beginning of time. Mainland Sports Bar tonight. Roger yeah. and I will be there from uh, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. We may sing God Bless America. Then we come back to Little Rock, get up tomorrow morning, and drive to Dardanelle yes. for the VFW up there. Get ready. We're coming. Oh, Take his money for those veterans down there. That's up right. There, rather. They sing God Bless America up they, there. They do. If it's not for them, we don't get to sing it that's, in English that's anyway. Exactly right. All right. We'll come back and wrap things up. 945. Nothing compares to the feeling of wearing a Facets of Fire diamond from Sissy's Log Cabin. The first diamond cutting advancement in over a century, Facets of Fire diamonds are created by etching thousands of nano prisms onto the pavilion of an exquisite natural diamond. The result is a stone with more brilliance than any other. Just ask any of the expert staff at Sissy's and they'll show you the vibrant burst of fiery color that's visible to the naked eye. From engagement rings to necklaces to bracelets to earrings, a Facets of Fire diamond takes any piece to a new level of spectacular, and no jewelry collection is complete without one. Facets of Fire diamonds are passion personified, but don't just take my word for it. You can shop Facets of Fire online at sissyslogcabin.com or at any of their six locations. Experience the revolution in diamonds for yourself only at Sissy's Log Cabin because life's too short for ordinary jewelry. Join Out of Bounds this Thursday at Cigar Republic celebrating a five-year anniversary. Out of Bounds will be broadcasting live as the NCAA tournament tips off on the 16 huge TVs. Cigar Republic on the corner of Breckenridge and Rodney Parham, your cigar and whiskey destination. Roger Scott for Gravely Mowers. You know when it comes to beautiful lawns, nothing cuts like a Gravely. And when it comes to cutting prices, there's nothing like the Gravely Mow the Distance Sales Event, where you can save up to 25%. And special financing is available on America's most rugged and dependable mowers, including their ZTHD. It's the residential mower built to commercial standards. But hurry, because the Mow the Distance Sale is only through April 8th and only at your authorized Gravely dealers like Triple C Sales and Service in Conway or Lawn and Power in Star City. Red tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At The Payroll Company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The Payroll Company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and dancing with the stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties, and the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments, QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery, thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 501-222-8440. That's 501-222-8440. 501-222-8440. Paid for by jackpot.com. You must be 18 or older to order a lottery ticket. Please play responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hello? This is your fortune. Listen, the Mega Millions jackpot is over $800 million. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy your official state lottery tickets right from your phone. I can do that. With the jackpot.com lottery app, you can. Your fortune is calling. Download the free jackpot.com lottery app and buy lottery tickets on your phone. Plus, get a free lottery ticket with your first play. Go to the App Store and search for the jackpot.com lottery app. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? 
Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See Gary Elmore in Lone Oak, Justin Stewart in Malvern, or Drew Self in Hot Springs. Crawfish season is finally back at Eat My Catfish. We've got fresh, live crawfish, and all you have to do is just add the fixins. Be sure to come see us or order online at eatmycatfish.com. Eat local, eat fresh, eat my catfish. Oakland Racing Casino Resort presents Oakland Game Day, an inside look at the week's big games, exciting prop bets, and the latest betting lines from Oakland Sportsbook. Justin Akerin and Oakland's Director of Sports Wagering, Zach Gillum, give you all the info you need to place your bets at Oakland. Catch it on the buzz Wednesday nights at 7, and again Thursday mornings at 5.30 before morning mayhem. Oakland Game Day on your fun and game station, 103.7 The Buzz. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem, live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. In fact, I grew up in the south of the south. I grew up in El Dorado and uh, had plenty of the Vienna sausages. So well, I had Vienna sausage. Yeah, Rusty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't quit yet, Michael. Oh, yeah. Come on. You might have that you're the best dribbler. Oh, yeah. sad, oh my God. Oh, yeah. That is how Eddie Vedder sounds. It is exactly <laughs> point on. All right, so good. So I good. Um, so uh, John Calipari's come out and added to uh, what Coach K said. Uh, said, don't change everything. Don't change anything. Keep it the way it is. He said, I hope things stay the way they are. He said, I know I, I know people get mad. They get mad at the committee. You won't believe this. I've been mad at that committee at times, but it doesn't matter who the for committee sure, is. We're sure. all going to be upset. He goes on to say, this is, uh, and then uh, the coach from uh, Oakland says, this is the Holy Grail for mid-majors, right? I've said this many times over the last week. This basketball tournament, please don't change it. Please don't change it. It's one of the three greatest sporting events in the world. I wonder what the other two would be. I don't know where this momentum has come well, for expansion. Well, uh, that's uh, just to it's talk. The just talk. Re- the same reason why are we expanding football. the football? Yeah, right? but but I mean, but we we've, we've talked about there is a little bit of difference between. Well, think about it like this, right? So for the the NCAA tournament, I mean, this is what funds the NCAA. They actually they exist solely because the tournament. Yeah, they make happens. a billion dollars. It's, it's a yeah, billion yeah, dollar. Yeah, right, it's a billion right, dollar thing. Right. The the viewership for it is very very strong. Right. So I think the idea here is that it's so strong, it's such a institution, watch the tournament is, that if you added more teams, people will still watch, which I, I agree with. Do I, do I agree it's going to water it down? Yes. Yeah. We don't need to be taking this. The, the thing is, like Indiana State, right, they won 30 games this year. Mm-hmm. They not, did not get in because they lost their conference tournament. Teams like that you hope would be the ones that get in. What most likely, in my opinion, will be happening is like LSU would get in this year, and they were like seventeen and fifteen, mm-hmm. right? I don't, I don't need sixteen and fourteen power five or power conference teams getting in. If it means like Indiana State gets a chance, teams like that, sure. But I don't want to do it if it's like average LSU. You play thirty games. I yeah, mean, we kind of yeah, know so, who uh, you uh, are. Uh, at a to, point. to me, it seems like the balance is about right. As you yeah. mentioned, you play this many and. and the 64 seems about right. I mean, you could add a few more, but... It's hard to claim robbery at this point. Yeah, like, yeah, if, right, if right, 30, right. If in 30 some games you haven't earned your way into the tournament pretty clearly, you probably don't yeah. deserve it. Don't you think the football, obviously, you only had four. You've only had four out of yes. 120. I mean, and that's that's really... So there you sort of see, I can make the argument for expansion, because you only have four. Right. 64 seems like, of course, I know you have more basketball yeah. schools. You probably have 300, I guess. But, yeah, uh, even in football, though, it's, you know, I think about this year, like if they were to expand it to eight or 12, it's hard for like an Oregon to make a case that they should be in because they lost to Washington twice. Sure, right? so it's, sure. It's like so. I would even say you know with that too. But yeah, for basketball, I get why they would expand it, but you can't argue that there's more deserving teams to be no, sure. left out. This is like the Super Bowl. You know, Super Bowls work, worked pretty good for the last 25 years. I don't think they need to change it. Even the playoffs, you can tweak it a little bit. It's but the best postseason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Justin uh, Acre sporting his Iowa State Cyclone shirt this it's morning. Good luck. It's a good luck. Let's. Shirt. Yeah, go. Wait, what uh, what what time do you guys play? Six thirty. Six thirty, and who are you playing? Uh, we're playing South Dakota State. Okay. Throw out the record what's, what's, book. What's, what's the line no, on that? No, I don't want to do that. Throw it out. What's the line? Fifteen and a half. Okay. 
Uh, I like, uh, yeah, I like him to have some jackrabbit for dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen Iowa State lose the two seed yeah. before, though. It is devastating. Such a fun time of the year. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's, it's the uh, most I, I, wonderful, wonderful time of the it year. It is. Cue it, baby. You know it. Uh, what's happening with you guys? We've had so much fun this week with our new Ooh, our new calls, yeah. Peyton Stovall, Stovall and, and, Stovall and Will McIntyre. Yeah, the Mac. We had the last call for Caleb Battle. He's Listen, he'll know. Chipotle. Correct pronunciation and pronunciation. I think you got it. You just nailed it. Say Chipotle. It. Mm-hmm. Chipotle. I think the you. T. I think yeah. you Why enunciate about the PTL. It? Because We're not sponsoring Will, something. Will McIntyre. <laughs> Will McIntyre <laughs> does a it has a game where they they pick a player, Chipotle pick a freshman, yeah. and if he hits a home run, that person has to buy him. A Chipotle and, ball. He's, and he said Chipotle. It sounded like he did not say the T. Yeah. Yeah. Most of us don't. Most of us I, don't say it right. When it first started, we didn't I think know. I, I think I say the T. Chipotle. I don't, I don't say it ever. Yeah. You don't no. say the T at all. I don't ever go yeah. there. You just go Chipotle. I don't ever say the name. You say Chipotle. I always say you can't, you can't spell Chipotle without E. coli. You know that. <laughs> well, we- I, I thought no. I just I always thought that place was so overrated. Really, people, I've only people, been there one people time. People get wound up. That's one of those places people get really excited. About. That, that's on I par agree, almost. Yeah. It's almost like Chick Fil A. Yeah, I think Water people get, worked out people get Water fired Burger. up. Yeah, they, they are. Absolutely. And I'm not saying those others aren't great. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, it just didn't resonate. It doesn't resonate with me. Pizza place people get fired up about. I like regular pizza. I, did you hear? Oh, God, let's not go there again. I'm sure you know the the stat that I mentioned with with Will is that the Razorback pitching staff. The Razorback pitching staff, they're ranked number one in five national categories in pitching. It's just nuts. I've been doing this a long time. That's the this is probably the best pitching staff I've ever had. We yeah. ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Arkansas. Uh, I mean, I'm sure things will you know probably even out a little well, bit. Well, you know, point. somebody yeah. could get dinged up. You never know. Things can happen. But yeah. Anyway, but yeah, you got to feel good about it at this point in the season. We'll Thanks see if that goes. So, all right, what's happening? So, well, mostly we're talking about the tournament. Obviously, yes. we'll be focused on that. And then Nancy Holt is from the track today. They're running down to Oakland, so we'll talk to her. Um, and then Barrett Salee is coming up at 11.30. I haven't talked to him in a while. So Barrett used to be with CBS Sports, and now he's got a new gig. I think he's working with um, Barstool. But Is that right? Or no, no, not Barstool. Also, out, outkick. He's doing Outkick stuff. Outkick. Outkick. Yeah. Ooh. The coverage. So, okay, outkick the coverage. Okay. Which is uh, kind of a controversial yeah. sports media yep. outlet. Yeah. But yeah. Um, anyway, so we'll find out what he's up to exactly. And then uh, Chris Alley's in Vegas, so we're not going to have any – Rock and roll sushi today, but we'll make the best of it. All right, we Bar- need to- Barrett's still on XM, by the way, too. So just just noting that. We're- Thank you, pitching coach. Appreciate okay, well, you. Well, I mean, come on. You, 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 <laughs> if you're going to talk about his credentials, coach. you might as well get his credentials correct. Right. I, I did. He's working for he's working for Outkick the coverage. Thanks for asking. In serious XM. Okay. Well, that's another thing. Sure. Thank you. Yep. Screwball. Uh, no, uh, no thanks. Okay. But that that's good motion. Yeah. Uh, how how was your arm that's after hard. yesterday? Uh, fine. Okay. Yeah, weak apparently. <laughs> you know, it's 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 weird. Like, here's the thing I would tell like, the listeners is go out and try to do something you haven't done in yeah. 15 years and see how you do. You were more confident. Uh, you Very. Think, yeah. I mean, well, I would have bet on it. Here's the thing. It was just like when we did our little buzz I, combine I know, a couple years I ago, know. and I was like, wait a minute, I can't break five seconds in the 40. I know. I know. When did that happen? Tougher, easier said than done. And this was like 10 years ago. I was like, wow. Uh, it's Sugar Bears tonight. Yes. Uh, uh, they're home. So yes, you're going to get St. Louis, Louis tonight. Gonna, the St. Louis has some, some size. It'll be a tough matchup, but the guard play needs to rise to the occasion for Central Arkansas. Arkansas's women on the road. You got the two Arkansas teams in the CBI. Yeah. And There's it, some it, rooting it, interest. You, the women are undefeated at home, right? They have not it, lost. The fair that is correct, yeah, sir. 14 and 0. All Very right. good. Look at you. All right. Sugar Bear Insider David Boom. Basil. Yes. Well, listen, it all gets underway at 11:15. Zone is up next, but Roger will head to Hot Springs and then head to Dardanelle and lots of basketball. Oh, look, look 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 at the justice looking. Yeah. Who's he looking at? Good. Am I am I overmodulating? <laughs> That's okay. We're done now. We're done now. Thanks. Yeah.